Welcome to Fanfiction Uploads, your hub for anime audiobooks. Enjoy high quality narrations of your favorite anime series, spanning genres from action to romance. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Share your story requests and connect with fans in the comments. Thanks for joining us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the anime adventures. Kanaha Ninja School My name is Heitake Kakashi. Hobbies, what do you hate? Hmm, I don't want to say it either. That's probably it. On the railing, Kanaha's elite Jonin Kakashi leaned on it and said lazily. As soon as these words came out, the two men and one woman sitting on the steps opposite suddenly rolled their eyes and were speechless. What the hell kind of self-introduction is this? I go first, I go first. My name is Izumaki Naruto, and my favorite is ramen. What I hate is waiting for the ramen to soak for three minutes. My dream is to surpass Naruto. Let the whole village recognize my existence. Naruto, who had blonde hair and spiky hair, touched his forehead with the hard one Kanaha forehead protector and shouted with hot blood. For a moment, I was very high-spirited and powerful. My name is Harano Sakura. The things I like, uh, let's say the people I like. Sakura, who had long pink hair, followed closely behind, looking like a young girl in love as she spoke. With slightly red cheeks and beautiful eyes, she looked shyly and nervously at the black-haired boy next to her. This made Naruto on the other side burning with jealousy, his eyes bulging and almost ready to burst into flames. Sakura is the girl he likes. Then, the last one. Looking at the infatuated girl Sakura, Kakashi sighed and turned his eyes. My name, Uchiha Suzuki. It doesn't matter what you hate or like, what you are interested in. The important thing is that I have an ambition and a dream. I want to kill that man. Then. Become Hokage and revive the name of Uchiha. Suzuki held his chin with both hands and stared straight ahead and said meaningfully. As the words fell, a breeze caressed my face. The black hair swayed in the wind, revealing that handsome and handsome face. So handsome. Sakura, who already had a crush on her, was suddenly filled with excitement, looking at that handsome profile, smiling and murmuring. Become Hokage. The pupil of Kakashi's exposed right eye suddenly shrank, and his breathing shortened. In an instant, he seemed to see the familiar young man shouting to him. Damn it, Suzuki, you guy. My dream is to become Hokage. Why? Why do your dreams have to be exactly the same as mine? I don't care who you want to kill, I will never approve of you becoming Hokage anyway. Upon hearing this, Naruto immediately jumped up and shouted angrily, his eyes extremely aggrieved and resentful. Sakura liking Suzuki already made him sad and now she wants to take away his dream. How could he, Uzumaki Naruto, accept this cruel reality? Haha, <laughs> why can't I become Hokage? Dreams are a thing where everyone is equal. Besides, Naruto, we are just rivals now. Or are you afraid that you can't compare to me? If that's the case, I advise you to change your dream as soon as possible. Suzuki looked up at Naruto and said seriously, his eyes sharp and determined. As a time traveler, how could he be willing to be inferior to others? Yes, this Suzuki is from Blue Star. After traveling through time last night, after a night of deep thinking, the final decision was to target Naruto. As the saying goes, if you don't listen to the old man's words, you will suffer in front of your eyes. In his previous life, he was born ordinary, making it difficult for him to get ahead. All kinds of struggles and resistance cannot escape the cruelty of reality. After traveling through time, he had the beginning of Tianhu that was unattainable in his previous life. Why did he, Uchiha Suzuki, defect to Kanaha? Who stipulates that if Suzuki travels, he must rebel against the village and take revenge? What about the time-traveling actor? What about time-traveling villains? What about traveling through other villages? Identity is given by time travel, you have to live your life by yourself. Why is his time traveling life bound by the plot? 
In this life, Itaki has shouldered everything to help pave the way for him. According to Itaki's plan, Suzuki just needs to follow the steps to become a Jounin of Kanaha with hatred. As a Kanaha ninja, kill him, an S-class rebellious ninja, to awaken the main Jikyo Sharinan. Obtain his final gift and advance to the eternal kaleidoscope, gaining both fame and fortune. In the era without Senjo Hashirama, Suzuki was the second Uchiha Madara. Directly at the top of the ninja world, a super cage level existence. Even facing the samsara eye, he is not without the power to fight back. Although Itaka's purpose is to protect Kanaha, so what? As long as he becomes Hokage, there is no conflict with this goal. A real blessing of wealth. Throughout the ages, looking at reality and illusion. How many people sacrifice everything for their brothers and bear the suffering alone? And this, Uchiha Itaka did. This is no object of revenge. This is clearly a selfless contribution, big brother. Furthermore, annihilation of the clan and death is also the choice of cheap dad Fugaku. I really want to resist, how can Itake, who has just opened the kaleidoscope, be the opponent of Fugaku Mainjikyo? Even with Obito's presence, Fugaku has no chance of winning. But he chose to surrender without mercy, and agreed with Itake's choice to die together with his cheap mother. Father is kind and son is filial. This is. Now let's is okay go and avenge them? Playing. If I have that time, I might as well have a few more children and burn more paper to pay homage to his uncles, grandparents. Therefore, Suzuki couldn't find any reason to defect to Kanaha. Later, even Aunt Snake returned to Kanaha, so what else was he going to do? Are you asking for trouble after another beating from society? After being fooled by Itaki and Obito, he came back with a broken arm to assist the seventh generation Naruto? Working as a nanny for Burrito is a plot killer? Are you kidding? Anyway, if the old man of six paths has the secret, the worst he can do is take Naruto with him to commit suicide. He didn't want to be beaten to a pulp after such a good start. In this life, wouldn't it be good for him to directly follow the script of the good big brother? Sacrificing his clan to bring peace to Kanaha, why can't Suzuki enjoy it? Kanaha owes Uchiha a Hokage. Suzuki is bound to win the position of sixth Hokage. Not giving? Just get it yourself. The only shortcoming is that in the cheating burrito, Suzuki was swallowed by the sacred tree and was offline. He must change this ending. Therefore, it is imperative to become Hokage and use the power of Kanaha. Tip, it is detected that the host is determined to become Hokage, please listen to the advice and activate the system. As the saying goes, listen to others and eat enough. Hosts can obtain relevant rewards by listening to suggestions, and rewards for triggering malicious suggestions are randomly doubled. Publishing the only mission, I am the sixth generation Hokage. The higher the level of the host ninja, the greater the trigger reward. Suddenly, just as Suzuki's thoughts were racing, three mechanical sounds sounded in his mind. This made Suzuki's pupils suddenly shrink and his breathing became disordered. Goldfinger is here. Originally, he was worried about Itaka's inability to activate the kaleidoscope and the burrito crisis. Now with the support of the system, it is stable. Far ahead. Humph, I'm not afraid of you. Becoming Hokage is my dream and I will never give up. Suzuki. From today on we are competing with each other. I will never lose to you. Just when Suzuki was in a trance, Naruto suddenly looked into Suzuki's eyes and shouted passionately. The blue pupils flashed with excitement and indescribable emotional fluctuations. Finally, besides Iruka-sensei, he has someone recognized by him again. Even though he was just a competitor, Suzuki did not ignore his existence. Instead, he was seen as a rival. This is an even more motivating thing for the crane tail Naruto. Me too, Naruto. Suzuki suppressed his excitement and met Naruto's eyes seriously. Now, he also has a reason to become Hokage. Suzuki-kun is so handsome. I can definitely defeat Naruto and become Hokage. 
Sakura looked at Suzuki's smile with a shy face and approved of Suzuki's dream. Sakura, please don't look down on me. Doing what I say is my Nindo. I will definitely surpass Suzuki and become Hokage. Hearing the scream of the goddess Sakura, Naruto turned his head and clenched his fists and said angrily. Although he also knew that he was not as talented as Suzuki, this moment was not the time to back down. Yo! I see you three are quite motivated. But becoming Hokage is not that simple. Then, we will gather at the third training ground at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Remember to bring your ninja tool, this is a super difficult test with an elimination rate of over 66%. Don't clamor to be Hokage, only to fail the genin test. Well, don't have breakfast. I'll vomit. Looking at Suzuki and Naruto, whose eyes were sparkling, Kakashi teased with a deep look. Before the three of them could react, the sound turned into white smoke and disappeared. At the same time, the system prompt appeared again in Suzuki's mind. Detecting Kakashi's malicious suggestion triggers a 10xd level reward. Task, have breakfast tomorrow, reward, 100,000 tails of money. 100,000 tails. Hearing the system rewards, Suzuki's eyes flashed with excitement and he was inexplicably excited. Although the starting reward is money, it does not help much in terms of strength. But the key task is simple. Besides, if you have money in the ninja world, you can do whatever you want. 100,000 tails can be used to issue a C-level mission. Even if you buy weapons and equipment, you can also buy more than 300 detonating charms. If you are poor, you can use tactics to enter's purse, if you are rich, you can cover it with fire power. This is also a good trump card for Suzuki at this stage. Well, Suzuki-kun. Should we have dinner together to discuss strategies? I think this way, the chances of passing the assessment tomorrow may be higher. Looking at Suzuki's handsome face, Sakura suggested with peach blossoms in her eyes. This was a perfect opportunity to date Suzuki, she didn't want to miss it. Have a meal together? Wow, oh wow. Sakura, that arrogant Suzuki will not go. We can just discuss it together. Before Suzuki could open his mouth, Naruto next to him shouted excitedly, holding his neck. With Suzuki's personality, he definitely wouldn't go. In other words, he can go on a date with Sakura alone soon. So excited. Sakura's suggestion is detected and E-level reward is triggered. Task, eat together, reward, substitution plus one. Naruto's malicious suggestion is detected and a 5x D-level reward is triggered. Task, eat together, reward, 0.1 chakra. Listening to the system prompts ringing in his ears one after another, Suzuki's eyes narrowed and the corners of his mouth slightly raised. Become stronger from now on. Then let's go. Under Sakura's surprise and Naruto's astonished gaze, Suzuki turned his head and nodded with a smile. That handsome appearance and smile made Sakura's eyes sparkle again. A. Agree. Suzuki-kun actually agreed to her date. So happy. Ramen, ramen, I want to eat Ichiraku ramen. Seeing this, Naruto hung his head and shouted angrily. But at the same time, I was unhappy, and there was a feeling of bondage that I had never felt before in my heart. Is this the so-called companion? The other side. Hokage's office. Become Hokage. Suzuki, this child, has a very healthy mental growth. It seems that my previous worries were unnecessary. The third Hokage, Saratobi Hiruzen, looked at Suzuki on the crystal ball and breathed a sigh of relief. In this way, he would have made an explanation to Itake. Those three guys. Well, I'm suddenly looking forward to tomorrow's test. Kakashi next to him looked at the back of Suzuki and the three of them having dinner together and said with twinkling eyes. They seem to have learned a little bit of team spirit. Kakashi. I asked you to be the instructor of class 7. You should know why. Whether it's Suzuki's Sherinan or the guy inside Naruto. They are all precious treasures of Kanaha. 
Only you have the ability to guide Suzuki's Sharingan training. At the same time, protect Naruto from any accidents. Therefore, I hope you will be merciful in the test tomorrow. Hearing that Kakashi was interested, Hiruzen Sarutobi held onto the Hokage's hat and said solemnly. If he fails the assessment tomorrow, he will have a headache. As the instructor of Class 7, there is no more suitable candidate than Kakashi. It depends on their performance tomorrow. Kakashi's eyes flashed vaguely, but he did not give a clear answer. This made Sarutobi Hiruzen twitch the corners of his mouth, and two black lines appeared on his forehead. Does Kakashi still need to be so strict? However, Kakashi's strictness is not a bad thing for Naruto and Suzuki. Yul Ramen. Then, it's decided. Naruto, Sakura, remember to act together tomorrow. After he was full of wine and food, Suzuki put down his bowls and chopsticks, stood up and left with a slight smile. They didn't even give the two of them a chance to talk and stay. The meal is finished, it's time to collect the reward. The mission is completed, and you will receive the reward, substitution technique. The mission is completed and the reward is, 0.1 chakra. As soon as he walked out of the door, two system prompts sounded in Suzuki's ears. Almost at the same time, the chakra in Suzuki's body began to grow crazily. After just one breath, the amount of chakra increased by nearly 50%. And Sakura's substitute technique was also enlightened at the same time. Originally, Suzuki thought that the substitute technique reward was useless because he knew this basic ninjutsu. However, after accepting the reward, Suzuki's eyes lit up. Sakura's substitution technique, which was rewarded by the system, actually overlapped and optimized with his substitution technique. Turn the five seal substitution technique into a ninjutsu that can be activated with three seals. This is not as simple as one plus one equals two. Immediately, Suzuki's heart moved. Self-taught silent meditation attribute panel. Host, Suzuki Uchiha. H, 12. Strength, Elite Genin. Identity, Genin of Kanaha, Reincarnation of Indra Chakra. Attributes, Fire, Thunder. Blood Successor, Single Megatama Sherinan, Hidden. Chakra, 0.3 Calories. Teijutsu, Uchiha Throwing Technique, D-Level, Shuriken Technique, D-Level. Ninjutsu, Three Body Jutsu, Level E, Escape Technique, Level E, Fire Release and Fireball Jutsu, Level C. Looking at the simple and clear attribute panel, Suzuki couldn't help but have two black lines rising on his forehead. This strength is too crotch stretching. Is the Sharinan just a single Megatama, or is it a hidden inactive state? The most important chakra for ninjas only has a pitiful 0.3 cards. This is the result after obtaining the reward increase. It's too terrible to look at. Next morning, Suzuki got up refreshed, washed up, and then walked out of the apartment leisurely. Yes, it's an apartment. Suzuki's residence is not in the Uchiha clan. Instead, it was a luxurious apartment located in the heart of Kanaha not far from Naruto's home. In the memory of the predecessor, the Uchiha clan was classified as a restricted area by the third generation after the clan was destroyed. Suzuki was also arranged to live in this luxury apartment. Before graduation, he would come every month to give him some living expenses. As for Uchiha's huge assets? According to the third generation, it was sealed and supervised by Kanaha. Wait until Suzuki reaches adulthood to unblock and return. The profound meaning is self-evident. Boss, let's order some pancakes. Suzuki, whose thoughts were racing, soon passed by a breakfast shop. It's Suzuki-kun. It will be fine soon, please wait a moment. When the lady in the store saw it was the handsome Suzuki, she immediately greeted him warmly. Start making pancakes quickly. In less than two minutes, a hot pancake appeared in Suzuki's hand. Take one bite and you will feel the crispy and tender taste. Tasty. After complimenting the shop lady, Suzuki turned around and walked slowly towards the third training ground. 
This caused the shop lady to fall directly into a state of nymphomaniacs, and she was helpless for a long time. Suzuki's appearance was like another mass killing. The mission is completed and the reward is obtained, 100,000 tails of money. The Third Training Ground When Suzuki stepped into the training ground with his front foot, the system reward arrived as promised with the last bite of pancake in his stomach. Suzuki felt his shoulders sink slightly, and 100,000 tails of cash appeared in his backpack. Hateful. Suzuki, you are so late. Seeing Suzuki appear, Naruto screamed loudly. He came on time before dawn and had to wait for three hours. Sorry, I overslept. Suzuki said perfunctorily without raising his head, without any excuse. Idiot Naruto. Kakashi-sensei hasn't come yet, which is not considered late at all. Sakura, who had also been waiting for a long time, immediately scolded and stood up for the male god Suzuki. As he spoke, he took a few steps forward to help Suzuki take off his backpack, and put it together with her backpack with a happy face. Sakura. Seeing this, Naruto's defense broke instantly and he crouched pitifully on the ground drawing circles. Face full of resentment. Sakura, this guy is pretty good as a wife. Looking at Sakura's graceful back, Suzuki couldn't help but feel a surge in his heart. Let's face it, Sakura really can't do it from Naruto's point of view. But from Suzuki's point of view, this wife is definitely qualified. Obey your words, support your husband and teach your children, have outstanding abilities, never give up, etc. These are Sakura's shining points as a wife. Moreover, the wife Sakura's appearance is also very durable. The most important thing is that it is delivered by yourself without any guide at all. How could Suzuki ignore the wife he picked up for free? Suzuki-kun Seeing Suzuki's strange look, Sakura, who was always paying attention to Suzuki, immediately blushed. I'm even more excited inside, shouting secretly that love is a victory. This made Suzuki blush slightly and immediately turned to look at Naruto. Sakura is so in love right now. I'd better think of ways to get Naruto to give more suggestions and trick him. There are a lot of good things in this guy. Two more hours later. Hi. Good morning you three. At three o'clock in the morning, Kakashi, who arrived belatedly, waved and greeted. This lazy move immediately made Naruto and Sakura who had been waiting for the longest time, find an outlet to vent. Too slow, Kakashi-sensei. Sakura and Naruto both pointed at Kakashi and shouted dissatisfied in unison. Well, I'm sorry. Because there is a black cat, so. Kakashi, who had already lost his integrity, opened his eyes and threw down his backpack, took out the alarm clock and placed it on the wooden stake next to him. Okay. Now let's explain the content of the exercise. Your task is to grab these two bells before 12 noon. Anyone who didn't take away the bell would have nothing to eat at noon. Remember, you can use any means. You must be determined to kill me. Under Sakura Naruto's confused expression, Kakashi revealed the content of the assessment. This made Sakura and Naruto, who had not had breakfast, stare at Kakashi with a resentful look on their faces. It turned out that this was the reason why they were not allowed to have breakfast. Kakashi-sensei, whoever doesn't grab the bell just can't have lunch. What kind of survival drill is this? Sakura suppressed her anger and pretended to be a lady and asked, very puzzled by this. It's just lunch, so what if I don't eat it? Hee <laughs> hee. You have a very keen sense of smell, Sakura. Then I will announce the final rules. Only those who grab the bell can pass the assessment and become genin. You also see that there are only two bells. In other words, only two of you three can pass. Kakashi narrowed his eyes and said slowly. As soon as these words came out, Sakura and Naruto were shocked. Hateful. As a result, the cooperative operation discussed last night is completely unworkable. I don't want to be eliminated here. Naruto was the first to react, immediately forgetting about teamwork. Two bells, he must get one. 
it took a lot of effort to be in a group with Suzuki-kun, I don't want to be separated. I'm sorry, Naruto. Sakura next to her also realized immediately and excluded Naruto in an instant. Uh. Seeing this, Suzuki couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth and shook his head secretly. These two guys were so easily dismantled by Kakashi. Tired. So. The drill begins. Kakashi declared with a wave of one hand as a flash of disappointment flashed in his eyes. The voice just fell. Suzuki and Sakura moved their feet and quickly left the place to hide themselves. Only Naruto stood there with no intention of hiding anything. Naruto, what on earth are you doing? The so-called ninja means hiding your aura and waiting for the opportunity. Are you so blatantly stupid or brainless? Kakashi scolded with a dark face, lowering his evaluation of Naruto by one point again. This guy really hasn't inherited any of Minato-sensei's ninja qualities. Humph, I don't care about that kind of thing. Kakashi-sensei, let's have a fair and upright showdown. Naruto crossed his arms and snorted in disdain, staring hotly at the two bells on Kakashi's waist. Fool. Kakashi sighed helplessly after hearing this, and under Naruto's nervous gaze, he took out the little red book and started to show off. Damn it, don't underestimate me. Naruto, who was ignored, immediately became furious, rolled up his sleeves and rushed forward. But as a genin, he was no match for Kakashi. Kakashi could handle all three punches and two kicks. A ninja cannot leave his back to the enemy, Naruto. Kanaha's secret body technique, thousand years of killing. Kakashi ducked out of the way and squatted behind Naruto, holding the seal of Yin with his hands and shouting in a cold voice. This sudden sound. Suddenly, Naruto's hair stood on end and he started to sweat. Next moment. Under the different looks of Naruto with panic and confusion, Sakura with shame, and Suzuki with amusement. Kakashi blasted Naruto's anus with a thousand-year blow, and he flew into the sky. What? Naruto instantly wailed and screamed with tears in the sky. It made those who heard it sad and those who heard it shed tears. It's now. Suzuki, who was hiding under the bushes by the river, formed a seal with his hands when Naruto fell into the water. The Art of Transformation Using the cover of the bushes, Suzuki dived directly into the river and launched his ninjutsu. With a bang, he transformed into Naruto. At the same time, Naruto who fell into the water also activated the multiple shadow clone technique. The moment the white smoke appeared under the river, the transformed Suzuki blended in. Madoha Naruto didn't even notice that there was an extra clone and started assigning tasks directly. One clone came ashore to attack from the side, while the other clones lured the enemy head on. A moment later. No matter what, I must grab the bell and become a ninja. Absolutely, absolutely will not fail here. As Naruto shouted, the calm river surface suddenly burst into flames and seven Narutos jumped out. It surprised both Sakura and Kakashi. Haha, you were fooled. This is my best technique of multiple shadow clones. Naruto got carried away and formed eight people with seven clones to rush towards Kakashi from the front. The art of multiple shadow clones? Is it the forbidden technique that Mizuki wanted to steal that night? Kakashi looked at the eight Narutos and took back the little red book. Facing eight Narutos, he had to be a little more serious. It's now, on. Seeing the door open behind Kakashi, Naruto raised his arms and signaled to the attacking clone. What? Kakashi, who was staring ahead, was instantly hugged by Naruto's clone and screamed in surprise. Hey hey hey! A ninja cannot leave his back to the enemy. Upon seeing this, Naruto immediately shouted proudly and was about to start explaining. In the crowd, Suzuki, who transformed into Naruto, immediately formed a seal with the help of his clone. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Quickly completing the seal, Suzuki launched the ninjutsu without hesitation. Open your mouth and spit out a stream of fire that condenses into a ball in the air and blasts forward. What? Gorgeous fireball technique. How can it be? 
At the same time, whether it was Naruto, Kakashi, or the hidden Sakura, they were all surprised. Naruto was even more confused, how could the clone use fire escape ninjutsu that he didn't even know? No solution anymore. Kakashi, who was hugged by Naruto's clone, saw the fireball coming and swung it hard to break free from the restraints of Naruto's clone. Chakra exploded under his feet, and he jumped up and dodged away from the place. Don't even think about escaping. Suzuki was naturally not surprised by this, and the shuriken he had prepared long ago shot out at a very fast speed. The three shurikens quickly turned into an arc and reached the bell rope on Kakashi's waist. The response was good. Kakashi commented appreciatively, and put three shurikens into his fingers with a casual grab. The figures disappeared instantly at the same time. Next second. If I guess correctly, you are Suzuki, right? A kunao was placed on Suzuki's neck, and Kakashi's voice appeared at the same time. So what if you guessed it? Suzuki's eyes flashed, and a puff of white smoke drifted past, revealing his true form. Ah! Damn it, how could that clone use fire escape and such superb shuriken techniques? It turns out it's you. Seeing Suzuki's true form, Naruto immediately pointed at him and shouted angrily. Let Kakashi look at Naruto subconsciously. Boom. At this moment, Suzuki's body suddenly transformed into Naruto's clone with a bang. Replacement technique? When? Kakashi's pupils shrank when he saw Naruto appear, and he shouted subconsciously. Whoosh! At this moment, Suzuki quickly grabbed two bells. Succeeded. Suzuki is great. Naruto and Sakura screamed in surprise when they saw this, they couldn't believe their eyes. Boom! At this critical moment, Kakashi and Naruto's clones instantly replaced each other with a bang. Oops! Seeing this, Suzuki's expression changed and he immediately left the place. Next moment, a hand stretched out from the ground where he was standing before, grabbing a lonely. What an amazing sense of combat! Both in terms of mastery of fighter planes and strength, he has reached the genin level. As expected of this year's top student, Uchiha Suzuki. Seeing that the earth escape failed, Kakashi immediately broke out of the earth and looked at Suzuki who was a few meters away and admired it. Unfortunately, I still missed. Suzuki said pretending to be unhappy, his eyes narrowed and he was ready to show off. As a time traveler, of course he knows the core of the test, and everything just now is just a disguise that fits the personality. Avoid going too far and causing any trouble. Naruto, Sakura. You have also seen it, even me as the chief student. You can't get the bell even if you attack suddenly. It's even more impossible for you. If you want to get the bell, it's impossible for everyone to fight alone. So, you haven't forgotten last night's cooperation. After retreating to Naruto's side, Suzuki began to follow his lead. But, there are only two bells that pass the exam. Even if we cooperate to get the bell, how will we distribute it? When Sakura saw Suzuki speaking, she came out of the bushes with a whoosh and said shakily. If it weren't for this, why would they fight on their own? That's it, that's it. Two bells ring, and one person must quit. I finally got a forward protector so I didn't want to go back to ninja school. Naruto clenched his fists and shouted, worried that Suzuki would kick him out if he cooperated. Sakura supports Suzuki, and Suzuki is the chief student. When the time comes, he will definitely be the one kicked out when the two of them join forces. Hee <laughs> hee. Before you get the bell, you start thinking about the next problem. So, if we say. I give up. Suzuki raised the corner of his mouth and started the real performance. Isn't it about teamwork? Then let Kakashi see enough. Give up? No way. Suzuki-kun, how can you give up? You are the chief student. If that's the case, then I'll give up. I must advance and retreat with Suzuki-kun. Upon seeing this, Sakura immediately expressed her stance. She finally managed to be placed in a group with Suzuki-kun. 
Don't leave Suzuki-kun and team up with Naruto. Naruto, if Sakura gives up too, you will have two bells. When the time comes, you will definitely become a ninja. Is this possible for cooperation? Suzuki turned his eyes and stared at the trembling Naruto as he began to force himself. How come? How could it be, how could you give up like this? Suzuki, don't you keep saying you want to compete with me for Hokage? How could you just give up on becoming a ninja? Taking the initiative to quit makes me a ninja, so what's the point of the current cooperation? Naruto asked excitedly with trembling eyes, unable to understand Suzuki's intentions. Meaning? Idiot Naruto. This might be Suzuki's plan. If I were him, I would definitely go back on my word after getting the bell. You will be passive by then, Naruto. So, what's your answer? Suzuki. Kakashi deliberately provoked discord, somewhat looking forward to Suzuki's answer. Detecting Kakashi's malicious suggestion triggers a 10x D-level reward. Mission, gain Naruto's trust, reward, awakening the Sharingan. Hearing the system prompts, Suzuki's movements became clear. Hokage. Yes, becoming Hokage is my goal. But equally, killing that man is also my goal. If I can't even pass the Genin exam, it means my strength and hard work are not enough. Even if I pass the exam, I will still be a good-for-nothing Genin who bullies others. Rather than that, it's better to stay in the ninja school and continue to practice hard. Naruto, if you have to ask what the meaning of this is. So, help you, who is the tail end of the crane, to become a ninja first. Just give it a reason. If I miss this year, I will definitely become a genin next year. But you may not be sure. Besides, I've found Kakashi-sensei's weakness. A killer plan that only you can complete. I say this, do you believe me or him? Suzuki said with serious eyes, looking directly into Naruto's eyes meaningfully. The end of the crane? Damn. Stop looking down on me, Suzuki. I don't want to accept your charity and abandon my friends in order to become a genin. If you can give up the bell, I, Uzumaki Naruto, can do it too. Humph, this exam is simply an unreasonable assessment. Cooperate and reveal his weaknesses. Even if I don't need the bell in the future, I still want to prove my strength as Uzumaki Naruto. Let this white-haired teacher know how powerful we are. Naruto's blood boiled immediately and he gritted his teeth and retorted. Kakashi's confusion was instantly forgotten. Even though he really wanted to become a genin, he didn't want to pass the exam this way. If he accepts Suzuki's charity, how will he behave in front of Suzuki and Sakura in the future? Yes, yes, I am the same. After returning to school, we will work hard to practice together and we will definitely pass next year. Sakura hurriedly followed, her mind already imagining the happy time of training with Suzuki. Becoming a genin, how can one look forward to growing up with Suzuki? Weakness? Teacher by Mao. Seeing that the three of them were colluding, Kakashi, who was planning to announce that he had passed the exam, twitched his lips. Looking at the three people full of black lines. Why, he becomes a bad guy. The mission is completed and the reward is obtained, awakening Sharingan. While Kakashi was silent, a system prompt rang in Suzuki's ears. Naruto, Sakura, let him know the strength of our seventh team. Suzuki took advantage of the situation and said loudly, and his pupils instantly erupted with pupil power fluctuations. Under Kakashi's surprised gaze, his dark eyes turned into a scarlet single Megatama Sharingan. Suzuki felt that his vision was clearer than ever before, and his insight instantly improved to a higher level. Sharingan Looking at this familiar scene, the scene of Obito awakening the Sharingan flashed in Kakashi's mind. In the beginning, Obito awakened his Sharingan to protect his companions. Suzuki now is also because of his companions. At the same time, the third Hokage and Irika, who were watching the battle from the crystal ball, were also shocked. 
none of them expected that just a genin test would actually cause Suzuki to awaken the Sharingan. Training ground. Hi? Suzuki. Why did your eyes turn red? Naruto heard Kakashi's exclamation, turned his head and stared at Suzuki with stunned eyes. Is this Uchiha's Sharingan? Suzuki-kun is so handsome. At the same time, Sakura's eyes suddenly lit up when she saw Suzuki's eyes. It's just a single Megatama Sharingan. Don't make a fuss. Suzuki smiled lightly, not too excited. It's just a single Megatama, not a double Megatama or a triple Megatama. The predecessor has already awakened the single Megatama, and is only one step away from opening the Sharingan. This is nothing to be proud of. You three are so arrogant and confident. Five minutes, I will give you five minutes to discuss countermeasures. A trace of curiosity and amusement flashed in Kakashi's eyes, and he pretended to step back ten meters. Whether it was the weakness Suzuki mentioned or the pair of Sharingan eyes, he wanted to see it. Just one minute, Naruto. Suzuki stood up and said, turned around and whispered in Naruto's ear. Yeah? It's actually like this. Quack quack. Suzuki, I didn't expect you to be the same. Upon hearing Suzuki's plan, Naruto narrowed his eyes and smiled with a mean expression. He looks like a confidant who hates seeing each other so late. Idiot, I told you this was a tactic. Suzuki rolled his eyes, not agreeing with Naruto's opinion. What? What on earth is going on? Naruto, don't show that lewd expression. Sakura, who didn't understand why, cried out in displeasure as she watched the two singing and clenching her fists. Sakura, you and I will cover Naruto. The battle begins. Suzuki said to the two of them with a serious expression, took out his shuriken and shot at Kakashi. Coming. Kakashi's eyes narrowed and he dodged Suzuki's shuriken. But the next moment... His expression suddenly changed. Suzuki once again shot a kunao, then hit the shuriken first and changed its course. Shoot at him from two different locations, blocking both routes. Uchiha throwing technique. Kakashi suddenly understood, and his evaluation of Suzuki escalated again. This technique that can be done just after opening the sharingan is enough to show that Suzuki's throwing is basically very good. Whoosh whoosh. Sakura next to her immediately cooperated with Suzuki and threw shurikens to block the escape route on the other side. Force Kakashi into a blind spot on the training ground. The art of multiple shadow clones. Naruto grinned, ran towards Kakashi's hand seal at full speed and shouted loudly. Bang 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 bang. As a large cloud of white smoke drifted past, hundreds of shadow clones appeared at the same time to surround Kakashi. Human Wave Tactics Do you think you can defeat the Jonin this way? Kakashi looked at hundreds of Naruto's and said in disappointment, thinking it was some terrible tactic. This is the result. Variety Just when Kakashi was disappointed, all Naruto suddenly formed seals and surrounded him again and shouted. Boom bang bang! As the white smoke drifted by, the charming Miss Nariko appeared. Master Kakashi Half hidden by the white smoke, the alluring naked body of Nariko instantly exudes infinite charm. Flirting, swaying breasts and buttocks, pure and mature at the same time, bursting out with thousands of amorous feelings. Ah, ah. Kakashi's eyes bulged as he prepared for battle, and the black mask under the tip of his nose was stained with a bright red. In an instant, I lost my mind and broke through my defense. Boom. Almost at the same time, Suzuki activated the substitution technique again. The figure instantly switched to Nariko, who was closest to Kakashi, and she grabbed the bell and threw it away like lightning. Oops. Kakashi reacted and was about to chase after him, but Suzuki stopped him in front of him. Hey hey hey! Teacher Bai Mao, you are indeed a sultry pervert. Naruto quickly picked up the two bells and smiled disdainfully after dispelling the shadow clone. Behind him, Sakura reacted belatedly. He looked at Suzuki with shame and confusion on his face, his cheeks turned red. 
Suzuki, how could this be possible? Humph, he must have been led astray by Naruto. Cough cough. Well, you have to make a decision now. Are we going back to ninja school together? Or someone becomes a genin and performs a mission? Looking at the two bells in Naruto's hand, Kakashi coughed dryly to hide his embarrassment and began the final test. No matter how much I said in the past, it was all unknown and uncertain, but now it is a real genin temptation. Humph, of course I'm going back to ninja school. I don't want a perverted and sultry teacher like you. Naruto spoke out first, reluctantly looked at the bell and threw it to Suzuki. Naruto is right. Sakura followed closely behind, looking at Kakashi as if she was wary of a thief. If she became Kakashi's subordinate, she simply couldn't imagine how far these two guys, Naruto and Kakashi, would lead Suzuki astray. Where are you, Suzuki? Seeing Naruto and Sakura expressing their opinions, Kakashi finally asked after being satisfied. Of course I'm going back to eat. Naruto, Sakura, you are already hungry without breakfast. I'm treating you to a barbecue today. Suzuki threw the bell to Kakashi and turned to greet the two of them. Barbecue? Okay, Suzuki, you guide. For the first time, I feel that I am in tune with you. When Naruto heard this, his eyes were shining, his mouth was watering, and he was ready to move. He has longed for a barbecue dinner, but he has never been there due to financial pressure. If you are greedy, you can just go fishing or catch some game to be self-sufficient. That kind of smell is not as good as any barbecue restaurant. Suzuki-kun, I'm ready. Let's go. Seeing that Sakura could have dinner with Suzuki again, she picked up her and Suzuki's backpacks and said sweetly. Secretly happy that the relationship with Suzuki has taken another step forward. Naruto immediately followed and took the initiative to take Suzuki's backpack and began to show off. Suzuki naturally had no objection and gave Kakashi a look to let him understand. He turned around and left with the two of them. I said you three. Do you really take me as a teacher seriously? By the way, I haven't announced the results of the assessment yet. Kakashi's vision went dark, he held his forehead and looked at the backs of the three people and shouted helplessly. Although I am very satisfied with their performance, why are they so unhappy? Isn't the result a failure in the assessment? We already knew it. Just do whatever you want, don't bother us to have barbecue. Naruto said casually without looking back, without any fear at all. Hey, hey. Naruto, when did I say that you failed the assessment? Kakashi touched his head and sighed, causing the three of them to pause at the same time. Teacher, what do you mean? Sakura turned around with a strange look and said, What are you doing? She was going to have lunch with Suzuki soon to bond. It means that you are all qualified. From now on, the seventh class Kakashi class is officially formed. You are now officially genin. Kakashi raised his thumb and shouted loudly, making Naruto and Sakura extremely surprised at the same time. Congratulations to the host for becoming an official genin and unlocking sea level reward permissions. At the same moment, a system prompt came from Suzuki's mind again. Sea level reward permissions? I see. This is the key to the higher the ninja level, the greater the reward. No wonder all the previous triggers were D-level rewards. Genin permissions should correspond to D and C-level system rewards. Suzuki's thoughts suddenly became clear and he knew his next path. In the next Genin exam, he must advance to Kanaha Chuyunin. But teacher, why did everyone suddenly pass? Didn't it say that only two people can pass? After Naruto was surprised, he scratched his head and asked in confusion because, that is the real content of the assessment. You guys come with me. Kakashi greeted and took the lead towards the commemorative monument next to him. The world of ninjas is full of dangers, accidents, and choices. Every time we go out to perform a mission, we will face various situations and challenges. It is even an important choice when facing companions and tasks. At that time, 
whether to choose to abide by the rules and take priority. Or choose to break the rules and save your companions. Before you, the guys who took the test chose to abide by the rules. That kind of team that sacrifices partners or is sacrificed at any time is not what I want. It is true that we call anyone who breaks the rules a loser. However, those who do not cherish their partners are even more trash among trash. This memorial tablet has the names of several of my friends engraved on it. I don't want your names to be engraved on it in the future. Therefore, teamwork is the core of our seventh class. The three of you, although you have your own reasons for choosing to quit. But he still chooses to sacrifice his own interests to advance and retreat together. He is a ninja who truly values his partners. I recognize your existence. Kakashi looked at the name on the memorial tablet and explained with a heavy heart and relief. Naruto and Sakura felt excited plus silent again, looking at the commemorative monument in a daze. This also made Suzuki sigh. If Kakashi knew that his best friend, whom he had paid tribute to for many years, was causing trouble in the ninja world. After abandoning everything in the past and starting the Nine Tails Rebellion, will he unleash the Kamiotoscope of Divine Power now? All right. Aren't you hungry? I have prepared lunch for you in advance. It's in that backpack, Naruto, go get it. Suddenly, Kakashi's expression turned sunny and warm, and he stretched out his finger. The silence is okay and the three people were instantly brought back to reality. Convenient? Don't want. I don't want to eat bento. Suzuki just wanted to take us to eat barbecue, Kakashi-sensei, it's too rude of you to greet us with a bento. Naruto immediately waved his hand and refused, looking at Suzuki eagerly, his meaning obvious. To continue the barbecue feast. Well, I don't have that much money either. It's just that the three of us can barely handle it, but if we add one more, we'll go bankrupt. Having said that, now we need to work as a team. We can't go eat barbecue by ourselves, let someone stay here and eat a bento. Suzuki shrugged and said maliciously, he couldn't let Kakashi go so easily. That is to say, a certain unscrupulous teacher was playing tricks on us, and he didn't know how to treat us to comfort us and promote team spirit. Sakura understood immediately and looked at Kakashi's wife. Yes, yes. That's it, Kakashi-sensei you should treat us to a barbecue dinner. Otherwise, I will tell others about your nosebleed just now. Naruto reacted belatedly, narrowed his eyes and threatened directly. Uh. Kakashi's mouth twitched when he heard this, speechless. Is your teamwork meant to cheat the teacher together? Then let's go have barbecue. But Naruto, don't go out and talk nonsense, I didn't have a nosebleed. And says okay. How did you come up with that tactic? Under Naruto and Sakura's contemptuous gaze, Kakashi shamelessly agreed and asked casually. As soon as these words came out, Sakura immediately looked at Suzuki. She also wants to know why. A guy who blatantly carries around bad publications. He is not a sultry pervert, but is he still a gentleman who criticizes ugliness? Suzuki said naturally casting a contemptuous look at Kakashi again. Kakashi. The next day. Hokage Building Mission Hall. First of all, congratulations to you all for officially becoming ninjas. From today on, you are the only genin of Kanaha. Um, then. The first mission of Team 7 is. The third Hokage sat at the table and looked at Suzuki and the other three, then lowered his head to check the mission book. Hey. Suzuki. What do you think our first mission will be? To protect the princes and princesses? Or escorting some important information? Or to kill the robbers and bullies? Looking at the constantly flipping task book, Naruto turned his head and whispered excitedly. Thinking of the ninja stories spread in Kanaha, Naruto couldn't restrain his excitement. You are thinking too much, Naruto. Suzuki rolled his eyes and said calmly, you want to KO the big devil before leaving the novice village. Are you kidding? This is it. Your mission is to help the villagers drive away wild boars, a D-level mission. 
This can also exercise your team spirit. Under Naruto's messy expression, the third generation finally found a mission. Yes, Hokage-sama. The seventh class set off to perform the mission. Kakashi took two steps forward and took over the mission authorization letter, calling the three of them to go to their destination. What are you doing? I thought it was some particularly exciting mission, but I didn't expect it to be driving away wild boars. Naruto followed closely and said with a pulled face, disappointment evident in his words. Actually, this is beyond my expectation. At least it's much better than weeding, taking care of children, or finding cats and dogs to walk. Suzuki put his hands in his pockets to comment, his eyes wandering between Kakashi and Naruto. It's not too much to get some rewards from the two of them when they perform tasks. Ah? Still need to mow the lawn, take care of the kids, find a cat and a dog to walk? Damn it, what kind of ninja is this? Kakashi-sensei, there won't be boring missions like that. Naruto paused in his steps, yelled and asked. Well, Suzuki is right. As ninjas, whenever our employer issues a task, we have to carry it out as required. Don't talk about this, even the more outrageous tasks are not without. Kakashi kept walking, making noises as he walked to break Naruto's filter fantasy about ninjas. At the same time, he secretly glanced at Suzuki, feeling another burst of admiration. Suzuki is worthy of being from a famous Uchiha family. His knowledge and character are much higher than Naruto's. As expected of Suzuki kun, you know so much. Sakura from the Atmosphere team immediately followed, her eyes twinkling with admiration. How shameful. I didn't expect that the tasks of becoming a ninja would be so boring. Naruto wilted the moment he got the exact answer, and at the same time most of his enthusiasm for carrying out the mission faded away. Soon, a group of four people came to a corner of the village according to the power of attorney. We are finally here, dear ninjas. Because my field is on the edge of the village, wild boars always come and trample the rice fields from time to time. It has been overrun recently, with more than a dozen wild boars coming in groups. So please, drive away all the wild boars nearby. When the client saw the four Kakashis, he immediately explained the situation with a grimace. If it drags on any longer, this year's harvest will be all gone. Is that so? It seems that there is at least one herd of wild boars. Kakashi nodded and analyzed, then turned to look at Suzuki and the others. Now, it's time to put your intelligence collection into practice. Suzuki, Naruto, Sakura. The three of you, go collect the number of wild boars and their group locations within a two-kilometer radius. I stay here to prevent the wild boars from trampling the fields again. Remember, this is intelligence gathering, not expulsion. Be sure not to alert the snake and allow the wild boars to scatter and cause more trouble. Kakashi gave the order with solemn eyes, causing the atmosphere to change. Intelligence gathering? Hehe, <laughs> I'm the best at this. The art of multiple shadow clones. Upon hearing this, Naruto's blood was once again aroused, and he shouted with great enthusiasm. Bang bang bang, a dozen Naruto clones appeared in an instant accompanied by white smoke. With so many people, they look very reliable. Major. The client was pleasantly surprised when he saw this and hurriedly affirmed. Hey hey hey. Of course, I am a ninja. Suzuki, Sakura, just watch my performance today. Naruto, who was praised, immediately raised his tail and started to squeal. He looks like the boss of heaven, the second boss of earth, and the third boss of others. Fool. Who asked you to create so many clones at once? With your chakra, it can only last for a minute at most. It has no practical effect at all. Before Suzuki and Sakura could say anything, Kakashi scolded Naruto harshly. This made the client's face change with excitement. One minute? No matter how many useless clones there are, what can they do? Sure enough, I shouldn't believe this kid. The client spoke without mercy and did not give Naruto any face. This made Naruto, 
who was scolded by Kakashi, look pale and deeply shocked. Sure enough, Naruto is still handsome for just a second. Unlike me, I can only be handsome throughout my life. Suzuki sighed secretly and turned to look at Kakashi. Kakashi Sensei, don't you have any experience or suggestions to share? This is our first mission. As a teacher, you won't give us some advice. Suzuki said with glaring eyes and began to test the bottom line of the system. If you can give a hint, then don't blame him for not practicing martial ethics. Experience or advice? Is this? Kakashi's face stiffened when he heard this, he touched his nose and smiled. Does it need to be so troublesome to be a mentor Jounin? He didn't have so many things back then. Well, my suggestion is to speak less and obey orders. Let's go, everyone. Come back and gather at 3 p.m. Under Suzuki's expectant gaze, Kakashi thought for a moment and said shamelessly. In an instant, Suzuki, Naruto, and Sakura all collapsed. This teacher is indeed so unreliable. Warning, the host hints or induces others to make suggestions and cannot trigger system tasks. At the same time, a system warning sounded in Suzuki's ears. This made Suzuki curl his lips and feel bored for a while. This won't be fun, Mr. System. Go ahead and complete the mission in one go. Suzuki. If you are afraid, just stay here and wait for me to come back and teach you my experience. Naruto slapped his eyes with his fists and yelled jokingly. After speaking, I rushed into the woods with a little ground under my feet and started to take action. Naruto's malicious suggestion is detected and a 10xd level reward is triggered. Mission, slap Naruto in the face, reward, 0.2 calories of chakra. When Suzuki heard this, his expression suddenly turned from gloomy to clear. Naruto is really a money-giving boy. With this 0.2 Kaka Chakra, his chakra amount is equivalent to half Kakashi. Humph, intelligence collection is not your place of arrogance. Sherry non open. Suzuki sneered, his eyes turned scarlet and rushed out like an arrow. These two guys. Seeing that Suzuki had even opened his Sherry non, Sakura shook her head and hurriedly followed. Using the Sharinan to enhance insight and quickly collect intelligence is a good idea. However, the chakra of a lower ninja can only last about five minutes. Still too naive. Kakashi looked at the backs of the three people and murmured in a low voice. He smoothly took out the little red book and savored it carefully. Client? Hot sun. Under the pristine mountains and forests. Suzuki quickly shuttled between the winding branches, his scarlet cherry non constantly turning to capture the scene. When it comes to intelligence gathering, Byakugan is indeed better. As long as you open your eyes, you can collect all real-time images within a one-kilometer radius in an instant. And although my cherry non can have photographic memory and instantly capture and analyze all traces, my perspective has not improved much. With my current chakra, I can only use it continuously for 10 minutes, and the time in battle is even shorter. It seems like they need to communicate more with Hinata or Niji to see if they can get away with the eye roll. If you have Byakugan, you will be able to collect intelligence or warn the enemy in advance. Feeling the rapidly declining chakra, Suzuki closed his cherry non, stopped and said silently. So far, he has only found traces of a wild boar. It's not enough to slap Naruto in the face to get the reward. No, we have to outsmart. If this continues, if I don't find the wild boar group, I will be dead first. I don't have as much chakra as Naruto to waste casually. Suzuki slapped the tree trunk fiercely, panting slightly, and saying in a deep voice. Snapped. Just when Suzuki was thinking about how to outweed him, a pine nut fell from before his eyes. Suzuki looked sideways and saw a green pine tree next to him. Nearby, no less than dozens of pine trees are scattered in the forest with lush branches. You are the one. Wild boars are beasts that like the smell of pine oil. Suzuki's eyes narrowed, and he jumped back to form a seal with his hands. Art fire escape ho fireball. Quickly completing the seal in midair, 
Suzuki opened his mouth and spit out a fireball that hit the pine tree. Pine trees are inherently flammable trees with a lot of oil. The next second the fireball hit, there was a boom and it was instantly ignited. Suddenly, the burning pine tree doubled the smell of pine oil. In less than two seconds, Suzuki could clearly smell the smell of pine oil in the air. The sense of smell of wild boars is twice that of dogs, I believe they will soon smell it. Now just increase the smell and wait for the rabbit. Suzuki smiled confidently and rushed towards other pine trees with his footsteps forming a seal on the ground. In order to avoid causing a fire, Suzuki chose a relatively open pine tree to light. A moment later, the entire green forest was dotted with a dozen fire trees, and the smell of pine oil was accompanied by thick smoke drifting in all directions. Hi? Huh? Who is so bored that he lights a fire in the forest? No matter what, the big words have been spoken. I can never lose to Suzuki, the shadow clone technique. Naruto ignored the sight of the smoke and once again split into shadow clones to search for traces of the wild boar. At the same time, Sakura frowned when she saw the smoke, and then continued to follow the wild boar's footprints. After an hour. So that's it, with the help of scent, these wild boars come to your door. Is this your approach? Suzuki. However, my request is to collect intelligence. How can you improve your ability to collect intelligence by doing this? When Suzuki was leaning on a tree trunk to recover chakra, Kakashi's figure suddenly appeared and said lazily. Under the trees near them. There are already twenty or thirty wild boars of different sizes running around there, smelling the smell and looking for pine nuts. Didn't you say that ninjas are those who break the rules? Our ultimate goal is to expel wild boars, and intelligence collection is just a process. Besides, I didn't alert the snake, these wild boars didn't even know I existed. By the way, Kakashi-sensei, why did you come here? Suzuki patted the fallen leaves on his body and stood up, without any intention of breaking the rules. You didn't create the fire tree. I'm afraid you accidentally burned down the entire forest. These trees and jungles are valuable assets for nearby villagers. Kakashi gave Suzuki a dead eye and took back the little red book in his hand with a look of helplessness on his face. If he knew that Suzuki's fever was so safe, he wouldn't have gone to the trouble. Almost all the wild boars nearby have gathered here. Now is the perfect time to banish them. Kakashi-sensei, do you want to act now? Suzuki rolled his eyes and looked at the group of wild boars below to take the opportunity to make a suggestion. There is nothing more convincing than completing a task ahead of schedule to slap Naruto in the face. Well, that's all it can do. If you don't act now, it will be much more difficult to gather them next time. Kakashi reluctantly nodded in agreement. This task had now lost its value in training Team 7. Of course it will be over soon. Then it begins. A smile appeared on Suzuki's lips, and he handsomely drew his shuriken and rushed directly towards the wild boars. Ow oh! Humph! Humph ha ha! As Suzuki fired three shurikens at high speed, a commotion broke out among the wild boars and they ran around. I'm really anxious. I haven't said which direction to drive them in, please. Kakashi's mouth twitched when he saw this, and his hands turned into after images and completed the seal in a blink of an eye. Ninjutsu, Shadow Clone Technique With a bang, two clones rushed out of white smoke, one on the left and one on the right blocking the two directions. Drive them all to the forest ten kilometers to the west. There is a wild habitat over there. Suzuki stepped forward as Kakashi dodged, and a bit of ground under his feet blocked one direction again. Ten kilometers. Suzuki murmured, and quickly picked up the branch next to him and threw it. 3.30 p.m. What are you doing? Why is Kakashi-sensei even missing? That is to say, Suzuki-kun can't see anyone. Humph, Suzuki must be afraid to come back because he didn't find the wild boar. Even if it was me, I only found two wild boar cubs with the help of shadow clones. Naruto, don't speak ill of Suzuki-kun behind your back. 
there's no way he can't find the wild boar herd. But how did you bring these two wild boars back? Hey hey hey! Anyway, no big wild boar was discovered, so what if I brought it back? This is proof that I surpass Suzuki. In the field, Naruto and Sakura stood on the edge of the field singing an emotional song. Beside the two of them, the client watched with black lines on his head as their mood sank to the bottom. This ninja team is indeed more unreliable than the last. Sorry, Naruto. You can't surpass me. Suddenly, Suzuki's voice sounded behind the two of them. This made Naruto and Sakura have different expressions instantly, and they all turned around and looked. Humph, I found two wild boar cubs and a wild boar nest. As long as you go there, you will definitely find those nasty wild boar herds. You found something again, Suzuki. Naruto immediately raised the wild boar at his feet and said with a proud look on his face. Naruto, you did a good job. Sorry, the mission is over. Suzuki gathered almost all the wild boars, and we have driven the wild boar herd ten kilometers away. Kakashi followed Suzuki and showed off his cards directly, surprising Naruto and the client. Especially Naruto, the smile on his face didn't have time to stop. I was slapped in the face by this sudden cruel reality. Looking at the two wild boar cubs in his hands, Naruto felt his face burning and painful. Suzuki-kun is so handsome, so great. As Sakura worshipped coyly, a reward reminder came to Suzuki's ears. The mission is completed and the reward is, 0.2 chakra. Damn it, Suzuki actually secretly completed the mission alone. Kakashi-sensei, this is a foul. I'm not convinced. As the sun set, Naruto followed Suzuki with eyes wide open and yelling unwillingly. The mission is completed, so don't be nagging anymore, Naruto. Besides, it's also against the rules for you to catch two wild boar cubs. Even if you leave them to the client, violating the order is a fact. Sakura, who followed closely behind, immediately clenched her fists in defense and resolutely defended the male god Suzuki. Sakura is right, Naruto, you also broke the rules. There was nothing Suzuki could do about that. If you miss that opportunity, you may have to wait for a long time. Do you want to live in the forest tonight and chase wild boars? Kakashi struck again without looking back, causing Sakura to raise her hands in approval. Kakashi-sensei, Sakura. The angry Naruto immediately became depressed after hearing this, and instantly lost his moral high ground. It's your own fault, idiot. Suzuki glanced at Naruto and said calmly, beginning to realize his increased chakra. 0.5 cards may not seem like much, but it is already at the level of a Chuyunin. All that's missing is the ninjutsu and genjutsu to utilize chakra. Thinking of this, Suzuki couldn't help but feel a slight toothache. In the memory of his predecessor, after the Uchiha clan was exterminated, he only kept a fire escape scroll. Among them, there are only three ninjutsu. Sea level fire escape, phoenix fire technique, sea level fire escape, dragon fire technique, B level fire escape, dragon fire technique. The only sea level fire escape and high fire ball that is currently proficient was taught by Fugaku himself when he was still alive. There is no Sharinan Genjutsu that Uchiha is proud of. This is embarrassing. No, you cannot place all your hopes on unknown system rewards. You still have to take the initiative to learn some ninjutsu illusions to increase your strength, but don't capsize because of the butterfly effect. Then, it can only be you. The man who copied a thousand ninjutsu, Sharinan Kakashi. The bonds Obito severed will be inherited by me. Suzuki looked at Kakashi's leisurely back, his eyes fixed and he made up his mind. In the original plot, Kakashi looked at Suzuki differently because of his bond with Obito. Chidori has all the secrets to teach you the secret tricks at the bottom of the box. Now that he takes the initiative, it won't be a big problem. Well, that's it for now. I will submit the mission to Hokage-sama, and you will be dismissed on the spot. Remember to meet up tomorrow morning and disperse. Seeing that they had entered Kanaha's shopping street, Kakashi stopped and announced. 
with a whoosh, he quickly headed to the Hokage building. It is finally over. Suzuke-kun, Naruto, I will go home first. Sakura perked up at the sound, said hello, turned around and ran away. Hateful. If it weren't for the stinky smell of tracking wild boar, I wouldn't go back now. The opportunity to have a dinner party to celebrate the successful completion of the first mission was missed. Well, we can only wait until next time. I don't want Suzuke-kun to smell my stench and ruin his image of a cute girl. Sakura was secretly annoyed to speed up again, which was why she took the initiative to fall behind Naruto. Hi? What's wrong Sakura? Naruto looked at Sakura running faster and faster, rubbing her head with doubts in her eyes. Who knows? Naruto, do you want to go eat ramen together? Anyway, we will be alone when we go home. Suzuki shook his head indifferently, and then his thoughts changed and he issued an invitation. The prerequisite for listening to advice is to communicate with others, since you can't imply it. Then you can also move around more to increase the chance of triggering. The two carriages of cultivation and golden finger must be pursued simultaneously. Ramen? How could you be so kind? I don't have money to treat you to dinner. Naruto's brief surprise was followed by a look of doubt. Thinking of his yelling at Suzuki just now, he became even more convinced of this idea. Suzuki must have wanted to trick him into eating Ichiraku ramen because of this. Idiot, will love come or not? Suzuki snorted silently with black lines rising on his forehead, turned around and walked towards Ichiraku ramen. This guy is a close friend who can be trusted to support you. It's really annoying when you're annoying. This reminded Suzuki of those adopted sons in his previous life, and he wondered how many of those adopted sons would cry to death now. If he knew that he had traveled through Suzuki's time, would he be jealous and jealous again? Isn't it a trap? Seeing how clean Suzuki was, Naruto whispered suspiciously, a little embarrassed. If Suzuki sincerely invites him, then he will miss a free meal, no. It's an opportunity to increase friendships with friends. He is so lacking in bonds. Wait for me, Suzuki. Thinking of this, Naruto quickly shouted and chased after him. Evening. Kakashi family. Suzuki? How did you find this place? Looking at the boy in front of him, Kakashi, who was dressed in casual clothes, said strangely after opening the door. He didn't tell Suzuki the location of their home. What kind of student am I if I don't even know my teacher's home? Kakashi Sensei, I want to learn Sharinan Genjutsu. Suzuki didn't hide it, he opened his Sharinan and got straight to the point. Sharinan Genjutsu? How do you know I have the Sharinan? Seeing the serious look on Suzuki's face, Kakashi gasped and asked in surprise. As he spoke, he welcomed Suzuki into his home. Kanaha's copy ninja Sharinan Kakashi. I once heard this name from my father. One of the Sharinan heroes born from the Battle of Kanabi Bridge. A ninja with a different surname who can skillfully use the Sharinan is also the only teacher I can ask for advice now. So please. Kakashi Sensei. Suzuki walked into the room talking nonsense with a serious attitude. Anyway, no one is going to prove it, whatever he says is the truth. He didn't believe that Kakashi could not give Obito face. You. Hearing Kanabi Bridge again, the careless Kakashi's body trembled and he looked shocked. In an instant, the faces of Obito and Lin appeared in his mind one by one. The unbearable painful memories also flooded into my heart at the same time. Call. Is that so? I never thought Fugaku Senpai would tell you about me. When he agreed to let me inherit Obito's Sharinan, I owed Uchiha a favor. After a moment of silence, Kakashi opened his forehead protector to reveal the three Megatama in his left eye and exhaled a breath. The third generation arranged for him to become Suzuki's instructor because of the Sharinan. Now that Suzuki is here, it's not a problem. However, it is a waste of time for Suzuki, who is a genin, to learn ninjutsu and genjutsu now. At this stage, 
what Suzuki needs is to refine and strengthen chakra and practice physical skills. Sorry, Suzuki. With your single Megatama Sharinan, learning Genjutsu is currently too difficult. Now is not the time to practice Ninjutsu and Genjutsu. Of course, as a teacher, I will also guide you in your cultivation. Then, let's start from tomorrow. Together with Naruto, Sakura and the others, we will start from the most basic chakra control. I will observe your growth and teach you Genjutsu and Ninjutsu at the appropriate time. Under Suzuki's expectant expression, Kakashi gave a suggestion and declined. Suddenly, this made the confident Suzuki a little confused. Aren't Fugaku and Obito even giving him face? Detecting Kakashi's suggestion triggers a C-level reward. Mission, Kakashi's talent recognition, reward, thunder release thunder arrow. The next day. On the small bridge next to the third training ground. It's so boring. Why hasn't Kakashi-sensei come yet? Sakura stood at the railing of the bridge, looked up at the sky and shouted dissatisfied. That's right, that's right, I woke up very early and came here in advance. Naruto leaned on the railing and followed closely, yawning endlessly. You come so early even though you know he likes to be late. You are asking for trouble. Suzuki said casually, leaning against the railing, looking forward to today's training. As long as you get Kakashi's approval, you can get the unexpected sea level thunder escape last night. It can just make up for the gap in his thunder escape. What do you know, Suzuki? Kakashi sensei is here today, but he will settle the rewards for yesterday's mission. This is my first mission reward, how can I not be excited? I don't know how much the reward will be this time, whether it's several thousand tails. Naruto immediately cheered up and danced, his eyes glowing with golden light in anticipation. Suddenly, Sakura next to her was inspired and her eyes shone. If you have money, you can buy beautiful clothes, and you can invite Suzuki-kun to have dinner and a date. So longing for. Yo. Good morning, everyone. Just when the two of them looked like money lovers, Kakashi's figure slowly appeared. Kakashi-sensei. Bring it here, you. Naruto and Sakura, who was caught up in the fantasy of money, immediately stretched out their hands and shouted excitedly. What? Looking at the naked greedy eyes of the two people, Kakashi scratched his head in confusion. He doesn't know what he owes the two of them. Money, they want payment from yesterday's mission. Suzuki interrupted helplessly, taking two steps forward to come to the two of them. Well. It turns out this is. What did I think it was? Kakashi suddenly understood and put his hands into his pockets under Naruto and Sakura's excited eyes. Here, one for each person. Soon, Kakashi took out three money tickets from his bag and handed them over. The three people had different expressions, and they immediately reached out and quickly took it. Five hundred tails? Why so little? Kakashi sensei. You are not corrupt, are you? Seeing the amount on it, the elated Naruto's face dropped and he questioned. Sakura next to her also had a similar expression. This was far from the amount she expected. You two idiots. It's just a D-level mission, how much more reward do you want? Black lines appeared on Kakashi's forehead, pointing at their noses and saying angrily. Forget it. Then let me talk about the reward mechanism of ninjas. In order to avoid changes in the execution of tasks in the future, you don't know how much the price increase will be. Seeing Naruto and Sakura's frustrated face, Kakashi calmed down and said calmly. This made the three people, including Suzuki, immediately cheer up. About Kanaha's mission rewards, they are roughly divided into five levels. D-level mission which is the mission level reward we performed yesterday. It ranges from about 5,000 tails to 50,000 tails. This is decided by the Hokage and the client based on the difficulty of the task. Remuneration for C-level tasks ranges from 30,000 tails to 100,000 tails. Grade B ranges from 80,000 to 200,000 tails. You know for now that the rewards for A-level and S-level missions are useless 
so I won't talk about them. These task rewards are not equal to the actual task rewards. For each task, the village takes a certain proportion of the share. And on top of that, the instructor also has to take a certain share. Because while we serve as instructors, we have lost time for other advanced tasks. Of course, except for unexpected circumstances. Do you understand what I said? Just like the reward for this D-level mission is 5,000 tails, the three of you will share 1,005 tails. The village draws 500 tails. The remaining 3,000 tails are my team leader's share. As Kakashi's words fell, Naruto and Sakura, who had gradually calmed down, widened their eyes again. Is the Jounin whip so hard? He alone took six tenths. That's enough, Sakura, Naruto. When Suzuki saw that they wanted to ask more questions, he immediately stopped them, not wanting to continue this boring topic. Leading the Jonin takes 60% of the share, which is actually not much. A D-level mission draws 3,000 tails, and we only carry out a few D-level missions a month. Even if it is done 10 times a month, this will only be 30,000 tails. In one month, a Jonin who went out alone to perform any B-level mission would receive more than 50,000 tails. 60% is really conscientious. Kakashi-sensei, what is our mission today? Suzuki stopped the two of them with data and started to get to the point. He also wanted to finish today's mission quickly to practice and get system rewards. Well, you have no mission today. Come with me, I have nothing to do today to guide you in your cultivation. Kakashi gave Suzuki a satisfied look, turned around and led the way to the nearby woods. The fact is, as Suzuki said, it is definitely a loss-making business for a jonin to serve as an instructor. Being able to understand others in this way, Suzuki is worthy of being a young man who has inherited the will of fire. Today's training course is about chakra control. After taking a few steps to reach a big tree, Kakashi looked up at the trunk of the tree and said slowly. As soon as these words came out, Naruto and Sakura immediately looked confused. Chakra control, what kind of training is this? Climbing trees to practice. There was something strange in Suzuki's eyes, but he wasn't surprised. That's fine. If someone guides him, he doesn't have to practice blindly. Looking at your looks, I know that you have not truly understood chakra. You three, watch out. Kakashi glanced casually and said calmly, then raised his legs and kicked on the tree under Naruto and Sakura's shocked eyes. Don't want. Sakura screamed in panic when she saw this, fearing that Kakashi would fall down. However, in the next moment, Kakashi defied gravity and walked up, as if walking on flat ground. How, how is it possible? He actually walked up vertically. In an instant, Naruto and Sakura were shocked again, with disbelief on their faces. That's it. Concentrate a certain amount of chakra on the solace of your feet, use chakra to absorb the tree trunk and climb the tree with your feet. Kakashi hangs on a branch and talks like the original plot, explaining the skills and purpose of practicing tree climbing. Let's start. As Kakashi finished speaking, Suzuki formed seals with his hands and concentrated chakra on his solace. While breathing, a chakra wind pressure appeared from Suzuki's feet and blew out a circle of dust. Then he exploded at his feet, took out his kunao and ran straight to the big tree next to him. He first wanted to confirm whether his cultivation talents had been enhanced after time traveling. Dengden. Under the acceleration of the dive, Suzuki rushed to a height of 7 or 8 meters before feeling powerless. Marking the tree trunk with a stroke, he landed on the ground with a beautiful backflip. Ah, is that the only way? Suzuki frowned as he looked at the height of only 7 or 8 meters, which was far from his goal. Suzuki, you are so cunning. You actually took the lead, I won't lose to you. Naruto next to him reacted immediately bursting out his seals and rushing towards another big tree. That fleeting burst of chakra wind pressure made Kakashi's pupils shrink. What an amazing amount of chakra! The amount of chakra hidden in Naruto has actually surpassed mine. 
and Suzuki's chakra has already reached the level of an elite Chuyunin. Are these two guys true geniuses? Hi? Huh? This is quite simple. Suddenly, Sakura's voice sounded from another tree. The three of them heard the sound and went to see Sakura sitting on a tall and thick branch. Sakura, you are so amazing. Naruto looked horrified and screamed when he saw this, but he still felt very uncomfortable. Being surpassed by the girl he likes would be even more uncomfortable for him than being surpassed by Suzuki. Well done, Sakura. Suzuki Furuyi Muhadaki, who knew the plot, was not frustrated. It seems that Sakura is the more talented person. Kakashi complimented, but he didn't think so in his heart. The amount of chakra of Naruto and Suzuki is several times that of Sakura. Naturally, it is more difficult to adapt to this practice. However, Sakura's chakra control talent is also quite outstanding. Well, you can just practice here. I will come over in the afternoon to check on your cultivation progress and point out your problems. Kakashi took out the little red book and said lazily, and his figure disappeared instantly. There is no need to worry about their safety within Kanaha. Or find a comfortable place to take a rest and enjoy reading. Well, Suzuki-kun. I have some cultivation experience, do you want to listen to it? Sakura, who was praised by the three, volunteered to come to Suzuki and said softly. Little did he know that this action made Naruto next to him spit fire from his eyes. Sakura's suggestion is detected and a D-level reward is triggered. Task, listen to experience, reward, the effect of climbing trees is doubled. Suzuki raised the corner of his mouth when he heard the prompt in his ear, and nodded in acquiescence under Sakura's surprised gaze. Accepted. Very good. This is the beginning of romantic love. Sakura's heart suddenly surged, and she suppressed the excitement in her heart and prepared to tell the story. I want it too, I want it too. Sakura, please don't be partial. Naruto, who had been jealous for a long time, immediately stepped forward and shouted, determined not to let the relationship between the two go further. Okay, okay. In front of Suzuki, even though Sakura was reluctant in every possible way, she still forced herself to agree happily. She couldn't let the good relationship she had just established be broken by Naruto. A moment later. The mission is completed, and you will receive a reward, the effect of climbing trees is doubled. As another reminder sounded, Suzuki once again gathered chakra at his feet and rushed towards the tree. Thing thump 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 thump. This time, Suzuki rushed directly to a height close to Sakura. How can it be? Damn it, I won't lose to you. Naruto next to him was shocked, roared, gathered chakra again and rushed towards the tree. No, I can't let Suzuki kun catch up with me. I also want to accumulate more experience and get closer to Suzuki kun. Also awakened was Sakura, with a serious expression on her pretty face as she concentrated the chakra at her feet. In an instant, the woods rang out with the passionate shouts of three people. Time flies to the afternoon. Oh my, everyone is full of energy. So what are your current results? Kakashi suddenly appeared and said lazily, looking at the three people sweating and panting, nodding with satisfaction. It seems that these three guys are not lazy. But why is this guy Naruto so full of bumps? Kakashi-sensei, I can already climb to the top of the tree. Sakura immediately stood up and said, quickly rushing up the tree trunk and reaching the top in one breath. This surprised Kakashi slightly, but he wasn't too surprised. With Sakura's previous talent and a small amount of chakra, it was not difficult to climb the tree in half a day. Kakashi-sensei, what is the next training? At the same time that Sakura spoke out, Suzuki's figure flashed onto the tree branch hanging upside down and said. Suddenly, this move made Kakashi's pupils shrink. Shocked. He had expected Sakura to be able to complete her training so quickly. But Suzuki actually completed tree climbing training so quickly. You know, Suzuki's chakra control talent is not as good as Sakura's 
but his chakra amount is several times that of Sakura. The difference in cultivation can be imagined. This guy is also a true Uchiha genius. What about you, Naruto? While excited, Kakashi couldn't help but look at Naruto expectantly. If even Naruto completes tree climbing training, then he will have to reevaluate the potential of the three of them. Humph, I can rush to the top of the tree right away. Anyway, I will not lose to Suzuki Sakura. Naruto shook his head and snorted coldly. The stubborn tug made two tic tacs appear on Kakashi's forehead. Good guy, this is even more temperamental than other people's tempers after completing their cultivation. In that case, I'll give you two more days to practice. Sakura, you will teach Naruto how to climb trees these two days. Suzuki, come with me. Kakashi waved his hand and made arrangements, beckoning Suzuki to follow him to the other side. Sakura, it's up to you then. Naruto's eyes lit up when he heard this, he looked at Sakura with a smile and said with a sweet smile. This is a rare world for two people. Damn it, why should I stay and practice with Naruto? Sakura's pretty face fell, she looked at Kakashi's leaving back and shouted with fists. Two days is obviously the perfect time to go on a date with Suzuki-kun. Suzuki, this is a chakra test strip. Let me take a look at your chakra attributes first, just enter chakra into it. Coming to the bushes nearby, Kakashi took out a piece of paper from his ninja bag and handed it to Suzuki. Is that so? A flash of surprise flashed in Suzuki's eyes, and he injected chakra directly into it while taking the paper. Next moment. Under Kakashi's surprised eyes. The chakra paper first crumpled into a ball, then ignited and turned into ashes. Chakra with dual attributes of thunder and fire. Kakashi said subconsciously, looking at Suzuki with more and more satisfaction. Kakashi now fully recognizes this talented disciple who is smart, sensible, and talented. As Suzuki said, he is the only teacher in Kanaha who can guide him in training. But on the other hand, Suzuki is not his only suitable disciple in Kanaha. Especially Suzuki, who has the attribute of thunder. His Chidori must have Sharinan and thunder attributes in order to inherit it. This, maybe it's God's will. The mission is completed, and you will receive the reward, Thunder Escape Thunder Arrow. While Kakashi recognized Suzuki in his heart, the system reward also sounded in Suzuki's ears. In an instant, the hand seals and applications of sea level thunderbolt and thunderbolt arrow were integrated into Suzuki's mind and body like a revelation. Even without any training experience, Suzuki can smoothly and skillfully complete the seals and perform ninjutsu. Suzuki, you are already very tired from today's training. Go back and rest, I will teach you new ninjutsu starting tomorrow. After regaining his thoughts, Kakashi looked at the slightly embarrassed Suzuki and said. He also has to go back and think about what ninjutsu is suitable for Suzuki now. Okay, Kakashi-sensei. Suzuki nodded in contentment and had no objection to this. I learned how to climb trees today, and now I have sea level thunderbolt and thunderbolt arrow. What else is there to be dissatisfied with? Evening. Kanaha Streets. After washing, Suzuki began to wander around with his wet hair. There are no tasks that can be triggered by staying at home. The tree climbing practice is completed, now it's time to tread water. However, whether climbing a tree or treading water is just the controlled application of chakra. Enough of climbing trees for now. Instead of wasting time treading water, it is better to learn the B-level fire escape and dragon fire first. After all, Bing Dunbai will be a difficult guy to deal with soon. Looking at the bustling crowd, Suzuki's eyes flickered and he thought to himself. With his current chakra, skills are more valuable than more. With the powerful fireball and thunder arrows, and a B-level fire escape as a trump card, it is enough for the time being. Besides, Kakashi will teach an unknown ninjutsu tomorrow. Suzuki. Suddenly, a charming and innocent sound of coquettishness came from the street next to her. This made Suzuki pause and turn his head to look. Suzuki-kun, it's really you. Do you want to go on a date together, 
just the two of us? A slim girl with yellow hair and purple clothes hugged Suzuki's arm fiercely and extended an invitation warmly and generously. The light yellow single ponytail swayed in the wind, and a faint girl's fragrance instantly rushed into Suzuki's nostrils. Your enthusiasm is still so unrestrained, Eno. Suzuki felt the touch on his arm and responded with a faint smile. My heart skipped a beat. It seems that a simple invitation does not mean a suggestion. Sakura should be discussing countermeasures that time. There is a kernel of actual advice. As he spoke, Suzuki's eyes fell on the two teenagers next to him. I didn't expect to meet you here. Shikamaru, Koji. Suzuki greeted with a smile in his eyes. If rewards can't be induced subjectively, then it's okay for him to make friends. Suzuki, you actually take the initiative to say hello to us. Shikamaru looked at Suzuki in surprise and said unexpectedly, while Koji beside him chewed his food and nodded repeatedly. Suzuki, during his time in the ninja school, he always kept to himself. A very cold existence. Suzuki, leave them alone. How about we go have dinner together? I happen to be hungry. Seeing that Suzuki had a good attitude today, Ino immediately hit the snake with a stick and shouted in a sweet voice. In this case, Shikamaru, Koji, you guys are coming too. When Suzuki heard this, his heart moved, and he asked Shikamaru Chuji to borrow flowers to offer to the Buddha. There's no harm in getting in touch with more friends, and it doesn't cost him money anyway. Have a meal? Okay, where to eat? Before Ino and Shikamaru could say anything, Koji, the foodie, shouted with burning eyes. Not refusing any invitation is a perseverance engraved in the bones of the Akimichi clan. It's really troublesome, it's aroused his appetite. Then, I'll trouble you. Ino. Shikamaru, who knew Koji's personality, scratched his head and said helplessly, giving Ino a wishing look. Koji's appetite is not just talk. Ah? Really, how could it become like this? Eno's head suddenly became bigger than his head, and he held his head and felt annoyed. But she couldn't scold Suzuki, and she didn't want to let go of this opportunity to have dinner with Suzuki for the first time. And so. Let's go, Suzuki-kun. And you, Shikamaru and Koji. Suppressing her inner dissatisfaction, Eno smiled and hugged Suzuki's arm to force a smile. But when Shikamaru Koji's name was mentioned, there was a burst of gnashing of teeth. Soon, a group of four people walked into a nearby restaurant. Suzuki, I recognize your existence now. Koji sat opposite Suzuki and said sincerely, and hurriedly handed the menu to the shop owner. Please bring me a full menu, boss. Suzuki? Ino? Suzuki, I don't know the reason for your change. Maybe it's because of growing up as a ninja. However, you make me feel like a partner even more. I hope you will continue to be so withdrawn and indifferent as before. Shikamaru looked deeply at Suzuki and said seriously before lowering his head to order. Shikamaru, why are you pretending to be preaching here? Suzuki-kun, please don't be angry. Upon seeing this, Ino hurriedly said nervously, fearing that Suzuki would be dissatisfied and leave the scene. In this way, she would have lost her wife and soldiers, and even after Suzuki left, she would treat him to appease Koji. It's too awful. No, Ino. On the contrary, I think Shikamaru is right. If you can get in touch with Shino Hinata Ga and the others, it would be a good idea for us to organize a class reunion dinner. Suzuki smiled and talked, making Ino and Shikamaru look sideways again. None of them expected that Suzuki would have such an idea. Are you serious, Suzuki? Ino saw that Suzuki didn't seem to be faking it, so he spoke to confirm. Certainly. Suzuki smiled and nodded to confirm, of course he wasn't joking. The moment Shikamaru made the suggestion, a system prompt sounded in his ears. Detecting Shikamaru's suggestion, triggering D-level reward. Task. Change partner's impression, reward, 10,000 tails of money. 
Suzuki doesn't care about the reward of 10,000 tails. What he cares about is taking this opportunity to make more friends to increase the chance of triggering rewards. No matter what the reward is, he will accept it. Then it's decided. Let me communicate with Hinata and the others and see if it's okay tomorrow night. After all, those students who graduated in the same period and passed the examination should indeed hold a class reunion. Ino immediately patted her chest and said, also very interested in this. Only nine people from our third class have successfully graduated in the same period. I also agree with this proposal. Shikamaru also nodded in agreement, even if he was afraid of trouble, he didn't think it was a troublesome thing. Great, there will be another big dinner tomorrow. Koji slammed the table and roared excitedly again, leaving the three of them speechless for a moment. Especially Suzuki, who was preparing to treat a guest, was secretly worried about whether the reward of 10,000 tails would be enough. The next day. In the woods yesterday. Suzuki, you have now learned fire release, high fire ball. Fire escape is not considered for now. Now, I will teach you a thunder escape ninjutsu, razor. Although this ninjutsu is a sea level thunder escape, it has two attack methods. You can condense the thunder chakra in your hands for close range attacks, or you can turn the thunder attribute into a razor for short range attacks. The order of the hand seals of the technique is SI, Yu and Shen. Kakashi stood in front of Suzuki and began to explain his training experience in detail. This sea level thunder release is a carefully selected thunder release ninjutsu. Once you learn this ninjutsu, it will be easy to learn the advanced version of thunder release. Chidori later. It also allows Suzuki to adapt to this attack method in advance. It can be said to be a painstaking effort. You turn on your Sharingan, and I'll demonstrate it again. Although the single Megatama Sharingan cannot replicate ninjutsu, it can enhance insight and assist training. Kakashi said after finishing his theory, he started forming seals with his hands. Kakashi, this teacher is quite reliable. It is worthy of being second only to Orikimaru who cared deeply about Suzuki. With this, wouldn't it be much easier to develop Chidori Ryu in the future? It perfectly complements the long-range attack thunder release and thunder arrow, covering all the near, medium, and long ranges. Looking at Kakashi who had already unleashed his thunder escape, Suzuki secretly thought and his eyes turned scarlet. Sharinan open, thunder. Escape thunder snake. Under Suzuki's Sharinan, Kakashi slowly completed the seal and shouted in a deep voice. In an instant, a blue lightning appeared in Kakashi's right hand. Suzuki clearly saw the real situation under the lightning through his Sharinan. A coiled thunder snake formed into a ball, and an electric arc flashed in the center of the palm. This is the first method of attack. Kakashi grabbed the thunder snake ball and shook it, then explained then opened his palm suddenly. There was a crackling burst of lightning, and the coiled razor suddenly burst out and rushed towards Suzuki. Subconsciously. Chakra erupted under Suzuki's feet and he retreated several meters, finally landing ten meters away. The razor then hit the ground after extending eight meters, exploding a long charred black line. That's basically it. The strength and length of the razor will vary depending on the caster's chakra. But there is no essential difference at all. It's up to you now, Suzuki. Kakashi's serious expression instantly changed, returning to his unmotivated and lazy look. Turn around and leave. Damn it, Kakashi sensei secretly gave Suzuki special training alone. Unacceptable. At this moment, Naruto suddenly ran out and shouted angrily. A pair of azure pupils suddenly shone with grievance almost bursting out of their eyes. I'm sorry, Kakashi-sensei. I tried to stop Naruto from coming over, but I didn't stop him. Sakura next to her hurriedly waved her hands to apologize, but her eyes fell on Suzuki with starry eyes. As expected of the man she likes, he has already learned a new ninjutsu. However, I am a little unwilling to do so. Well, I was discovered. Kakashi scratched his head and laughed without guilt, then turned to look at Naruto and Sakura. You two, 
there is no need to think that I am partial to Suzuki. Sakura, your chakra is too low and you are not suitable for practicing ninjutsu at the moment. Naruto, are you finished with your tree climbing training? After you finish your tree climbing training, you can start learning ninjutsu. Kakashi casually made an excuse and said perfunctorily, and the figure disappeared with a whoosh. Ah! He ran away again. Damn it, I have to start practicing hard. Hurry up and learn to climb trees and let Kakashi-sensei teach me new ninjutsu. I will definitely catch up with you, Suzuki. Naruto scratched his ears and yelled, looked at Suzuki fiercely and rushed towards the tree next to him. Hot-blooded idiot! Suzuki shrugged and couldn't complain, and slowly formed seals and began to practice. Naruto learns ninjutsu? Are you kidding me? He is so reckless that he ends up. So handsome, Suzuki. As arcs of electricity flashed across Suzuki's palms, Sakura put her hands on her face and fell instantly. Time flies to evening. Both Naruto and Suzuki were exhausted at this time. The two of them practiced hard all day long, and Sakura was responsible for lunch. However, whether it is tree climbing or thunder escape, neither of them has completed their cultivation. So you are practicing here. Suzuki, Sakura and Naruto. Just when the three of them were about to go home and rest, a voice suddenly sounded outside the woods. Suzuki turned around and saw Inuzuka Kiba running quickly with Akamaru. Behind him are Hinata and Shino, who both belong to Team 8. Following closely behind the three of them is Zulu Dai from Class 10. Yad, why are you here? Naruto, who also saw a few people, immediately cheered up and asked. Suzuki didn't tell you? He invited us to have dinner together for a class reunion. Could it be that, Naruto, you are not among the invitees? But this is understandable. After all, you are just a useless crane tail. Inuzuka Kiba said with an arrogant and proud look on his face, and every word was full of ridicule. He has no fear at all towards Naruto. Damn it, what are you talking about? Who is the useless crane tail, do you want to fight? Naruto was instantly stricken when he heard this, rolled up his sleeves and stared at Inuzuka Kiba and said fiercely. Don't, don't be like this. Everyone is a companion, Kiba, Naruto-kun. When Hinata saw this, she hurriedly spoke out. Suzuki was speechless when he saw the conflict between shyness and bravery. Hinata, you are too shy. Is it possible for someone with such a personality to offer unsolicited advice? Otherwise, go find the genius Niji. Idiot Naruto, what are you doing? Everyone is here to eat together today so don't mess around. Ino stepped between the two of them and shouted, then turned to look at Suzuki, his eyes turned into crescent moons. Suzuki-kun, didn't you say you were going to have a class reunion on our date last night? I have made an appointment with Hinata and the others. Where are we going to have dinner now? Do you want to go to the hot pot restaurant near my flower shop? Dinner party? Dating. Before Suzuki could answer, Sakura next to her clenched her fists with a fierce look in her eyes. She was careless, she was too careless. He actually naively thought that being in a group with Suzuki would mean he could sit back and relax, and lost his vigilance. This guy Ino secretly dated Suzuki-kun at night. The key is that Suzuki-kun agreed. How could she accept this kind of thing? Ah ha ha! Ino! You don't have to worry about this. Suzuki-kun and I have discussed the matter of the class reunion, and it will be at the Yoshinoya self-service grill. With her mind spinning, Sakura immediately took Suzuki's arm and declared her sovereignty. We must not let Ino take the upper hand. Really, Suzuki-kun? A look of surprise also flashed in Ino's eyes, and she forced a smile on her face and asked. But alarm bells are ringing in my heart. As expected, Sakura's relationship with Suzuki has improved by leaps and bounds since they became teammates. Hateful. Suzuki, what do you mean by this guy? You didn't even tell me after discussing with Sakura. 
Don't you already agree with my existence? Why, why didn't you invite me? When Suzuki was shocked that Sakura was adding drama to him, Naruto suddenly roared and became emotional. This made everyone present turn their attention to Suzuki. Suzuki actually approved of Naruto. As for Suzuki, at this moment, it felt like ten thousand tailed beasts were rushing through his heart. Naruto didn't cause any trouble, it was as if he had been abandoned. Coupled with Sakura Ino's overt and covert fighting, Suzuki couldn't help but have the illusion that three women were fighting for their husbands. Ba, ba, ba. Why are three women fighting for a husband? I am very straight. Suzuki quickly put aside the strange thoughts and coughed dryly to adjust his mentality. Idiot, how could you have time when you were busy practicing just now? We've all talked about the class reunion, aren't you a classmate? Suzuki said with a look of disgust on his face, causing Naruto's expression to turn from gloomy to bright and excited in an instant. Let's go, everyone. Target, Yoshinoya self-service grill. Sighing secretly, Suzuki turned his head and took a deep look at the anxious Sakura. Then he raised his head and shouted. Okay, Suzuki-kun. Hearing this, Sakura's heart was in turmoil and she hugged Suzuki's arm tightly and said sweetly. Suzuki-kun is indeed on her side. Ino, you lose. Don't hold Suzuki-kun so tightly, Sakura. Ino was furious when he saw this and pulled Sakura away from Suzuki. A pair of blue pupils burst out with endless fighting spirit, not giving in at all. Naturally, Sakura was not to be outdone, and confidently started a contest and approached Suzuki. Hey, I knew it would be like this. It's really troublesome. Shikamaru looked at the two people holding their foreheads and sighed, then took two steps forward and came to Suzuki's right side. Suzuki. Naruto rolled his eyes and immediately ran to Suzuki's left side to block Sakura Ino's last hope. Looking at his right-hand man next to him, Suzuki felt profound for a moment. Kanaha. Under clear blue sky and white clouds. Suzuki, arrive at location B. In the woods, Suzuki stared at the target and whispered into the headset. Sakura, arrive at location C. Naruto, arrive at location A. The location information of Sakura and Naruto came quickly from the earphones. Naruto, you are moving too slowly. The best opportunity has been missed, the target has moved. Take all action, chase quickly. Following Kakashi's command in the headset, Chakra erupted under Suzuki's feet and he quickly rushed towards the target. Meow. With a horrible scream, Suzuki grabbed the cat's neck and clamped it tightly. Suzuki-kun is so handsome. Sakura then appeared and shouted sweetly, once again demonstrating the strength of the atmosphere team. Finally caught you, little kitten. Naruto came to Suzuki's side with a whoosh, grabbed the cat and chuckled. Then leave it to you, Naruto. Suzuki was very happy to see this, he let go and handed the cat to Naruto. At the same time, he pressed the headset next to his ear and started reporting. Brown hair, black stripes on his forehead, and a red bow on his right ear. Confirmed to be the mission target cat, Zayahu. That's right, Suzuki and the others are currently executing a copy of Kanaha's famous Genin, the mission to capture the lost tiger. At this time, it has been almost a month since Suzuki and the others last had dinner together. At the last dinner party, as expected by Suzuki, no more rewards were triggered. As for his target Hinata, Suzuki gave up temporarily after a brief contact. Hinata now is more introverted and inferior than Hinata after the Chinin exams. Even if she could see some effective advice, she wouldn't be able to say it with her current personality. Therefore, Suzuki has shifted his target to Niji. This month. Apart from getting another 0.1 tails of coins and calorie of chakra, Suzuki didn't have any rewards. However, in terms of ninjutsu, I have already learned Thunder Release, Thunder Snake and Fire Release, Dragon Fire. In addition, he has performed 60 level missions intermittently. Hokage Building Little Tiger Ahaha, my cute little tiger is finally back. 
You are really worried about me, my little tiger. Under the stunned expressions of Suzuki and the other three, the prince's wives held the cat Zayahu and ravaged it. This made the three of them shudder. Even Suzuki, who knew the plot, was the same. Knowing and broadcasting live are not the same feeling. Well, the D-class mission of missing cat is completed. Then, Kakashi Ban's next mission is. After the prince's wives left, Hiruzen Saratobi puffed out smoke rings and began to look for the next mission. Muttering those boring D-level mission names, Naruto clenched his fists and prepared to go. Don't want. I don't want to do these boring and unchallenging tasks anymore. Are there no other tasks? I want to perform more difficult and exciting high-level tasks. Under Suzuki's expectations, Naruto finally couldn't hold back and shouted. The expressions of Sande, Kakashi, and Iruka changed at the same time. It's about to begin. The long-awaited mission to the Land of Waves, the first battle of the transformation of Team 7. Looking at the passionate Naruto fighting with Iruka, Suzuki couldn't help but sigh slightly. Regarding this task of facing the elite Jonin, Suzuki has no intention of changing the plot. Become Suzuki and know the plot. If he didn't even dare to face a guy like Zabuza, how could he covet at Satsuki's power? I see. Naruto, are you no longer the little kid who likes to play pranks? At Naruto's insistence, the third generation lowered the Hokage hat and spoke in a complicated tone. Leaving the village for the nine-tailed Jin Hiroki is a dangerous move in itself. But since Naruto was allowed to graduate and become a ninja, he was mentally prepared for this day. During this period, he also witnessed the rapid growth of Suzuki and Naruto. Especially Suzuki, who already has the strength of an elite Chuyunin. It's almost time. Then please come out. Mr. Desna. Under the expectant gaze of Naruto and Suzuki, the third generation turned around and shouted with a solemn expression. With a sizzle, the door next to him was pushed open. A strong smell of alcohol hit my face instantly. Yeah? Who is this drunk old man? Seeing Tashuna appear, Naruto asked excitedly, smelting heavily of alcohol. He is the client of your mission, Mr. Desna. Naruto, this is a C-level protection mission. The next step is left to you, Kakashi. After a brief introduction, the third generation calmly gave Kakashi a special look. Kakashi naturally knew it was because of Kyuubai, and nodded silently to express his understanding. What? Let them accept the mission to protect me? Why are they all kid ninjas? Especially that short, stupid kid, can he also become a ninja? When Tatsuna, who smelled of alcohol, heard this, he looked at Suzuki and the three of them and started to speak venomously. His family knows his own affairs, but he knows his own situation. He was afraid that Suzuki and the others would trick him because of their unreliability. As soon as this word comes out. This made Naruto scream in anger, but was ruthlessly suppressed by Kakashi. I am Dejuna, the super famous bridge builder from the Land of Waves. Then my safety is left to you. Before I build the bridge, I ask you to risk your lives to protect my safety. After a while, Dasna took a swig of wine and broke the can. Anyway, he has no money to upgrade the mission level, so he can only treat a living horse as a dead horse doctor. Don't worry, Mr. Dejuna. Although they are young, they are all Kanaha's elite ninjas. Besides, I'm a Jounin, so there's no problem. Kakashi was as lazy and soothing as ever, not feeling any danger. This made Desna react and was secretly surprised. Spending the money of a C-level mission to hire Jonin for protection makes a lot of money. Suzuki, Naruto, Sakura. Now go back and prepare weapons and daily necessities, and meet at the entrance of the village in half an hour. The same goes for Mr. Dejuna, San. After walking out of the Hokage building, Kakashi turned to everyone. The figure disappeared in a flash. Next, it's time for me to show off my skills. Naruto shouted passionately after Kakashi left, and quickly ran home without looking back. Let's go, Sakura. Suzuki smiled helplessly, 
said hello, turned around and walked towards home. But Suzuki did not go home directly, but took a turn and came to a weapons store. Just in case, he must prepare some trump cards to be safe. Half an hour later, Kakashi Ban, who was ready to go, gathered again and met the client, Dejuna, at the entrance of the village. Let's go, everyone. The excited Naruto raised his finger and shouted excitedly after everyone arrived. This is the first time for him to leave the village after growing up. Gone. Suzuki also had a similar expression, he was looking forward to the outside as well. However, what he is looking forward to is the upcoming battle. These two guys, who is the leader of the Jonin? Kakashi looked at Suzuki and Naruto who was giving orders, and a row of crows flew over his forehead, speechless again. By the way, Mr. Dejuna. You just said you were from the Land of Waves. Are there ninjas in the Land of Waves? On the white and solid dirt road, the bored Sakura asked curiously. No, Sakura. Under normal circumstances, there are no ninjas in small countries like Wave Country. Kakashi took the initiative to answer the question, just in time to kill the boring journey. However, not all small countries do not have ninja villages. On this continent, there are only five major countries that can truly be called great ninja villages. That is, the country of wind, the village hidden in the sand, the country of thunder, the village hidden in the clouds, the country of earth, the village hidden in the rocks, and the country of water, the village hidden in the mist. And, our hidden leaf village in the land of fire. In addition, there are some well-known Xiao ninja villages. Under the surprised looks of Sakura and Naruto, Kakashi began to describe the situation in the ninja world. It also allowed the two of them to realize the true situation of the world for the first time. Suzuki was already familiar with this, so he naturally wouldn't be surprised. Amid the chatter and laughter of the three people, the time quickly came to noon. Okay. Suddenly, Suzuki's steps paused slightly. The corner of my eye glanced at the puddles on the roadside and then I looked calmly at the clear sky. Coming. Suzuki, who knew the plot, understood instantly, adjusted his body angle and began to form seals with his hands. This action immediately caused Kakashi, who also discovered the clue, to shrink his pupils and be shocked on the spot. Suzuki, have you discovered it yet? Whoosh. The next second when the last Kakashi walked through the puddle, Two figures broke through the puddle at high speed and rushed towards Kakashi. The moment Naruto and Sakura were awakened by the sound of breaking through the air and turned around, they saw Kakashi being split in half. Kakashi-sensei. Subconsciously, the two of them screamed in unison. Even though it happened suddenly, Sakura rushed to Tashuna immediately and protected him behind her. First. After succeeding, the ghost brother shouted coldly and rushed towards the nearest Naruto with sharp eyes. Seeing this, Naruto's pupils shrank and he stood there trembling, his whole body stiff and unable to move. For the first time, he had the fear of death. Art fire escape ho fireball. At the critical moment, Suzuki's voice suddenly rang through the sky. A high temperature fireball with a diameter of 5 meters passed by Naruto's eyes at high speed and hit the ghost brothers who were speeding towards him. What? Caught off guard, the two ghost brothers were instantly enveloped by a sudden fireball. In an extreme emergency, the two of them had just exploded with chakra and wanted to retreat quickly. Whoosh! Several shurikens flew out of the fireball at high speed. He arrived in front of the two people in an instant, and the situation was extremely urgent. In the midst of the lightning and flint, a fierce look flashed in the eyes of one of the ghost brothers. He directly grabbed his companion and blocked him in front of him, kicked him into the fireball, and used his strength to retreat quickly. In an instant, the mist ninja was swallowed up by a ball of fire with a temperature of hundreds of degrees. Nanny! That rascal! Seeing the enemy turn into charcoal in an instant, Naruto and Sakura exclaimed at the same time. At this moment, they realized for the first time the cruel reality of ninjas. The so-called companions. In a life-and-death situation, 
it's so easy to be ruthlessly abandoned. In an instant, both of them deeply understood the true meaning of Kakashi's graduation assessment. Escape While the two of them were shocked, the person who managed to escape turned around and ran away without hesitation. This team is so dangerous. Boom! Just when Suzuki was about to give chase, Kakashi suddenly appeared and slashed the man's neck with his hand. Knock him out with one blow. Kakashi-sensei, you are not dead. Seeing Kakashi come back from the dead, Naruto shouted in surprise with a happy face. It's a substitute technique. Sakura saw a few wooden stakes next to her and understood instantly. Suzuki, you did a great job. Sakura is also very good, successfully protecting the client. Kakashi turned to Suzuki and praised Sakura, then turned to look at Naruto. A certain brat who was clamoring to become Hokage was so scared just now that he didn't dare to move. It seems that Suzuki is indeed one step closer to Hokage. Kakashi provoked very exaggeratedly, making Naruto's face turn red. Shame and unwillingness surged into my heart at the same time. It was obviously the first time he faced an enemy, so why was Suzuki so decisive and brave? Is this the difference between them? How can he accept this? Poor performance. Suzuki rolled his eyes and couldn't complain, and took a few steps forward to stand in front of Naruto. Yo! Are you okay, coward? Under Naruto's excited and angry eyes, Suzuki turned around and left. Well, how could such an interesting thing as slapping the protagonist in the face be omitted? Damn it, you're so arrogant. I will definitely not lose to you next time, Suzuki. Naruto immediately jumped up and yelled in anger, but he thought Suzuki was going to say something encouraging and comforting. Mr. Dejuna. You seem to be hiding something from us. The current situation clearly exceeds the mission level you issued. Kakashi stared at Dejuna with cold eyes and said firmly, already knowing who the other party's target was. The target of the Ghost Brothers' attack was obviously towards Tezna. This. Desna's old face was awkward, and he was so guilty that he couldn't say anything and did not accuse himself. Without Suzuki's participation, Naruto still broke out as in the original plot. The mission continues. After the assassination by the Ghost Brothers, things naturally went smoothly, and the group set foot on the Land of Waves the next morning. Along the way, they also learned about Cardo's existence. Enemy. Suddenly, Naruto, who was opening the way in front, threw a handful of kunao and shouted loudly. Everyone's expressions changed and they became nervous. Naruto, please don't pretend to be a ghost. Look what you did. After seeing that the one stabbed by the kunao was a white rabbit, Sakura couldn't help shouting in anger. Hi? Rabbit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Naruto's face fell upon seeing this, he grabbed the rabbit in embarrassment and apologized profusely. Coming. Suzuki ignored Naruto's antics and the alarm bells rang loudly, his limbs tense in preparation for attack. At the same moment, Kakashi looked at the rabbit thoughtfully and solemnly. Get down quickly. Suddenly, Kakashi's warning rang in everyone's ears. Suzuki, who was well prepared, immediately tripped Tashuna down, while Naruto and Sakura also lowered their heads. Next second. The sharp beheading knife flew past quickly and struck hard on the tree trunk in front. A whooshing sound. A figure then appeared, standing on the hilt of the knife with cold eyes. Ouch. Who am I? It turns out to be Kirigakura's escaped ninja Kaijin Zabuza. Seeing the person coming, Kakashi's pupils shrank and he pretended. But the ridicule was ridicule, but he immediately opened his forehead protector to reveal his scarlet left eye. Sherinan. So that's the case. No wonder the Ghost Brotherhood's assassination failed. I didn't expect that this mission would be escorting the rumored copy ninja Kakashi. Seeing the Scarlet Three Magadama Sherinan, Zabuza's eyes became even colder and he said coldly. The battle is about to break out. Sherinan? Aren't these Suzuki's eyes? How come Kakashi-sensei is there? 
could it be that this is a secret technique that can be practiced? Naruto, who didn't know what he meant, shouted in surprise when he saw Kakashi's left eye. The crazy person exposed Suzuki's information directly. That brat? It turns out that he is the Uchiha descendant of the rumored tragic clan. Zabuza's eyes sharpened when he heard this, and he looked towards Suzuki with murderous intent. The value of the Sharinan is much higher than an A-level mission. With Kakashi's strength, he couldn't take the Sharinan, but it was still impossible for a genin's eye. At that time, whether it is for personal use or selling is a good choice. Naruto, are you stupid or ignorant? Ninja information must not be leaked at will. Did you do this to harm Suzuki? Kakashi's heart skipped a beat when he saw Zabuza's murderous intent, unable to complain. Such idiot teammates are sometimes more dangerous than those who have no team spirit. Who knows whether during the battle, your trump card will suddenly be exposed and the enemy will turn defeat into victory. No, it's not that exaggerated. Naruto's face froze when Kakashi scolded him, and then he reacted belatedly and said. Idiot Naruto. If something happens to Suzuki-kun, I will definitely not let you go. Sakura clenched her fists and shouted angrily, quickly dodged to Suzuki's side and stared at Zabuza nervously. I won't let him hurt you, Suzuki-kun. Although her body was trembling with fear, Sakura still clenched her teeth and stood up. Sakura. Suzuki's pupils shrank slightly upon hearing this, and for the first time he felt that he recognized Sakura. It's not based on knowledge of the original character, but real personal emotions. There is great terror between life and death. But similarly, true love can also be seen in adversity. Damn it, Sakura, don't underestimate me. That guy without eyebrows, don't even think about hurting Suzuki and Sakura in front of my uncle, Naruto. The Art of Shadow Clone Suddenly, Naruto, who was being scolded one after another, shouted angrily. With a bang, a dozen shadow clones were separated and they rushed towards Zabuza. Idiot, don't be so impulsive. Kakashi saw this and hurriedly stopped him, and at the same time rushed towards Zabuza to prevent any accidents. Sakura, protect Mr. Tatsuna. Seeing Naruto's actions, Suzuki's lips curved into a smile, and he quickly formed seals with Sakura's hands. Is this the so-called bond? Boom. While Suzuki rushed out, Kakashi took the lead and exchanged a move with Zabuza. With the help of collision and block, Zabuza turned over and grabbed the decapitating sword and swung it at will. Boom bang bang! Naruto's clone was instantly shattered like paper. Art fire escape ho fire ball! Suzuki seized the opportunity and exploded violently, and the orange-red high temperature fire ball roared out instantly. Not bad, Uchiha brat! Zabuza sneered and quickly dodged to avoid the fireball. The warm-up is over and the real battle is about to begin. The art of water release and kirigakur. While dodging, Zabuza said with cold eyes, forming seals with his hands to activate the ninjutsu. In an instant, the clear woods turned into a blinding fog. Kakashi's expression suddenly changed, and he quickly appeared in front of Suzuki. You three, Form a swastika formation to protect Mr. Dejuna and yourself. After hearing Kakashi's order, Suzuki came to Sakura's side to be on guard without saying a word. The same goes for Naruto. Kakashi sensei, who is that guy? Sakura looked at the thick fog and said nervously, wanting to get as much information about the enemy as possible. One of the Kirigakur Seven Ninja Swords, Mamakai Zabuza. The enemy is a powerful opponent who is very good at silent killing. Just like now, use the cover of the fog to find opportunities to kill with one strike. You must keep your spirits up. Kakashi used his Sharinan with all his strength to look around and said, making Naruto and Sakura even more nervous. And while Kakashi was talking, the fog became thicker and invisible. Larynx, carotid artery, lungs, liver, spine. Subclavian artery, kidneys, heart. Eight places. So, which key point should I choose to attack? Just when the atmosphere was tense, 
Zabuza's voice suddenly sounded from all directions. Along with the vicious voice, a terrifying murderous aura emerged from the fog and pressed on everyone. Suddenly, Suzuki and the other three felt trapped in endless terror. The spirit is so depressed that it is almost difficult to breathe. This, this is the Jounin. My body, nothing, can't move. Naruto and Sakura trembled almost simultaneously, their bodies shaking uncontrollably. This is the murderous aura of an elite Jounin. The body and heart beat involuntarily, and the spirit was suppressed. This feeling is as uncomfortable as a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. Suzuki's pupils shrank violently and he was secretly frightened after suffering the same treatment. That's it for the elite Jonin. How terrifying will Orokimaru, the tailed beasts, and Atsutsuki be in the future? Thinking of those existences, Suzuki's mental stress instantly decreased by half. I see. The core of murderous intent is the competition between will and spirit. Sherinan open. After regaining his breath, Suzuki groaned slightly, and his dark pupils instantly turned into scarlet single Megatama. As your insight increases, you also regain control over your body. The Sherinan is originally a yin escape power and is very resistant to murderous intent. Sakura, Naruto. I won't let you die here. Looking at the two people with frightened faces, Suzuki tightened his grip on the kunao and corrected his mentality. When you protect others, you also save yourself. Let him get a new life in this strange world. Suzuki is right. I will protect you to the death and will never let my companions be killed. Kakashi also shouted at the same time, and while speaking, he burst into murderous aura and collided with Zabuza's murderous aura to relieve the pressure on the three of them. Yet. Suddenly, Zabuza's voice sounded in Suzuki's ears. Almost at the same time, the sharp beheading sword slashed at Suzuki. Suzuki's eyes narrowed as he activated his Sherinan, and he immediately waved his kunao to block. Boom! At the critical moment, Kakashi jumped in front of Suzuki to block the attack. The sharp kunao instantly penetrated Zabuza's abdomen. This is the water body. Kakashi and Suzuki's expressions changed dramatically at the same time, and they saw water trickling out from where the kunao had stabbed them. Alert! Kakashi warned and was about to leave the place, but at this moment. Too slow. Zabuza suddenly appeared again, cutting off Kakashi in an instant with a sharp sword. It's over. Zabuza said with a ferocious look in his eyes, then turned to look at Suzuki and the others. Is this just the kind of thing that makes you feel scared? You three brats are either wearing forehead protectors or are ninjas. The so-called ninja means having the courage to face death. A fearless fighting spirit and an awareness that is not afraid of sacrifice. You three are not worthy of becoming ninjas at all. While Zabuza was preaching, the system prompt sounded again in Suzuki's mind. Detecting Zabuza's malicious suggestions triggers a 10x C-level reward. Mission, slap Zabuza in the face, reward, Kirigakura silent killing technique. Almost the same time. That's it. As Zabuza finished speaking, Kakashi's figure instantly appeared behind him. At the same time, Kakashi, who was chopped off by Zabuza, turned into water splashing everywhere. Water body? You can actually copy my ninjutsu under this thick fog, you are worthy of Sherinan Kakashi. Looking at the kunao on his neck, Zabuza was completely fearless and slightly amazed. This Furui Foha behavior made Kakashi frown slightly, could this guy be? Next moment, Zabuza's body turned into water and fell to the ground with a splash. That guy is also a water incarnation. Naruto, who looked surprised, suddenly changed his face and shouted loudly. Water escape water prison technique. It's too late to say it, but it's too late to say it. Just as Kakashi hid in the water next to him, Zabuza's voice sounded again. In the flash of lightning, the water around Kakashi quickly formed a water ball to restrain him. The speed was so fast that Suzuki, who was about to stop him, couldn't catch up. You run away quickly. He must control the water prison technique and not be able to leave, so now. 
seeing that the situation was not good, Kakashi immediately shouted and urged. Escape? Impossible. While you were being restrained by the water prison, we had lost hope of escaping. Even if he ran away temporarily, he couldn't escape Zabuza's pursuit. In the end, the entire army was wiped out. Moreover, I have no intention of abandoning my partner. The purpose of Class 7 is not to give up or give up. So, the only option now is to fight. Helping the teacher escape from the water prison is our only chance to break the situation. Suzuki flashed to Naruto and shouted loudly, while motivating Naruto to overcome his fear. Suzuki. In the water prison, I saw Suzuki saying that he would not give up on his friends. Kakashi's body trembled slightly, and he looked at Suzuki with even more approval. Suzuki is simply another Obito. Well, it's Obito who is even more talented. Damn it, I won't lose to you. Come together, Suzuki. Naruto was already super dissatisfied with his previous performance, and immediately exploded after hearing Suzuki's words. The fear of Zabuza was suppressed by the thought of surpassing Suzuki in the blink of an eye. Do you remember the strategy from last time? On. Seeing that the secret path was stable, Suzuki formed a seal with his hands and gave orders. That one? That's it, the art of shadow clone. Naruto looked at Suzuki in astonishment, then showed a strange smile and shouted. Boom bang bang. As Naruto exploded, a large cloud of white smoke appeared to cover Zabuza's sight. Is this this boring clone again? A brat is a brat, and he has not learned any of the previous lessons. Looking at dozens of Naruto clones, Zabuza looked disdainful, and a water clone appeared in front of him again. Although the water clone only has one-tenth of his power, it is enough to deal with a fish like Naruto. Go on. With a large number of people, Naruto waved his hand, and many clones rushed forward at the same time. Humph, no amount of people can change the fact that you are a waste. Zabuza's clone swung his sword and confidently stared at Naruto's clone, ready to go. Look at my trick. Suddenly, Naruto from all directions formed seals and shouted loudly. This action instantly attracted the attention of all Zabuza and the water body. Could it be that this kid has any particularly powerful moves? This is. Seeing this familiar scene, a black line rose on Kakashi's forehead. This guy actually used this trick on this occasion. Zabuza wasn't the kind of ninja who would fall for tricks. Well, he won't. Variety. While Kakashi was worried, all Naruto clones shouted. I saw another huge plume of white smoke drifting past. Next moment. Zabuza-sama. Mr. Ghost. Dozens of naked Nariko appeared charmingly, and under Sakura's shocked gaze, Yunyan Ying Ying rushed towards Zabuza. Did you make a mistake, Naruto? Sakura roared angrily, resisting this move. That kid is quite powerful. Desna, the old man next to him, blushed and affirmed while looking at the scene that he would never see in these lifetimes. For the first time, I recognized Naruto's existence. Humph, I won't fall for such a boring trick. I am Zabuza, the demon of Kirigakur. At the same time Sakura Tatsuna spoke, Zabuza, who was surrounded by pink tenderness, said with a ferocious expression. With a swing of the broadsword, he slashed at the first few clones mercilessly. Bang bang bang! Naruto's clone, which is already crispy, breaks into pieces when touched, no surprise. In just two breaths, he quickly eliminated almost all the clones. Everything ends here. Ignoring Naruto who looked frightened, Zabuza's clone shouted and rushed towards Suzuki who followed up with an attack. Stretch out your fingers like electricity to dig out those sherry non eyes. Suzuki. Sakura screamed miserably, and without hesitation she burst out her chakra to stop him. However, bang! Under the stunned gazes of Sakura and Zabuza, Suzuki turned into white smoke and disappeared with a bang. Shadow clone. Damn it, his goal is. Zabuza's clone's expression changed and he reacted suddenly and looked back. 
Thunder escaped Thunder Snake. Zabuza, who was also awakened, was about to move when the river suddenly exploded under his feet. Suzuki, who was holding a thunderbolt, opened his scarlet single Megatama Sharinan and rushed towards Zabuza's chest with overwhelming force. It's too naive to want to succeed like this. Zabuza looked at the flash of attacking thoughts close at hand and tilted his body slightly to change his position. His right foot kicked towards Suzuki in an instant, trying to kick him away. See it. Suzuki's single Megatama quickly spun secretly, and his body moved accordingly to avoid the kick that was as fast as the wind. At the same time, the thunder snake in his hand flicked violently, and the ball-shaped thunder snake suddenly extended into a long thunder snake and bit the arm that controlled the water prison. A sizzling sound. Zabuza's arm flashed with lightning and the water prison technique was instantly shattered. Nanny. Zabuza's expression changed in vain, and he dodged and retreated without hesitation. The paralysis of his right arm caused him to temporarily lose the ability to form seals. It was too dangerous to get too close to Kakashi. What a wonderful collaboration. Well done, Suzuki, Naruto. Next, leave it to me. Kakashi, who had regained his freedom praised Zabuza with his scarlet sherry non. This time, he won't be careless. Hey hey hey! With the help of the double mask of clone and transformation, my clone turned into Suzuki. The purpose of the seduction technique is actually just to attract Zabuza's attention. The real trick is Suzuki's secret attack. This is the art of reverse killing in the harem. Naruto, who was praised by Kakashi, immediately said proudly, making Sakura and Tashuna suddenly realize. It's indeed a good collaboration. I admit, I underestimated you two brats. Your two names are qualified to be recorded in this uncle's handbook. However, that is if you don't die during this mission. Zabuza said fiercely, trying to buy some recovery time for his arm. The mission is completed, and you will receive the reward, Kirigakura Silent Killing Technique. At the same time as Zabuza opened his mouth, Suzuki's ear also heard a reward prompt. The slap in the face is complete. Using the timing of your words to delay time, do you want your paralyzed right hand to recover quickly? I have seen through you, Zabuza. Kakashi stared at Zabuza with his scarlet left eye and said coldly, raised his hand and threw several shurikens to block all Zabuza's escape routes. His body was like an arrow from the string attacking Zabuza. Do you think you can defeat me like this? Zabuza snorted coldly, and his figure suddenly turned into an afterimage, dodging the shuriken attack at a faster speed. This is Kirigakura's silent killing technique. At the same time, Suzuki, who was enlightened to receive the reward, condensed his eyes and secretly marveled. He originally thought that the so-called silent killing technique was a simple physical technique. But this is not the case. Kirigakura Silent Killing Technique It is a ninjutsu that concentrates and explodes chakra throughout the body, and uses the burst of chakra airflow to silence and accelerate high-speed movement. Under the cover of Kirigakura's art, killing people is silent, and the effect is even more unexpected. Zabuza's high-speed movement when he just left was the blessing of the silent killing technique. Kakashi, you are still too slow to react. Just let me kill you all at once, Joe, Shen, Mao, Zi, Hai. Zabuza reappeared in a flash, quickly forming seals with his hands in preparation for his ultimate move. I said, I've seen through you. Joe, Shen, Mao, Zi, Hai. The pupil of Kakashi's left eye trembled, and his Sharinan quickly rotated his hands to form seals simultaneously. In an instant, this action shocked Zabuza again. After a half-second pause, Kakashi caught up with the speed of the seal. 44 Water Dragon Bombs, these two guys are also talents. If I have this time, I can kill 7 in and 7 out. Kakashi is also the sixth one, he can obviously kill the opponent instantly with Chidori. But he just used the same ninjutsu against Todoroki, a double blow to his body and mind. Killing is heartbreaking. Suzuki watched the two of them having sex and complained secretly, 
but at the same time he couldn't help but be envious and longing for it. The charm of ninjas is the ninjutsu showdown. It's such a cool moment that you can't participate in it in person. What a pity. Water escape water dragon bullet technique. Water escape water dragon bullet technique. Under everyone's concern, Kakashi and Zabuza shouted almost simultaneously. In an instant, two ferocious water dragons more than 10 meters long roared out, colliding and biting each other. The violent movements instantly stirred the river water and caused water shock waves. This is ninjutsu. What a powerful water escape. Naruto and Sakura exclaimed at the same time, seeing for the first time what ninja fighting is. Zabuza, the person who witnessed it, has lost his judgment at this time. The eyes look so arrogant, don't they? The eyes look so arrogant, don't they? You can't beat me. You can't beat me. Monkey tricks. Monkey tricks. As another round of psychological warfare unfolded, Zabuza finally changed his temper and lost his mind. Water escape, great waterfall technique. Kakashi saw the right moment and took action first. The river under his feet suddenly surged and turned into a huge wave, rushing towards the stunned Zabuza. Zabuza, whose psychological defense was broken, did not resist at all, and was swept away by the river. Suddenly, this water release caused Naruto and Sakura to dodge in surprise. Boom! After a violent impact, Zabuza slammed into a giant tree and stopped. You, you can, see the future. The dizzy Zabuza stared at Kakashi with his pupils widened and said, feeling confused. That's right. Your future is only death. Kakashi looked at the frightened Zabuza and said calmly, stretched out his hand to pull out the kunau and was about to deliver the final blow. Whoosh! At this critical moment, three senbon shot through the air and pierced deep into Zabuza's neck. Zabuza's pupils widened and he showed unwillingness, his head tilted and he fell down. Next moment. Under the horrified eyes of everyone, a young man wearing a Kirigakura Umbu mask appeared in an instant. Die, die. Naruto's eyes bulged and he exclaimed, subconsciously turning his head to look at the person coming. Kakashi also looked at him sideways and immediately stepped forward to check the body. Finally, bye. Suzuki looked at the visitor and secretly thought, but did not expose this clumsy trick. It's not that Suzuki doesn't want to kill the two of them directly, or that he has any special thoughts about bye-bye. But, he doesn't want to end up with everything. Kakashi, this should be the limit. With his current strength, he is no match for Haku and Zabuza. It's time to take advantage of this period to strengthen your strength before fighting again. Then, I will take this person away. Under Suzuki's speechless and unwilling gaze, Haku quickly disappeared with Zabuza. Hateful. What the hell is this? Such a powerful Zabuza was actually killed like this. That guy, that guy is obviously about the same age as us. Looking at Bai's leaving figure, Naruto clenched his fists and roared unwillingly. This made Suzuki's mouth twitch. You, the reincarnation of Azura plus the nine-tailed Jin Hiroki, are you qualified to criticize others? Only four years after graduation, he went from being a genin to the top of the ninja world. How does this leave others to live? Well, the same goes for his handsome guy. Okay, Naruto. In this world, there are super geniuses who are younger than you but more powerful than me. This is reality, sometimes we have to accept the fact that we are mediocre. Kakashi sighed and spoke to comfort, leaving Suzuki speechless again. Mediocre? Do you have any misunderstanding about mediocrity? Are there any mediocre people in our class 7? Naruto, don't you think this would be more interesting? When you defeat your enemy, you are also surpassing yourself. If you are not willing to give in, practice harder. Suzuki closed his Sharingan and said calmly, which instantly ignited the unwilling Naruto's fighting spirit. That's right, I won't lose to them. Kakashi-sensei, the ninjutsu training you promised me has not been completed yet. This time, I will practice harder. Naruto, 
who had regrouped and was resurrected with full blood, shouted with enthusiasm, leaving everyone speechless for a moment. This guy has changed too quickly. And me, Kakashi-sensei. Sakura next to her immediately followed, and she had to become stronger to keep up with Suzuki. Okay, let's keep going. Kakashi looked at the three of them and nodded seriously in agreement. This time, it seems I can't be lazy anymore. Just thinking of Naruto's troublesome ninjutsu talent made Kakashi's scalp numb again. When Naruto learned to climb trees, it wasn't that he didn't teach ninjutsu, but it was hard to explain. As for Sakura? It's just that the chakra is too weak to play. Boom. Just after Kakashi took a big step, he fell down as expected. Suzuki, who was well prepared, appeared in front of Kakashi and pressed his shoulder against his body. Sherinan, have you overused it? Looking at Suzuki's side face, Kakashi's last thought flashed across his mind and he lost consciousness. Kakashi sensei. Seeing Kakashi fainting, Naruto screamed and came to Suzuki's side to check the situation. Sakura and Tatsuna also hurriedly stepped forward. Don't worry. This is a side effect of using the Sherinan, just go home and rest for a few days and it will be fine. Suzuki looked at the three nervous people and said calmly, making them relax instantly. By the way, why does Kakashi-sensei also have a Sherinan? Those eyes were really powerful just now. Can I also practice this secret technique? Suzuki. Naruto suddenly reacted and looked at Suzuki with excitement and eagerness. When Suzuki opened his eyes before, he thought this was Suzuki's personal ability. But now that he saw Kakashi's Sherinan, he had to make assumptions. Idiot Naruto, it's impossible to cultivate the power of the Sherinan. Do you have any ninja knowledge at all? Sakura next to her saw this and shouted helplessly, how could Naruto ask such an idiotic question? Well? Then how come Kakashi-sensei is there? Naruto scratched his head and spoke directly with the facts. The confident Sakura was stunned and confused. How is she supposed to know this? Suzuki, do you know why? Why can't I have the Sherinan? Naruto saw Sakura turn her head and ignore him, then tilted her head to look at Suzuki and asked. The serious and curious look on his face made Suzuki stunned. Is this guy really an indigenous ninja? Naruto, you didn't listen to a word you said in the ninja school. It's so embarrassing. Listen carefully, the Sherinan belongs to a blood family like the Uchiha. Seeing that Suzuki was speechless, Sakura had no choice but to take over the task and start solving the puzzle. As the two of them answered and asked questions, Sakura went crazy. Everyone returned to Dasna's house safely and smoothly. The next day. Everyone, Mr. Kakashi is awake. Tashuna's daughter Tsunami suddenly shouted, causing Suzuki and the three resting men to wake up immediately. Kakashi-sensei, you wake up. Yeah, we were really worried about us. Naruto and Sakura shouted excitedly when they saw Kakashi awake. The stone in their hearts finally found a backbone. Well, I'm sorry to make you worry. Naruto, Sakura, and Suzuki. Looking at the three of them, Kakashi secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, nothing unexpected happened after he passed out. It's really great. Everyone is fine now. Dejuna, who had arrived late, shouted happily when he saw this, which instantly relaxed the atmosphere. Now is not a happy time, everyone. I suspect that Zabuza is probably not dead. Suzuki's eyes flashed, and he took the initiative to say something shocking. So much for the boring nonsense. Nanny. Suzuki, what on earth are you talking about? We all saw with our own eyes that Zabuza was killed by that Kirigakur brat. Naruto jumped up immediately after hearing this and stared at Suzuki in disbelief with a surprised look on his face. How come? Sakura next to her also looked at Suzuki in disbelief a little suspicious. Have you discovered it yet, Suzuki? Kakashi, who was a little suspicious at first, suddenly woke up, turned to look at Suzuki and was secretly shocked. 
Is this guy's ninja talent so terrifying? Ah? Uh, Kakashi-sensei, what do you mean? Teacher, haven't you already examined Zabuza's body? Seeing Kakashi's look of approval, Naruto held his head and asked anxiously. That's true. However, I overlooked a problem before. That Kirigakurambu, why did he go to such trouble to take away the whole body? In order to avoid leaking information, it is obviously only necessary to take away the head. Moreover, the way he killed Zabuza. The sluggish Kakashi explained slowly and solemnly, leaving Naruto and Sakura Tajuna in shock. So, that Kirigakura Umbu is actually Zabuza's accomplice. What we have to face next are two enemies. Suzuki looked at the depressed Kakashi and nodded, then went straight to the point. Yes, that's it. You have also seen the strength of that masked fog ninja. Next, I will train you more strictly. Kakashi nodded in agreement, it was such a pleasure to talk to smart people. I see. That guy turned out to be Zabuza's companion. Next time, I must let him know how powerful I am. Naruto, who was half slowly, suddenly reacted, clenched his fists and shouted excitedly with high fighting spirit. Humph. I'm so excited to hear that Zabuza is not dead. Then let's start practicing in the afternoon. Kakashi was only stunned for a moment, then looked at Naruto and said with satisfaction. Naruto is also growing up quickly. However, you still have to rely on Suzuki to deal with that Kirigakur boy. Afternoon. In nearby woods. Suzuki, given your current situation, ninjutsu is enough for the time being. If you want to quickly improve your combat effectiveness, just practice treading water yourself. This is the same principle as climbing a tree, except that the tree is replaced by a more difficult to control water flow. Kakashi, who was leaning on crutches, looked at Suzuki and said seriously, he has no intention of continuing to teach ninjutsu. Tread water? Is this the technique that the teacher used to stand on the river when he fought Zabuza before? Naruto next to him immediately answered and suddenly realized, yearning for that cool operation. Yes, that's it. Kakashi hummed and motioned for Suzuki to practice on his own. Based on Suzuki's chakra and ninjutsu foundation, as long as he masters this technique, his strength will improve by leaps and bounds. This is much better than wasting time learning another ninjutsu. Understand. Suzuki also knew Kakashi's deep intention and turned around and left without refusing. Because when Kakashi spoke, he also received system advice. Now practice treading water, and the effect will be doubled. Just take this opportunity to master the silent killing technique. That, that. Kakashi-sensei, don't we need to practice treading water? Seeing Suzuki leave, Naruto couldn't help but asked hurriedly. He didn't want to fall too far behind Suzuki. Although Sakura next to her didn't speak, she still had the same expression. You are different from Suzuki, what you lack now is ninjutsu. Naruto, you haven't forgotten the basics of wind escape that I taught you before, right? You go over there and wait for me. This time I will guide you in your cultivation. Kakashi looked at Naruto with a headache and said, he didn't know if Naruto could learn that ninjutsu by teaching him personally. You mean that wind escape great breakthrough? But teacher, why do I need to learn this wind escape technique in conjunction with Suzuki's fire escape? I want to learn more powerful attacking ninjutsu. When Naruto heard this, he folded his hands and pouted to vent his dissatisfaction, and he was very upset about this. Idiot, your chakra is wind type at best. Coupled with Suzuki's fire release, it is the combined ninjutsu that best utilizes the strengths of two people. Also, you haven't even learned this C-level ninjutsu. How dare you mention a more powerful wind escape ninjutsu? Kakashi was immediately dissatisfied and scolded, he chose this ninjutsu in order to bring out the strength of the two of them. Moreover, with Naruto's chakra, even single target ninjutsu is a very powerful wind escape attack. Uh. Seeing Kakashi getting angry, he thought of his previous miserable training experience. 
Naruto immediately stopped and ran to the side dejectedly. Sakura, I remember you have water chakra attribute. Seeing Naruto leaving honestly, Kakashi secretly breathed a sigh of relief and looked at Sakura. Yes, Kakashi sensei. Sakura hurriedly nodded in agreement, looking expectantly at Kakashi as he imagined what ninjutsu he would learn. After the previous tree climbing training, she and Naruto tested the chakra properties. Naruto is of the wind type and she is of the water type. Sakura. To be honest, your current chakra is not suitable for learning ninjutsu at all. This is why I didn't teach you ninjutsu before. The excited Sakura became more and more depressed as she listened. What does this mean? Isn't she still inferior to that guy Naruto? But today is different from the past. There is no time for you to grow. I don't need you to participate in the battle, as long as you protect yourself and Mr. Dejana during the battle. So, just do your best. Sakura. The ninjutsu I want to teach you is sea level water release and water crying. This is an assassination technique that can condense sharp water needles in the mouth to kill the enemy. Because saliva is condensed into needles, this technique does not require much chakra. However, it requires strong chakra control. This technique is just right for you now, Sakura. As Kakashi explained the situation, Sakura's face became darker and darker. The anticipation for the ninjutsu was replaced by unhappy anger. Can this poisonous teacher speak? When Sakura was depressed and learning water escape, Suzuki sighed. Pfft. There was another sound of falling into the water, and Suzuki's feet fell into the water. It's really hard to control when you step on fruit. Even with the bonus bonus, it's a bit difficult. It seems that we need to take this practice more seriously. Looking at the turbulent river, Suzuki frowned and murmured in a low voice, then walked to the shore and took off his clothes. It's still unwise to practice treading water while wearing clothes. Even if he chose knee-deep shallow water, the splashing water would still make his clothes wet. Then, let's try this first. Suzuki, who was shirtless and wearing only a pair of shorts, suddenly thought of something and stood there making a seal with his hands. Next second. I saw Suzuki's eyes condensed, and the chakra all over his body exploded to a degree visible to the naked eye. Blue chakra surrounds Suzuki like a spiral, turning into purple-blue chakra airflow. Suzuki felt that the air resistance around his body had almost disappeared, and he was as light as a swallow in an instant. Call out! Suzuki moved at will, and the figure on the ground under his feet instantly turned into an afterimage and left the place. Silently, he was dozens of meters away in an instant. It actually accelerated almost five times, which is simply amazing. Suzuki's pupils shrank and he exclaimed, not disappointed because it was only five times the speed. It seems that the current acceleration is only five times, but Suzuki's chakra is only at the level of an elite Chuyunin. If he had stronger chakra, he could accelerate more times. Moreover, it still moves at high speed and silently. This is an overwhelming advantage for non taijutsu ninja enemies of the same level. It was as helpless as Suzuki faced Lee for the first time in the original drama. No, I'd better practice harder. With treading water level chakra control, this technique should be even better. Thinking of Wu Menzili's terrifying speed, Suzuki suppressed his restlessness and devoted himself to training again. At the same time, the other side of the forest. Naruto, have you ever seriously learned the seal gestures? The wind release of the Great Breakthrough only has three seals, Su, Wu, and Yu. Why can't you master it yet? Kakashi watched Naruto yelling angrily with a headache, and couldn't believe his eyes. It took Naruto five or six seconds to perform three simple seals. How to activate ninjutsu? Ah! I'm so annoyed! Who told this technique to complete the seal within one second? He also needs to control the flow of chakra at the same time, condensing the chakra in his throat and turning it into a strong wind. It's really hard. Kakashi Sensei, don't you have a simpler ninjutsu? The legendary copy ninja, 
a man who copied more than a thousand ninjutsu. Could it be that there is no ninjutsu with only one seal like my shadow clone? Naruto, who was already upset, yelled in displeasure and was not interested in using seals at all. Fool! Sea level ninjutsu is already the lowest level of attack ninjutsu, how much simpler do you want it to be? Three madras per second is the basic training of ninjas, and it is for this reason. You guy, don't use the exception of the shadow clone to make things. Kakashi angrily raised his crutch and scolded him loudly. Naruto actually questioned his title of copying ninja. Not to mention the single seal ninjutsu, he also knew the no seal ninjutsu. However, with Naruto's intelligence, could he learn such difficult ninjutsu? Snort. Don't look down on me. I can turn the multiple shadow clone jutsu into a ninjutsu that can be activated with just one seal. You can turn this sea level wind escape into a ninjutsu that can be activated with just one seal. It's up to me. Being questioned, Naruto shouted again unwillingly, forming seals with his hands and chakra bursting out all over his body. That's a wind escape technique that only Jonin can master, idiot. Stop wasting chakra. Kakashi shouted speechlessly again, having given up hope on Naruto. Sure enough, in terms of reliability, it still depends on Suzuki. Hi, how can you know if it doesn't work if you don't try? Anyway, I must learn this ninjutsu. I will never lose to Suzuki and Sakura. In the woods, Naruto's unwilling cry came again. Five days later. Deep in the woods with developed water systems, on the gurgling river. Suzuki stood shirtless on the undulating river, as natural as standing on flat ground. As he kept walking, jumping, running, and dodging, his feet were firmly attached to the water surface as if he were walking on flat ground. Sakura, come out! Suddenly, Suzuki stared at the trees beside him and sighed. Suzuki-kun! Sakura, who was hiding among the trees, blushed, walked out with evasive eyes and said timidly. A pair of beautiful water-like eyes glanced at Suzuki's upper body from time to time, and his mind was filled with emotion. Suzuki-kun is so handsome. This is already the third time, Sakura. What brings you here this time? Have you completed your water escape training? Suzuki walked to the shore in a few steps and said while putting on his clothes. Ever since Sakura called him to eat and found him practicing shirtless, this was the third time she had peeped on him. Although Suzuki is a grown man and doesn't care about this, the feeling of being spied on by a girl is still unpleasant. Even if she is the first wife. Um, I've completed my water escape ninjutsu practice. I just came here to show you, Suzuki-kun, and give me some advice. Although Sakura was heartbroken, she thought of her purpose and immediately said bravely. Now is the time for Suzuki-kun to acknowledge her existence. Have you learned? Where's Naruto, how's that guy doing? Suzuki paused upon hearing this, then changed the subject and asked again. Suzuki was not surprised that Sakura could learn that ninjutsu. Sakura has the medical talent to inherit Tsunade's legacy, so water escape of this level is not a problem. Naruto? I don't know about that. Sakura, who was ready to be praised by Suzuki, stiffened her pretty face and looked at Suzuki with a look of resentment. What are you doing? Why was the reaction so muted? Talking about Naruto now is very inappropriate for the current atmosphere. Haha. <laughs> Suzuki-kun is still so cool. Really like. Evening. Have you completed the water treading practice and water escape technique? So starting from tomorrow. Suzuki and Sakura go to the bridge together to protect Mr. Tajuna. At the dinner table, Kakashi decided after hearing Sakura's report. This made Sakura instantly elated, and she secretly vowed to seize the opportunity to deepen her relationship with Suzuki. Damn it, Suzuki surpassed me again. Even Sakura. Naruto, who was feasting on his meal, paused when he heard this and gritted his teeth with dissatisfaction. If it was just Suzuki, he wouldn't be too unwilling. After all, being surpassed by Suzuki is not just once or twice. 
but this time, even Sakura surpassed him and completed her training ahead of schedule. How can I let him accept this? I'm going to get some air. Thinking that Naruto was still in the mood to eat, he found an excuse and ran out to practice harder. Well, I'm full. Go out for a walk to eat. Suzuki's eyes flashed, and he stood up and left. Suzuki-kun. Sakura looked at Suzuki's back and immediately stood up, intending to catch up and enjoy this rare world between two people. Sakura, today's practice has left you exhausted. You have to protect Mr. Dejuna tomorrow, so go and rest. Kakashi understood Sakura's thoughts at a glance and stopped him, Sakura is no better than Suzuki and Naruto. You must take a good rest to restore your chakra. Sakura. Outside in the woods. Hateful. I don't want to lose to that guy Suzuki, and Sakura. Su, Wu, you, condense the chakra in your throat in one breath. Naruto formed seals with his hands and shouted angrily, and began to practice redoubled again. Yes, that's it. Turn chakra into wind and spray it out in one breath. Naruto, who was about to complete the seal, said solemnly to himself, and at the same time mustered up his energy and was ready to go. Naruto. Suddenly, just when Naruto was about to explode, Suzuki's voice suddenly interrupted his movements. What are you doing, Suzuki? I'm about to succeed, why do you suddenly show up and disrupt my practice? Hateful. Naruto, who was so powerful that he almost fell down, pointed at Suzuki and shouted dissatisfied. He finally completed the seal gesture within one second. Whispering sound. I originally wanted to teach you a cultivation trick, but it seems I don't need it anymore. Suzuki said with a smile flashing in his eyes, and turned around and left without hesitation. The trick. The upset Naruto's eyes suddenly lit up, and he immediately blocked Suzuki's path. Etc. Would you be so kind? When it came to the matter, Naruto still couldn't help but feel suspicious. He and Suzuki were rivals, so how could they help him practice ninjutsu? Humph, believe it or not. I just don't want my opponents to be too weak and not have the sense of accomplishment from competition. Besides, you practice wind escape to cooperate with my fire escape ninjutsu. A black line rose up on Suzuki's forehead and he snorted coldly, turning around to leave. If it weren't for the purpose of giving Naruto more skills, he wouldn't be so eager to give up. With the existence of the system, the more skills Naruto, Sakura and Kakashi have, the stronger they become. The greater the chance that Suzuki will trigger the reward. Helping others is helping yourself, and Suzuki still has this awareness. Hey hey hey! I'm kidding, Suzuki. Trick, trick, tell me what the trick is. Seeing that Suzuki didn't seem to be joking, Naruto immediately asked shamelessly. That shameless look is just like that of a cunning little fox. Who said this guy is an idiot? That's how it is to be able to bend and stretch, to be as wise as to be foolish. Suzuki secretly sighed and deliberately forgave Naruto for two minutes before explaining. The secret is the shadow clone technique. Shadow clone is an advanced clone technique that can feed memories back to the main body. In other words, the shadow clone can also be used as a cheat to speed up training. Although your chakra's shadow clone does not last long, the acceleration is not very obvious. But there should be no problem in accelerating the cultivation effect by ten times. Under Naruto's expression of surprise, Suzuki didn't hide it and talked about it. I see. That's right, that's it. Why didn't I think of that? Suzuki, you are truly a genius chief student. The art of multiple shadow clones. Naruto suddenly understood and said with high fighting spirit, he formed a seal with his hands and separated into ten shadow clones with a bang. Start practicing, everyone. Ignoring Suzuki's presence, Naruto waved his hand and shouted passionately. The shadow clones responded one after another and started practicing with enthusiasm. All the practice plugins are given to you. I hope you won't disappoint me, Naruto. 
Suzuki looked at all the Naruto clones with twinkling eyes and simply turned around and went back to rest. Dark behind a tree. Suzuki, you have discovered this training method unique to Naruto. What a genius. It's just that this method will be very tiring, and Naruto is still too reluctant now. Well, it seems that Naruto will not go back tonight. Kakashi looked at Suzuki's back and murmured to himself, but the corners of his mouth under the mask were slightly raised. It seems that the bond between the two has been established. Well, they are all partners who can be trusted to support you. The next day. On the bridge. I said, that. Suzuki-kun. What do you think of Ino? After struggling for a long time, Sakura finally couldn't help but said excitedly and apprehensively. I want to know what Suzuki is thinking. Sakura, if you have anything to say, please speak frankly. I don't like talking to my companion and having to guess what she is thinking. Suzuki asked, looking at the calm sea, but did not answer. Uh, I, I am actually. I just want to ask, I want to ask. Hearing this, Sakura felt like her heart was being red, her face turned red and she stumbled like a quail, speechless. This left Suzuki speechless for a moment. You're not Hinata, why are you pretending to be shy? How could Suzuki not know what Sakura was thinking? However, he really hasn't considered this aspect yet. On the one hand, he is young, but on the other hand, he is not yet strong enough to protect himself. In order to avoid any bloody drama, Suzuki doesn't plan to invest too much energy in his relationship for the time being. If you want to ask me if I like you or Eno. Well, my answer is I don't know. So you are satisfied. Seeing that Sakura was still hesitating and confused, Suzuki simply showed his cards. Suddenly, Sakura next to her felt like she was struck by lightning. I don't know, I don't know what the answer is. Looking at Sakura who looked pale and uncertain, Suzuki didn't feel pity for her. He didn't lie about this. It's one thing to like the original character and identify with the original Sakura, but it's another thing to really like it. The woman Suzuki was definitely looking for. But let it happen. He doesn't want to constrain himself by simply using the original impression. That kind of mindless harem is not his pursuit. Following one's heart is the right answer. To live a new life, of course, happiness is the most important thing. But you can't put the cart before the horse and become a tool for Uchiha to spread branches and leaves. Then, what kind of girl does Suzuki-kun like? After struggling for a long time, Sakura finally summoned up the courage to ask weakly. If you don't know, just don't know. Anyway, it's not the first time that Suzuki rejected him. At least Ino was as disliked by Suzuki-kun as she was. A girl you like? Well, I probably like girls who are strong, confident, and capable. Suzuki's eyes were deep and there was something in his words, which made Sakura next to him tremble. A strong, confident, and capable girl? That's it, I finally got the direction to work towards. She must become such a woman to win Suzuki-kun's favor. Early morning. Morning. Suzuki, Kakashi-sensei, Mr. Tashuna, Inari. Sakura rubbed her hazy eyes and walked into the living room to say hello, looking tired. In order to become a strong girl that Suzuki likes as soon as possible, she finished her protection mission yesterday. Just go out and practice secretly until your chakra is exhausted. Naturally, you are mentally exhausted at this time. Well, let's eat. Kakashi glanced at Sakura and nodded warmly, quite agreeing with Sakura's night practice. As an elite jonin, how could he not know about Sakura's behavior? Which teacher would refuse such a self-conscious student? By the way, Naruto didn't come back last night? This guy seems to be working very hard these past two days. Dasna looked at the empty seat next to him and sighed while eating. That kid is really beyond his appearance. Humph, what's the use of practicing hard? No matter how hard they try, they are no match for Cardo, and they will all die in the end. Next to him, Dasna's grandson Inari looked gloomy and snorted. 
disdainful of the three people's efforts. Inari. After hearing her son's frustrated words, Tsunami hurriedly stepped forward and scolded him. Avoid unnecessary complications. Kid, do you want to die? It doesn't matter if you don't want to work hard, you still have to deny us. If we die, what do you think will happen to your family? Teacher, I'll ask Naruto to come back for dinner. Suzuki was not used to this guy, so he scolded him unceremoniously and got up and left. Today seems to be the day when Naruto and Shiro meet. Since we are destined to become opponents, it is better not to meet. Humph, what big talk are you talking about? Anyway, you will never be able to defeat Cardo. Inari looked at Suzuki's back and shouted loudly to vent the panic in his heart. Of course he knows the consequences of failure. However, I just don't have the courage to break that fear. Inari. How can you say that to Suzuki-kun? Sakura saw how she could bear this and immediately spoke up to defend Suzuki. What the hell do you guys who haven't been through pain know? It is impossible to resist Kato and Kato's existence. Your understanding of this country, us, and Cardo is too naive. Inari roared and output again, making Sakura furious and wanted to teach this brat who didn't know how to deal with the world. Inari, right. I admit that Suzuki's words were a bit harsh, but what he said was reality. As for the pain? Sorry, both Suzuki and Naruto have had more painful experiences than you. But they are all still strong and brave, and overcome their own pain. Kakashi grabbed the conversation and started talking away making Dejuna and his daughter secretly relieved. The other side. Idiot, it's time to eat. Suzuki ran all the way and finally found the sleeping Naruto and rewarded him with a violent shudder. Ouch, it hurts. Suzuki, don't be so harsh. Naruto woke up instantly, covered his head and yelled, looking at Suzuki with a grieved face. Hurry back and eat, we have to go to the bridge. Suzuki looked around and urged, secretly thinking that he was ahead of Shiro. Otherwise, Naruto wouldn't be in a comatose state. Hey hey hey! Suzuki, I have completed the practice of wind escape ninjutsu. Speaking of which, I have to thank you for your tips. Naruto, who was in a good mood, put his hand on Suzuki's shoulder and smiled proudly, walking forward with Suzuki surrounded. Really? I hope you won't lose your temper when the time comes. If predictions go well, Zabuza may attack us tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Suzuki glanced at Naruto's arm and smiled lightly, letting him prepare mentally. Hi? Huh? Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? In an instant, Naruto, who was full of pride, turned pale and fell down. What he said about completing the practice is not that it is 100% successful and can be used skillfully. But there is a one-third failure rate. If he launched an attack tomorrow, he would be embarrassed. I originally planned to fake it and practice in the past two days to master it. Is there a problem? Upon hearing this, Suzuki narrowed his eyes and asked, but he was secretly shocked at the power of the Shadow Clone's cheating device. No. Of course not. How could Naruto let Suzuki see that he was talking nonsense? He immediately patted his chest and stumbled. In fact, a group of people were panicking. Hi? Huh? There is a beautiful young lady there. In panic, Naruto turned his eyes and pointed at the person opposite to divert Suzuki's attention. That is. When Suzuki came back to his senses and stared, he saw a beautiful girl in a pink floral kimono walking towards him. It is a popular character whose gender is unknown, Shiro. At the same time, Haku who was on the opposite side also saw Suzuki and Naruto and recognized them. However, Bai's ninja skills have gone through rigorous training. Naturally, he was calm and walked past the two of them calmly. Hi? Suzuki. He he he. You've been exposed, you guy. Seeing Suzuki secretly glance at Shiro, Naruto teased with a lewd expression. He secretly decided in his heart that when he returned to the village, he would take Suzuki somewhere to see something. It can also be regarded as a reward for the Shadow Clone training method. 
idiot. Upon hearing this, Suzuki immediately retracted his gaze and said coldly, speeding up and leaving. The popular character Bai is good, but so what? Their positions are different, how could he risk his life for a feeling? The real ninja world is obviously more cruel and realistic than the plot. What's more, the devil doesn't know whether Bai is a boy or a girl. Don't be ashamed, Suzuki. Wait for me. Naruto immediately yelled and gave chase, causing Suzuki to quicken his pace again. Suzuki, Naruto. Although I can't bear it, I can't refuse Zabuza-sama's order. Tomorrow may be your death day. Enjoy this last bond. Looking at the backs of the two people leaving together, Bai's eyes flickered and he whispered decisively. He also has bonds. And you can pay your life for it. The next day. Didn't Naruto, the brat, say he had completed his training? Why did you go out to practice so late last night? After breakfast, Tatsuna looked at Naruto who was sleeping soundly and complained. This guy still seems to be very unreliable. Well, let him have a good rest. Let's go to the bridge first. According to my estimation, Zabuza's injuries should recover within these two days. Be careful. Kakashi said with solemn determination in his eyes, turning his head to look at Tashuna and Suzuki beside him. Understand. Suzuki nodded in agreement and followed Kakashi Dejuna out of the room. After meeting Sakura, the four of them headed to the bridge. How is this going? What exactly happened, everyone? As soon as he came to the bridge, Dasna saw the injured workers and asked hurriedly. Come yet. Kakashi's expression changed when he saw this, secretly thinking that Zabuza was indeed not dead. Suzuki, who knew the plot, had similar thoughts and was secretly on guard. It's getting foggy. Suddenly, Sakura looked at the gradually rising fog and felt suspicious. Foggy days are not uncommon in a country with abundant water vapor like the country of waves, but this wave of fog condensed too fast. The Art of Kirigakur Zabuza is indeed still alive. Suzuki, Sakura, protect Mr. Tatsuna. Kakashi shouted immediately, Chakra erupted under his feet and quickly came to Dejuna on guard. Suzuki and Sakura followed closely behind, each coming to guard Dejuna. Forming a triangle with Kakashi, Tatsuna is protected within it. Next second. Six Zabuza avatars appeared in an instant, slashing with their swords with fierce eyes. Coming. A cold light flashed in Suzuki's eyes, and the kunao in his hand suddenly flashed into a black light. Puff 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 puff. As six splashes of water splashed around, Zabuza's water body was instantly blown away. You actually killed six of my water clones in one go. You've grown up quite a lot, you little Uchiha. Zabuza's figure appeared with the sound, accompanied by Shiro wearing a mask. Of course. Suzuki is my proudest disciple. That masked one, you are indeed in the same group as Zabuza. Kakashi said very proudly, staring at Zabuza with a hint of coldness in his eyes. Teacher, leave the one wearing the mask to me. Guys who pretend to be gods and ghosts, I hate enemies wearing masks the most. Suzuki took a step forward and made a pun, looking at Shiro with a playful look in his eyes. Suzuki-kun is so handsome. Sakura next to her immediately blushed and burst into laughter. This made Kakashi and Suzuki twitch at the same time. How long has it been since then to become a nymphomaniac? Bye, it seems you are being targeted. Then, that Uchiha brat will be left to you. Zabuza sneered, staring at Kakashi with his bloodthirsty eyes expressionless. This time, he wants to avenge his shame. He has seen through the Sharingan's trick now. Then let's begin, Mr. Zabuza. Baimo nodded and responded quietly. His feet slipped and the water on his solace instantly turned into ice. Use skating to spin your body at high speed and rush towards Suzuki like a top. So fast. Sakura exclaimed when she saw this, secretly worried that Suzuki wouldn't be able to resist. Art fire escape ho fireball. Suzuki, who was well prepared, 
quickly completed the seal with his hands, opened his mouth, and shot out a super fireball with a diameter of five meters. With a bang, the scorching hot fireball hit by with overwhelming force. This useless attack poses no threat to me at all. Bai looked at the speeding fireball and said calmly. He turned around and came to Suzuki in an instant. Boom! The slender Senban came into contact with Suzuki's kunao, sparks bursting out. Who says my attack is useless? Looking at Shiro in front of him, Suzuki teased with a slight smile. Next moment. The blazing fireball exploded not far away, and the intense high temperature evaporated all the nearby water. I see. Do you want to use this to curb my water escape ninjutsu? But you seem to have forgotten that this is a sea with abundant water vapor. And, I already had an advantage. An advantage you can't have even if you practice hard. Bai held up Suzuki's kunao with one hand and said in a deep voice with a deep gaze, and began to form seals with the other hand. One hand seal. In an instant, Kakashi and Sakura looked horrified at the same time. This is the first time even Kakashi has seen this kind of thing. Detecting Bai's malicious suggestions triggers a 10x sea level reward. Mission, declare loudly that I am also a genius, reward, one-handed seal. Almost at the same time, a system prompt rang in Suzuki's ears. This made Suzuki, who was about to burst out chakra to dodge, look delighted. There is this unexpected surprise. If the one-handed seal is what you are proud of, then I'm sorry. In fact, I am also a genius. Under Shiro's shocked gaze, Suzuki pretended to declare loudly. Next moment. With the reward integrated into his body, under Bai's disbelieving eyes. Suzuki's left hand also began to form seals. How come? Impossible. So, so handsome. Seeing this, Kakashi, Zabuza and Sakura exclaimed at the same time. While everyone was in shock, Suzuki took advantage of Shiro's shock to take the lead. The ninjutsu with only three seals completes the seals in an instant. Thunder escape thunder snake. When Shiro was about to complete his water escape, Suzuki ignited a lightning bolt in his left hand and pointed it at Shiro's head. White. Seeing this, Zabuza's expression changed drastically, and he immediately brandished his beheading sword to surround Wei and save Zhao. But almost at the same time, Kakashi swung in front of him, using his kunao to block the decapitating sword. I'm sorry, your opponent is me. Zabuza. It seems that my disciple is more talented. Seeing Zabuza's expression changed drastically, Kakashi teased coldly in a comfortable mood. Suzuki, once again let him know what a genius ninja is. Boom. Almost as soon as the two of them were fighting, Bai retreated in the midst of lightning and flint. Don't even think about escaping. Seeing Shiro sliding on the ice under his feet, Suzuki broke out in an emergency. The razor in his hand quickly transformed into a long snake and rushed towards Bai's face. But his razor could only extend less than five meters, and he still escaped in vain. But. Pat. There was a crack, and Bai's mask instantly shattered, revealing that gentle and beautiful face. So beautiful. Looking at that beautiful face with bright eyes and white teeth, Sakura couldn't help but murmur. So close. Bai. It seems you have really met your match. If you show mercy any more, you may be the one who dies. Zabuza sighed in relief and rebuked in a deep voice, not doubting Haku's strength. Just now, I was just careless. Oh it's you. Suzuki looked at the face of that side and said sternly, the fighting spirit in his eyes not diminishing. The starting point is the one hand seal talent. I wonder if he can get any rewards from Bai. I recognize your ninja talent, Suzuki. However, the luck just now will not always be with you. Next, I have to get serious. Although I admire the bond between you and Naruto, I don't want to die here. I don't want my bond to be severed by you here. Bai's beautiful eyes flashed with determination, an ice blue chakra airflow visible to the naked eye ignited all over his body. 
Secret Technique Magic Mirror Ice Crystal Shiro formed seals with his hands and shouted attentively, and saw ice walls rapidly forming around Suzuki and Shiro. I'm going to suffer. Seeing this, Suzuki didn't know what was going to happen next, so he turned around and jumped high into the sky without hesitation. He is not stupid. He knows he will be beaten but still waits here to be pricked into a hedgehog. Don't even think about leaving here. Water escaped thousand killing water soaring. Seeing this, Bai couldn't give Suzuki a chance. He quickly completed the seal with his hands and yelled. In an instant, the water vapor above Suzuki quickly condensed into countless water senbon, ready to go. In desperation, Suzuki had to turn around to avoid the sharp edge. Suzuki. Upon seeing this, Kakashi hurriedly moved to rescue him, but was held back by Zabuza. As you said before, your opponent now is me. Kakashi. Zabuza said with a ferocious expression, turning the decapitating sword in his hand and launched another attack. It seems that before I defeat Zabuza, I can only trust Suzuki. Kakashi's eyes flashed, and the kunao in his hand struck back fiercely. Inside the magic mirror ice crystal. Next, you can only defend against my attack. Shiro looked at Suzuki who was retreating and said calmly. The body then merged into an ice crystal, and each ice crystal appeared white when illuminated at a specific angle. Well, you still succeeded. Then, sharing on. Suzuki looked at the countless ice crystals and spat, his eyes instantly turned scarlet. It's not like he didn't expect this situation, he was already prepared for it. Is this Uchiha's Sharinan? A pupil technique that can see through all traces of the opponent's attacks and defend them in advance. I don't know how you can defend yourself against my attack. Bai's face was expressionless and cold, and he shouted coquettishly. Three ice thousand sticks appeared in his hand and shot out at high speed. Almost the same time. Each Haku in the ice crystal also made the same move, and a 360 degrees fake Senban Setsuna with no blind spots was waved out. Mixed between reality and reality, it is difficult to distinguish between male and female. See it. At the same time as Shira sent out Senban, Suzuki's pupils shrank and Chakra erupted from his feet and left the place. Next moment. The place where he stood was covered with densely packed thousands of books, which could be described as a critical moment. Not bad. So next, I'm going to get serious. Looking at the pair of scarlet single Megatama and white, he said without any surprise, the insight of Sherinan is indeed not simple. Serious? It wasn't his ultimate speed just now. When Suzuki heard this, his pupils shrank and he secretly thought something was wrong and his body tensed up in preparation. Although he had seen signs of Bai's movements before, they were not so clear. The single Megatama Sharingan's insight is still a bit lacking. Here we go. Bai sneered, and the thousand books in his hand exploded again. And it quickly shuttles through various mirrors and is emitted from all angles, like a strong wind and rain. Suzuki's eyes widened and he activated his Sharingan, quickly dodged and started to form seals. It's not his style to just get beaten. Puff puff. Caught off guard, just when Suzuki was about to complete the seal, he was accidentally stabbed into his body by three senbon. At the same time, he interrupted his fire release ninjutsu. Is this the only speed you have? So sorry, your existence ends here. Looking at Suzuki who was panting after pulling out senbon, Shiro grabbed two ice senbon again and said harshly. Damn it, the single Megatama Sherinan can no longer fully capture all senbon. No solution anymore. Although this consumes a bit of chakra, this is the only way to break through the blockade alone. Quick victory. Suzuki's eyes flickered and he made up his mind, and purple-blue chakra flow erupted around his body. Silent killing technique. Impossible. How could you not use the silent killing technique of the master again? Seeing the familiar ninjutsu, Bai Deng's face suddenly changed and he exclaimed in surprise. As Zabuza's student and subordinate, how could Haku not recognize what this was? 
At the same time, Kakashi and Zabuza, who were fighting outside, stopped at the same time and were shocked on the spot. Suzuki, how come you know Kirigakura's silent killing technique? I can practice this kind of ninjutsu that uses chakra techniques to enhance the body. Today you will know what an Uchiha is. What a genius! Suzuki pretends to be disdainful of pretentiousness and vows to establish himself as a genius in one fell swoop. With these bonus skills, it's impossible for him not to use. Therefore, there is no need to hide at all. It's not done through dishonorable means, so what are you afraid of? Do you want to pretend to be a pig, eat a tiger and be tortured into a hedgehog? Sorry, Suzuki has no masochistic tendencies. Genius, no reason needed. Is this true genius? Hearing the confidence in Suzuki's words, Shiro couldn't help but mutter to himself and looked horrified. The same goes for Kakashi and Zabuza outside. Then let me try how much faster you can be. You blasphemed Mr. Zabuza. His pale face turned cold, and his figure quickly shuttled through the ice crystals, violently outputting thousands of books in his hand. Whoosh 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 whoosh. In an instant, Senbon, who was even faster than before, attacked Suzuki from all angles. However, Suzuki's speed at this time was not much slower than Shiro's, with the assistance of Sherinan. He was completely unscathed amidst the hail of bullets. Use the reflection of the mirror to create a virtual and real attack that cannot be seen clearly. But the real attack is still only one entity. Sorry, I have already seen through your ninjutsu. Suzuki quickly followed Shiro and dodged, completing the seal with both hands quickly. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Almost in an instant, after Bai escaped into an ice crystal, Suzuki opened his mouth and fired out a huge fireball. Next moment, the ultra-high temperature fireball hit the ice crystals, and the intersection of ice and fire caused a burst of water vapor to rise. However, the ice crystal did not melt along with it. I let you down. At present, it seems that my ice crystals are stronger. Shiro's figure suddenly appeared on another ice crystal and spoke calmly, secretly surprised by Suzuki's reaction speed. So what? The essence of ninja fighting is deception. Who said I would use fire escape to open the gap? Suzuki raised his lips and said with a joking smile, and the ice crystals behind him exploded with a bang. Detonating talisman. When? Seeing the change in Bai's face, he didn't expect Suzuki to open the gap in this way. Ha ha. Suzuki didn't want to give Shiro a chance to recondensate the ice crystals, so he smiled and rushed towards the gap. As long as he is allowed out, he will be completely defeated by the speed of the silent killing technique. Without the assistance of the magic mirror ice crystal, Bai's speed would not be as terrifying as it is now. Don't even think about escaping. Seeing this emergency outbreak, Shiro used Senbon to stop it while erupting chakra to condense ice crystals. But facing Suzuki's speed is of no use. I can only watch Suzuki successfully break through. Whoosh whoosh. Just when Suzuki's front body broke through the blockade, three completed kunao shapes appeared in an instant. This sudden scene made Suzuki's expression change, and he urgently kicked on the half-condensed ice crystal and retreated to dodge. What? How could it be Suzuki? I clearly saw the figure of that guy. Outside the magic mirror ice crystal, Naruto's exclamation of surprise came. Making Suzuki's mouth twitch. After all, why did I forget about Naruto? Sorry, it seems luck is still on my side. Bai Lang, who took the opportunity to recover the ice crystal, said coldly, making Suzuki blush instantly. Suzuki, I didn't mean to. Seeing that he had made a mistake, Naruto immediately rushed into the magic mirror ice crystal to apologize with a smile. Get ready to fight alongside Suzuki. But this action made Suzuki's eyes darken again. Idiot, Naruto, what are you idiot doing here? In this case, the best choice is to cooperate inside and outside. Even though he already knew about Naruto's urinary nature, Suzuki couldn't help but cursed. Boy, 
this is moving too fast. It was so fast that he didn't even have time to speak. You are the idiot. I'm here to help you. Naruto immediately shouted in dissatisfaction, turning his head stubbornly and refusing to admit it. But just as he turned his head, his eyes were instantly attracted by Bai's face. You, you were the beautiful girl that day. Uh, no, no. Why, why did you appear with Zabuza? Looking at that pretty face, Naruto asked in a dazed manner. Both Suzuki and Shiro's expressions froze. It's already this time, isn't the situation clear at a glance? Idiot, he is the Kirigakure boy from before. Stop talking nonsense, now we can only break through with force. Prepare for wind escape, Naruto. Suzuki rolled his eyes and scolded, staring intently at Shiro as he prepared to form the seal. Ah! He, she is the Kirigakure boy. Are you kidding? Naruto pointed his hand at Shiro, dumbfounded, completely ignoring Suzuki's orders. He he. Naruto, you are so naive. The facts are already in front of you and you still want to question it, so let me let you experience it for yourself. Shiro glanced at Suzuki and smiled, waving the ice senbon in his hand again. Cooperate with me to use wind escape. Suzuki, who caught senbon's trajectory, pushed Naruto away with a palm to avoid urging, and at the same time began to form seals. Ah! Feng escape! Naruto, who stumbled and almost fell, suddenly woke up and said subconsciously with a bitter look on his face. His wind escape is not yet fully proficient. But seeing that Suzuki had already begun to form seals, he could only hurriedly cooperate with the seals. Now that the duck is on the shelves, I can only try it. Don't try to succeed. Seeing the two of them forming seals at the same time, Shiro yelled and waved Senbon again and shot out. I still have one hand. Suzuki sneered and stepped in front of Naruto, forming a seal with one hand and blocking all the Senbon with Kunao with the other to buy time. One, one hand seal. Naruto, who saw the one hand seal for the first time, was dumbfounded, and his unskilled wind release was instantly disrupted. Here we come, Naruto. Fire escape, dragon fire technique. Suzuki in front didn't know Naruto's situation, so he shouted loudly and opened his mouth to spit out a fire dragon. Compared to the Hao fire ball, the B-level fire releases Ha long fire is not only larger in size but also has a higher temperature. Of course the speed is faster and faster. Wind escape great breakthrough. Naruto who had slowed down his pace, shrank his pupils again and shouted loudly with concentration. Not good. Bai, who was already shocked by the power of Ha Long Fire, was shocked when he heard the sound, and hurriedly activated the blood relay limit to strengthen the quality of the ice crystals. If two people escape from here, he can only contain one person. Zabuza-sama will face the siege of two people, and the situation will be unfavorable to them. Yet. But at this extremely tense moment, Bai's movements suddenly froze. And Suzuki's handsome face was also as dark as ink at the same time. I saw that Naruto, who was supposed to activate wind release, did not blow out the strong wind after a high-spirited shout. This made Hai Long Huo, who was preparing to destroy the ice crystals on three sides in one go, not immediately fuse the ice crystals after the fierce collision. The chakra exploded by Bai Jianjia was recondensed and unscathed. Ah! How so? Naruto was instantly stunned, grabbing his head with both hands and shouting in annoyance. He could imagine that the launch might fail, but imagination and reality were two different things. Now, it's your job to defend against my counter-attack. Bai looked at Suzuki's dark face and said with a cold look, and formed seals with his hands directly inside the crystal. The strength of Naruto and Suzuki has forced him to take them seriously. Seal? This is bad. Naruto, come with me. Suzuki's face changed drastically when he saw the white synchronized seals in all directions, and he rushed in one direction with a shout of greeting. Quickly take out three shurikens wrapped with detonating talismans from the ninja tool bag and throw them out. In the original plot, 
Shiro did not form any seals and use ninjutsu. Who knows what they will face next? Detonating charm? Suzuki, you should have told me if you had such a thing. Naruto shouted in surprise when he saw the detonating talisman shooting at the ice crystal, and looked at Suzuki with envy. Three detonating charms, Xiao Qianliang just threw them out. He is truly worthy of being a wealthy Uchiha, with great wealth. Too late. Ice Escape Secret Technique Magic Mirror Ice Explosion Just when Suzuki was about to scold him, Shiro's voice suddenly sounded from all directions. In an instant, all the ice crystals suddenly exploded and turned into sharp ice knives, ice spears, ice arrows and other sharp weapons. Suzuki and Naruto were shot from all directions at the same time. Suzuki's emergency shuriken detonating talisman was also carried towards them. Oops. Looking at this sudden scene, Suzuki's face turned pale and he secretly thought something was wrong. By, indeed there is a hidden secret of ice escape. The art of multiple shadow clones. At the critical moment, Naruto exploded in an instant and sent dozens of clones around them to fight. Get a short opportunity to form seals. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Suzuki quickly seized the opportunity and quickly completed the seal opened his mouth, spun around in circles, and breathed fire. The how fire ball turned into a circular fire ring, temporarily resisting ice escape attacks from all directions. Naruto, come with me. After doing all this, Suzuki shouted, grabbed Naruto's feet and rushed out with a burst of chakra. With the blessing of silent killing techniques and water treading chakra skills, with the help of Sharingan's insight he can quickly shuttle through the gaps between ice blades and ice arrows. Transformed into two after images and rushed out of the siege. Sorry, your attack failed. Looking at the astonished Shiro, Suzuki kept a distance of 10 meters and sneered. Finally, escaped. What? Just when Suzuki was about to ask Naruto to help Kakashi, Naruto's scream suddenly came from behind. How come? I obviously brought Naruto out with me. Suzuki was stunned when he heard the sound, and when he turned his head, his pupils shrank and he was stunned. Naruto behind him turned into white smoke and disappeared with a bang. Within the ice crystals covered with ice spikes, Naruto's body has been penetrated by several ice spikes. Shadow clone? I brought the wrong person with me. How come? Looking at Naruto covered in blood, Suzuki trembled in disbelief and lost his voice. Naruto's true form was by his side at the time, how could he catch him by mistake? But rather... Damn it, how could Naruto, the protagonist, die here? After spending these days together, Suzuki has completely regarded Naruto as a true friend. Now that Naruto died here because of his butterfly effect, how could this not make Suzuki doubt his life? Besides, Suzuki doesn't want to lose Naruto as his partner. This is a bond that can last a lifetime. As Suzuki's emotions fluctuated violently, the single Megatama Sharingan in his pupils rotated rapidly. As soon as one of them couldn't breathe, the two pupils quickly split into double Megatama. And the new twin Megatama is still spinning, bursts of pupil power burst out from Suzuki's eyes. Naruto Sakura who vaguely saw Naruto covered in blood, couldn't help but exclaim, with anger and sadness in her eyes at the same time. Although she is usually a bit annoying towards Naruto. But this did not affect her bond with Naruto and regarded him as a partner. Now seeing Naruto dying, how could he remain indifferent? I'm sorry, Mr. Dejuna. I want to go with Suzuki to avenge Naruto. Wiping the tears from the corners of her eyes, Sakura said with a trembling voice and a pale face. I'm about to rush over and join the battle when I form seals with my hands. The other side. Kakashi made the same move when he heard the sound, and his expression changed drastically. This is the cruel reality of ninjas. It must be the first time those two brats experienced the death of a companion, so they were so excited. But Kakashi, you seem nervous too. That good-for-nothing brat is also your cherished subordinate, right? Zabuza took the opportunity to taunt and interfere, 
and used psychological warfare to find flaws and defeat the enemy with one move. But Kakashi was not in the mood to talk to him at this time, so he immediately pulled out the psychic scroll and prepared for a quick battle. At the same time, Puff! Just as Sakura took the next step, Naruto's body suddenly erupted into bursts of white smoke. The ice blade and ice arrow that pierced into Naruto's body bounced away fiercely, and the wound healed rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. And at the same time, Scarlet Chakra erupted from Naruto's body and surrounded him. All the surrounding ice cubes, ice knives, and ice arrows will be shattered into water vapor. No, how is that possible? The nearest Byaku's eyes widened, looking at Naruto's outburst in disbelief. How could he still unleash such terrifying and disgusting chakra under that kind of attack? This is... Suzuki's pupils shrank suddenly as his pupil power exploded, and two black Megatama were firmly fixed in the scarlet eye sockets. It hurts me to death, Suzuki, you idiot. He didn't even recognize me as my real body, so he grabbed my shadow clone and ran away. It almost made me die. Naruto opened his eyes again and shouted angrily, completely ignoring the changes in chakra on his body. Kyuabai. Sure enough, how could Naruto die here? He is really a fan of the authorities, and he was so shocked that he forgot about the Nine Tails plug-in. Suzuki woke up instantly and realized what he was secretly saying, the corners of his mouth raised slightly. It would be nice if he didn't die, the ninja world without Naruto would be too boring. Naruto, are you okay? Naruto. Upon hearing the movement, Sakura and Kakashi both shouted in surprise. The situation has turned. Idiot, who asked you to secretly change places with the Shadow Clone? Suzuki jumped up to Naruto and cursed with a smile, staring at Shiro intensely. Next, they have the advantage. Your eyes are different. Is it because someone you care about was injured that caused your blood inheritance limit to grow? What an enviable bond. However, now it seems that we have to engage in a more cruel life and death struggle. Shiro stared at Suzuki with a complicated expression on his face, causing an angry Naruto to immediately look at Suzuki like a curious baby. You are so nonsense. Sakura retreated to protect Mr. Tatsuna. Naruto, use wind escape now. Suzuki snorted and urged immediately, preparing to strike first. With the help of the temporary burst of Ninetales Chakra, Naruto's wind release should be able to be used and perform exceptionally well. Hi? Huh? Come again. Naruto, who stared closely into Suzuki's eyes, fell down and shouted weakly, but seeing that Suzuki had already begun to form seals, he could only follow closely. No matter since Suzuki can believe him for the second time. All he can do is fight. Sakura also hurriedly retreated to protect Tajuna. Is it the same move as before? When Shiro saw this, he immediately understood and formed the same seal to prepare the ninjutsu. Almost the same time. Psychic, Earth Escape, Fang Chasing Technique. Kakashi shouted and activated his ninjutsu and eight ninja dogs emerged from the ground and bit Zabuza who was hidden in the fog. The next step is my own unique trick. Sorry, Zabuza. I must get rid of you as soon as possible. Thunder released Chidori. Kakashi said with cold eyes, his hands quickly formed seals and lightning flashed in his palms. Although Naruto was fine, he had to check if there was any problem with the Nine Tails seal as soon as possible. If Kyuabai breaks through the seal, we will be in big trouble. Shiro, who was forming seals to deal with Suzuki and Naruto, changed his face when he heard the movement here. He immediately gave up the seal and rushed towards Zabuza at high speed. Also at this time. Fire Escape, Dragon Fire Technique After completing the seal, Suzuki opened his mouth and shouted, and a fire dragon roared again. Wind Escape Great Breakthrough the next moment, Naruto's shouts sounded at the same time. This time there was no accident, the violent wind broke out instantly. Wind assists fire, and fire assists wind. The fierce wind instantly expanded the fire dragon into a hurricane, and the fire flooded the entire bridge and roared like thunder. 
Kakashi, who was about to explode Chidori, frowned when he saw this, Chakra exploded under his feet and jumped up to avoid the edge. Ice escape Binji and Tang Yu. Shiro, on the other hand, quickly defended himself in front of Zabuza and broke out in an emergency. Between lightning and flint, a thick ice wall quickly formed and blocked the two of them. Next moment, the scorching and violent flames hit the ice wall with a bang. Thanks to Naruto's tailed beast Chakra's high-intensity wind escape, under the cutting of the strong wind and the burning of the fire, the ice wall only lasted for half a second before melting and turning into water vapor. Seeing that the situation was not going well, the eight ninja dogs immediately disappeared, and the remaining power of their ninjutsu hit the two of them hard. This, this is too exaggerated. Looking at the instantly clear vision, Sakura looked at Haku and Zabuza shrouded in flames and screamed in shock. Suzuki and I can be so powerful together. No wonder Kakashi-sensei said this is the most suitable ninjutsu for me. Naruto's face was also filled with surprise and disbelief for a moment. You cooperated very well, Suzuki, Naruto. Kakashi jumped to the two of them at the same time and praised them, his eyes fixed on the front preparing to hit the target. This is Chidori. Suzuki glanced at Kakashi's palm with flashing eyes and had an idea. Call. As a gust of sea breeze blew by, Haku and Zabuza's figures also appeared. Bye, you did a good job. It is indeed a tool I approve of. Zabuza supported by Lang, who was covered in burns, and said in a voice, his bloodthirsty pupils staring at Kakashi. Just now. Bai tried his best to use Chakra to protect him. He had no other injuries except being bitten by a dog. However, it is impossible to complete the mission in their current state. Kakashi, we will meet again. After giving Kakashi and the other four stern looks, Zabuza put down his harsh words and prepared to jump into the sea to retreat temporarily. Zabuza, you were still beaten so badly. And that bastard kid who broke my arm is almost dead. What a waste, I know I can't rely on you homeless dogs. The expressions of Suzuki and others changed and they were about to pursue them when a voice suddenly sounded from the bridge. Everyone looked back and saw Cardo and his men surrounding him. What a bullshit ninja, you're being fooled around by me. Now you both lose, and I don't even have to pay a penny to kill you. Go ahead and kill them. Cardo shouted arrogantly with disdain on his face and many thugs drew their swords out of their sheaths with fierce looks in their eyes. Idiot! Ignoring the samurai thugs, Suzuki watched the proud Cardo taunt him mercilessly. Although I knew this guy had a brilliant mind, I didn't expect him to be so impatient. Now that he's showing up, isn't this forcing Zabuza to rebel? Kakashi! Sorry, it looks like our battle is over. From now on, that old man is no longer our target. As Suzuki expected, Zabuza, who was about to evacuate, immediately changed his words and showed his coldness. It was a bit difficult to deal with Kakashi and the others in his and Shiro's condition, but facing Cardo was like killing chickens and dogs. Is that so? I see. Naruto, Sakura, protect Mr. Tajuna. Leave the rest to me and Suzuki. Kakashi took a deep look at Zabuza and said clearly, and then changed his strategy. Although they now have the strength to deal with Zabuza, there is no need to take risks in unnecessary battles. If Zabuza counterattacked and killed someone, or escaped and targeted them. These are not the results Kakashi wants to see. Being targeted for assassination by an elite Jounin is not a good thing. Ah! Has this changed? Clearly, clearly before, we were still enemies that would never stop fighting. Why are you no longer your opponent all of a sudden? Naruto shouted blankly as he looked at the sudden change in situation, finding it difficult to accept this change for a moment. That's it. Can we trust him, Kakashi-sensei? Sakura also asked closely, staring at Zabuza and the unconscious Haku with wary eyes. These two guys almost killed Naruto just now. A dangerous man who puts Suzuki and Kakashi-sensei into a tough fight. This is the so-called ninja. In tasks, 
we often have to face various complex situations. No one knows what sudden changes they will face next. Therefore, keeping a clear mind and reason at all times is the foundation of a mature ninja. Zabuza and them have no conflict of interest with us. On the contrary, they are still our teammates now. Kakashi glanced at Suzuki who was silent, nodded secretly and took the opportunity to educate the two of them. Team, teammates. How can it be? Naruto and Sakura's expressions changed and they exclaimed again, unable to believe their ears. Change, is it so exciting? You too. Far worse than that brat named Suzuki. Zabuza glanced at Naruto and Sakura struck coldly, then turned to stare at the merchant Kato with murderous intent. The fierce and bloodthirsty eyes made Cardo take a step back, and he became angry and furious. Hurry, kill him quickly. Seeing the ugly Kato, Zabuza smiled grimly, and quickly accelerated his steps while holding the beheading sword. Kakashi, please don't participate in the next battle. It's a battle between the escaped ninja and his employer. When passing by the four Kakashi, Zabuza slashed at them with his sword without saying anything. The samurai Ronin who came into contact with him screamed and split into two halves. He was not an enemy at all. Hiss. Too horrible. Kakashi-sensei, are we really not going there? Naruto looked at the mournful samurai Ronin and asked subconsciously. Fool. Why should we do something so thankless? They are fighting among themselves, so it is the best choice for us to take the opportunity to restore chakra and ensure combat strength. Suzuki rolled his eyes and scolded, then sat down to regain his strength. The scarlet double Megatama Sherinan was staring at Zabuza, observing and copying his Teijutsu to gain combat experience. Zabuza, who specializes in Kirigakur's assassination techniques, can be said to be clean and ruthless in his attacks. Of course Suzuki won't miss it. Naruto, Suzuki is right. Come here. Kakashi took the opportunity to agree and greeted, preparing to secretly check the status of Naruto's seal. At the same time, I am very satisfied with Suzuki's performance. This guy really never misses any opportunity to grow. While Suzuki and the others were enjoying themselves, Cardo was experiencing a shocking moment. Dozens or hundreds of thugs joined forces to attack, and they only lasted for three minutes before more than 30 people were killed. This makes Kaduo and the thugs fearful and uneasy. But the more they behave like this, the faster Zabuza will kill. Finally, after killing about ten more people. Escape. This is the devil, the real ghost. Oh my god, ninjas are so scary. As one person took the lead, the others will instantly collapsed and they turned around and ran away. Throwing away their helmets and armor, they got into a mess and scrambled to jump to the boat or the sea. You bastards, wait for me. Kato yelled when he saw this, threw away his crutch and ran away. But how could Zabuza let him go when he was targeting him? A whooshing sound. Zabuza instantly appeared in front of Kato and his cold murderous aura instantly erupted. Don't, don't kill me. I am your employer. After you kill me, no one will ask you to issue tasks. You run away ninjas, losing trust will only lead to death. I add money, I pay double, no. I'll pay ten times the reward, and you continue to complete the task. Kaduo fell to the ground, peeing and screaming. At this moment, he finally understood the meaning of Chiron Zabuza. Ten times? Ha ha. Indeed, the most important thing for us ninjas on the run is reputation. No employer will hire a fugitive ninja who kills his employer. But, you forgot one thing. Except for the betrayal of the employer, you were the one who made the first move. Zabuza's eyes were as cold as a knife and he sneered indifferently and the beheading sword in his hand slashed the owl's head mercilessly. I forgot to tell you. In fact, we escaped ninjas love you self-righteous employers the most. Only in this way can we get your wealth without any scruples. Looking at Cardo's head with an unwilling expression on his face, Zabuza added with greedy eyes. With Kato's expression on his face, 
Zabuza kicked him into the sea and fed him to the fish. He actually used the Sharingan to copy my Taijutsu. Kid, I just heard that you learned my silent killing technique. Uchiha is really scary. However, this technique is the secret of Kirigakur village. Let me give you a piece of advice. If you don't want to be hunted down by Kirigakur Umbu, it's best not to use this secret technique casually. Especially in front of the Mist Ninja. Zabuza turned around, stared at Suzuki with scarlet eyes and teased. Sometimes, having too much talent is not a good thing. Zabuza's suggestion is detected and a C-level reward is triggered. Mission, don't use silent killing techniques casually, reward, ninja technique, mist blink. Suzuki's mouth twitched slightly when he heard the reminder in his ear. This secret technique of bursting out chakra to gain an increase in physical skills, no one would use it casually. Isn't this a free reward? You don't need to remind me about this, Zabuza. Suzuki Feng King Yindan responded casually and received the system reward at the same time. This made Zabuza's face stiffen, and he walked towards Haku with a dark face. Kakashi, this mission ends here. If we meet again next time, I won't show mercy. After lifting up the unconscious Shiro, Zabuza turned around and stared at Kakashi and finally spoke. He still couldn't let go of this failure. Of course, me too. Kakashi said unceremoniously and confidently, not caring at all about Zabuza's harsh words. Next time, Suzuki may have grown enough to fight Zabuza alone. Not true at all. Suzuki Uchiha. I hope that next time we meet we will not be enemies but friends. The most important thing is, never lose the bonds you cherish. This is the key to defeating me today, and it is also the most precious thing in your body. Seeing that he was about to leave, Bai Chiang braced himself and looked at Suzuki and said complicatedly. If possible, he really didn't want to kill him before. Unfortunately, Suzuki's explosive strength forced him to go all out. Now that it has become like this, he also sincerely comforts. Bai's suggestion is detected and C-level reward is triggered. Mission, protect the bond, reward, 0.3 chakra. The careless Suzuki's pupils shrank, and his eyes looking at Shiro became softer. At this moment, he was extremely grateful for these caprices that he once hated. The Hokage is truly worthy of being an elusive being everywhere. You don't have to worry about this. Of course Suzuki-kun will protect our bond. Also, he won't like you. Just as Suzuki was about to speak, Sakura next to him stared at Shiro warily and spoke first. She could clearly see the change in Suzuki's eyes just now. We can't let Suzuki-kun be abducted by this powerful and beautiful Kunoichi. Making a move, Suzuki's mouth twitched slightly and he nodded in acquiescence. Is it? I see, you like Suzuki, right? But? You are jealous of the wrong person, I am a man. Bai was stunned for a moment, then chuckled weakly. This made Sakura and Naruto's eyes bulge at the same time carrot zero carrot, carrot zero carrot. Looking at the slightly embarrassed but beautiful girl's face in disbelief, she doubted her life. Let's go, bye. Zabuza said in a cold voice without changing his expression, and without looking back he carried Shiro and walked towards the foot of the bridge. This guy Zabuza is so arrogant after failing the mission. By the way, why is such a beautiful girl a boy? This kind of thing is too ridiculous. Looking at the disappearing figures of the two people, Naruto complained and grabbed his hair and fell into a daze. Obviously, she is a very beautiful girl. That is to say. Sakura nodded in agreement, wondering if Shiro was lying. The mission is completed, and you will receive the reward, ninja technique, mist blink. The mission is completed and the reward is, 0.3 chakra. While the two of them were gossiping in their eyes, Suzuki also heard system rewards in his ears. The chakra that had been strengthened by the double Megatama was once again greatly enhanced. Suzuki secretly glanced at his personal attributes and saw that the amount of chakra had reached 0.6 card of chakra from the previous one cards. And the mist flashes, just like the literal meaning. 
It is a teleportation technique that uses mist to move at high speed, and it is even more unexpected with the help of fog and silent killing technique. Well, you two are really boring. Kakashi looked at Naruto and Sakura smiled helplessly, then turned to look at Tashuna. Now that Kato is dead, no one will bother building the bridge anymore. Mr. Desna, you are in luck this time. Hope will truly come to the country of waves. Kakashi pulled down his forehead protector to cover his Sharinan and sighed lazily, secretly relieved. Now I can finally have a peaceful sleep. After this battle, both Suzuki and Naruto have made rapid progress, so this sea level mission is not too bad. Grandpa, we are here to help you. Desna smiled and was about to speak when he saw his grandson Inari running over with villagers waving farm tools and weapons. Now, there is really hope. Looking at the people with high morale, Desna Latohan spoke consolingly. Evening. After a sumptuous dinner, Suzuki came to Kakashi's room. Teacher, I want to learn your thunder escape ninjutsu today. Facing Kakashi's strange look, Suzuki went straight to the point without hiding anything. It's still some time before the bridge is completed, and he just so happens to have opened his double Megatama Sharinan, and his chakra has also been enhanced. The right time, right place, right people, naturally want to strengthen a wave of strength. Chidori? That is a highly difficult A-level lightning escape, which requires changes in the nature and form of chakra. You are still too reluctant now. Kakashi frowned and declined without thinking. After finally getting some rest time, he didn't want to take Suzuki to special training. He must be there to guide Chidori's training and not let up. Well, it's not that I don't want to teach. Just plain lazy. Suddenly, Kakashi's attitude made Suzuki's eyes darken. He also plans to learn Chidori in advance to have one more trump card against Orokimaru, is that it? Uh. You also activated the double Megatama Sharinan. Then starting tomorrow, I will teach you Sharinan Genjutsu. If time permits, I will teach you another B-level Thunder Escape. Seeing his beloved disciple's pale face, Kakashi smiled and proposed a compromise plan. Fine. Seeing this, Suzuki nodded in agreement without forcing himself, but other thoughts emerged in his mind. It is better to rely on yourself than to rely on others. Since the Chidori can't do it, what about the Rays Non? Baruto's Thunder Release Rays Non is a compressed Rays Non that disappears. This is a clear direction of cultivation. Well, let's take advantage of this time to learn the Rays Non first. Time flies by. More than a month has passed in the blink of an eye. During this period, Except for one person taking turns guarding the bridge every day, the three Suzukis spent the rest of their time practicing. After Naruto and Sakura saw Suzuki being trained by Kakashi, she began to double the involution again. Naruto spent more time mastering wind release and great breakthrough, and spent the rest of his time training on treading water. Sakura, on the advice of Suzuki, asked Kakashi to teach the sea level water release and Kirigakure techniques. When Kakashi learned that Suzuki wanted to cooperate with his silent killing technique, he readily agreed. As for Suzuki, after learning the D-level Genjutsu, Naraku no Jutsu and the C-level Genjutsu, Fox Heart Jutsu. On the grounds that he was proficient in what he had learned, he rejected Kakashi's B-level Lightning Escape Ninjutsu. In the next month, I secretly began to practice Rei's Non. Unfortunately, the real one-handed Rays Non is not as easy as imagined. Although Suzuki knew all the steps and tips for practicing Rays Non, he still stopped at the last step like Naruto. Even Suzuki without the help of his Shadow Clone. It is not possible to use the Shadow Clone to complete the Rays Non like Naruto. This makes Suzuki extremely depressed. Okay, let's say goodbye here. Thank you Mr. Dasna for your hospitality these days. Standing on the newly built bridge, Kakashi looked at the people on the opposite side and waved goodbye. Beside him was Suzuki Sakura, who was ready to go. Ha ha ha. Speaking of which, I should thank you. Thanks to you, this bridge was successfully built. Desna scratched his head and laughed sheepishly, 
feeling very grateful to these people. Inari. Brother Naruto. Next to them, Naruto and Inari looked at each other affectionately with tears in their eyes. During this period of time together, the two still had sparks. Gun. Suzuki, Naruto, Sakura. Kakashi nodded to everyone again, turned around and shouted. Suzuki and Sakura immediately followed. Naruto waved goodbye to Inari with tears in his eyes, gritted his teeth and turned to follow. Kanaha. Class 7, Meeting Point. Damn it, Kakashi-sensei is so slow. I am very motivated and want to carry out the task today. Looking at the sun that had risen high, Naruto couldn't bear the dissatisfaction anymore and shouted. What a huge blow this is to a young man who is full of energy. That's it, that's it. If I had known better, I would have gotten more beauty sleep. Sakura, who was also dissatisfied, glanced at Suzuki first, and when she saw that Suzuki was also irritable, she waved her fist in agreement. But what she didn't know was that Suzuki wasn't upset at all because Kakashi was late. Naruto, can you teach me your shadow clone technique? After struggling for a long time, Suzuki took two steps forward and said calmly under Naruto's strange eyes. He was only one step away from completing Rei's non-training, and he didn't want to give up here. If time permits, Suzuki doesn't mind completing the one-handed Rei's non slowly. But the Chinin exam is imminent, and he must increase his strength to face guys like Orokimaru and Gara. Ah! Shadow Clone? Naruto was surprised when he heard this and couldn't understand why Suzuki wanted to learn Shadow Clones. However, he would not miss this opportunity to show off in front of Sakura. Rolling his eyes, Naruto straightened his body with a pretentious cough. Suzuki. The art of multiple shadow clones is an A-level dangerous forbidden art in the Book of Ceilings. Even I was lucky enough to succeed in cultivation. Even if you are a genius, it will be difficult for you to learn this technique. Under Suzuki's speechless expression, Naruto pretended to be pretentious while stealing glances at Sakura. The villain looked so successful that Suzuki was so angry that he wanted to give him a thousand-year kill. Naruto. This guy is really both brave and mean. Humph, you don't have to worry about this. Just tell me whether you want to teach me or not. I'm not begging you. Suzuki didn't tolerate him, and used an even crazier attitude to explain what it meant to be forced to eat soft food. Uh, no. He was not just a freeloader, he was giving Naruto a chance to show off. Is this your attitude towards learning? Naruto who was ready to show off, was immediately dumbfounded and asked with a dark face while rubbing his head. Who is asking for help? Forget it if you don't want to. Originally I planned to treat you to dinner for a month in return. Forget it, I'd better go find Kakashi-sensei. How could Suzuki give Naruto a chance to rant, and immediately changed his tone to retreat instead of advance? If Naruto's shadow clone didn't only need one seal, he wouldn't be in such trouble. Treat guests to dinner for a month? No, who said I don't want to? Suzuki, we are partners who recognize each other. How could I not promise you, he he he? Just kidding, I was joking just now. Keep your word, you can't go back on it. Naruto shouted excitedly with golden eyes, he couldn't miss Suzuki's monthly pass. If Kakashi-sensei gets there first, he won't be able to leave anything behind. In one month, he will eat all the delicious meals that he was reluctant to eat before. Ah! A month's treat? Naruto, don't take this opportunity to make any excessive demands. Sakura looked at Naruto's drooling expression and shouted quickly to prevent Naruto from taking the opportunity to trick Suzuki. At the same time, he secretly gave Suzuki a dissatisfied look. Suzuki-kun is good at everything, but he spends too much money. Especially when the other party is Naruto and not her, it's so irritating. Ah ha ha. Of course not, Sakura, why do you miss me so much? Naruto laughed awkwardly when his thoughts were revealed, and secretly decided that Suzuki must be poor. Too demanding? Hum, Suzuki must know what is too much when the time comes. 
then starting from today. After the mission is over, you teach me how to practice Shadow Clone. Suzuki didn't know Naruto's sinister thoughts, so he calmly nodded in confirmation. If he knew what Naruto was thinking, he would definitely sneer. Taken advantage of? How can it be? Hi. Sorry, I accidentally got lost again today. Kakashi's voice suddenly appeared and interrupted Sakura who was about to speak, causing Suzuki and the three of them to look at the red Tori at the same time. Liar. Liar. The next moment, Naruto and Sakura pointed at Kakashi and yelled angrily. They have heard this kind of insincere excuse too many times. Hey, you guys still seem to be quite motivated. Then I announce that today's task is to go to the medicinal field to pull weeds. A long lost D level mission. Kakashi jumped down to the three of them and said calmly, ignoring their anger. Weed? What are you doing? I was also looking forward to some advanced and exciting missions, but this is too lame. Naruto's face fell and he was the first to jump up in protest. This was completely different from what he expected. Idiot, the previous mission to the Country of Waves was just an exception. D-level missions are your normal missions, let's go. Kakashi frowned and yelled loudly because the mission in the Land of Waves had changed. He took the initiative to take Naruto and Suzuki on a dangerous A-level mission. Although the third Hokage didn't say much, it was definitely impossible for them to leave the village for the time being. Want to perform more exciting tasks? What are you thinking about? Ten minutes later. Suzuki, now I will let you know the power of the multiple shadow clone technique. Naruto, who had regained his fighting spirit, looked at the emerald green medicinal field seal and shouted. This is the moment to show his value. The art of multiple shadow clones. Following Naruto's loud shout, bang 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 dozens of Naruto clones suddenly appeared. Go ahead and complete the mission in one go. Under the speechless expressions of Suzuki and Sakura, Naruto took the lead and rushed towards the medicine field with a wave of his hand. Dozens of clones swarmed up in an instant, carving up the entire medicinal field and working hard. Hi? Is he showing off himself? Or help us complete our mission? Looking at Yeo Tian who couldn't get in at all, Sakura's beautiful eyes froze and she said strangely. Hey, let him go. Suzuki shrugged and was unable to complain, as he just didn't want to waste time pulling weeds. Naruto guy. How can this promote team spirit? But that's okay, take advantage of his high energy to complete a few more D-level tasks in the past few days. Just in time for them to catch up with this joint examination. Kakashi, who was looking at the little red book, heard Naruto's actions, raised his head and cursed secretly. After a few minutes. Hey hey hey. It's all done, oh Bazin. How about it? I'm fast enough. Naruto stood in front of his client proudly and said, while giving Suzuki and Sakura a praising look. This is the power of his multiple shadow clones. Hey, I'm talking about you. What are you so proud of? High speed? It's because of your speed that I didn't have time to stop you. You guy, you actually pulled out all the herbs I worked so hard to grow. What I asked you to pull out were weeds, weeds. The client's aunt stared at Naruto fiercely and roared angrily, then punched him unceremoniously. Ah! After hearing Naruto's scream, which made the listener sad and tearful, his right eye turned into a panda eye. My body is still being whipped by my aunt. Idiot. This idiot. Suzuki suppressed her laughter and attacked Sakura mercilessly, causing Naruto's fragile mentality to collapse again. This is not the result he wants. In the afternoon. Small woods outside the village. Here, take a look. This is my art of multiple shadow clones. Naruto, with a bruised nose and swollen eyes, stood in the forest, proudly forming a seal with his hands ready to show off. Sherinan open. Suzuki didn't waste any time, he opened his Sherinan and stared at Naruto with a burning gaze. Come on Suzuki-kun. Sakura from the atmosphere team immediately flattered her, 
her hands on her chin with longing and anticipation in her eyes. Because, Suzuki-kun promised her that they could have dinner together after training. Here we go. Ninja Technique, The Art of Multiple Shadow Clone Hearing Sakura's encouragement, Naruto curled his lips and shouted in displeasure. Under the intense attention of Suzuki and Sakura. With a bang, several Naruto clones appeared at the same time. Hey hey hey! It's simple, it works in a flash. Looking at Suzuki who was bowing his head in meditation, Naruto couldn't help but touch his nose and smiled proudly. At the same time, he looked at Suzuki nervously. If his famous ninjutsu were learned by Suzuki in the blink of an eye, he would lose all face. But if Suzuki didn't learn it, there would be no feast for a month. This is such a tangled choice. Under Naruto's nervous gaze, Suzuki pondered for a moment and formed a seal with his hands. Ninja Technique Multiple Shadow Clone Technique According to the chakra flow observed by the Sharingan, Suzuki urged the chakra to explode and shouted. There was a bang. I saw a line of white smoke rising from Suzuki's side. What's surprising is that. Not to mention the shadow clone, even the incomplete shadow clone with missing arms and legs did not appear. Naruto, is there any other secret to the success of the shadow clone technique? I performed the spell completely according to your chakra flow, why did it still fail? Looking at Naruto with strange eyes, Suzuki couldn't help but ask doubtfully. The double Megatama Sharingan can copy non-blood successor ninjutsu and taijutsu by observing the flow of chakra. It stands to reason that as long as you get the madra and chakra flow, there will be no problem. Even if you fail the first time, nothing will happen. There must be something wrong here. The trick. Seeing the serious look on Suzuki's face, Naruto put aside his contemptuous joy and scratched his head. The trick? How could he know something like that? Isn't it just a bang and it's successful? But in front of Sakura, he couldn't reveal his true nature. Naruto, you don't know the trick. Seeing Naruto's face full of confusion, Sakura's eyes turned and she raised her head suspiciously. Suzuki next to him trembled, and he suddenly realized that Naruto was a bad student. No, I really don't know. Cough cough. This, um, the trick is of course there. But I can only tell you secretly, you can't tell others. Seeing the suspicious looks in Sakura and Suzuki's eyes, Naruto coughed dryly and leaned into Suzuki's ear. It's a matter of face, we must not lose here. Hey, why are you pretending to be mysterious? Seeing this, Sakura was dissatisfied and complained, but she still took a few steps back to distance herself. She didn't want to make Suzuki-kun annoying because of this. Yeah, Suzuki. The secret to this technique is. Seeing Sakura step back 10 meters and turn her back, Naruto smiled at Suzuki and lowered his voice. Anger? Is this the so-called trick? Hearing the two words in his ear, Suzuki had a dark face and was unable to complain. Good guy. Do you think this is the transformation super race from the sixth universe next door? Sure enough, he shouldn't trust this guy Naruto. Uh, it seems like he didn't intend to believe Naruto in the first place. The original plan was to rely on the Sharingan to observe the flow of Chakra to learn shadow clones, but I didn't expect it to fail. This. Yeah, anyway, I've told you the trick. I learned to shadow clone because of my anger. Therefore, it must be performed under extreme anger to successfully learn it. It's not your business to learn, so you can't regret treating me to dinner. Naruto glanced at Sakura secretly, then lowered his voice and continued to fool around with joy. Anyway, he has said the secret, and whether it succeeds or not is not his business. Naruto's malicious suggestion is detected and a 20x C level reward is triggered. Mission, cast shadow clone in anger. Reward, Naruto's version of the multiple shadow clone technique. Suzuki was about to burst into anger when a reminder in his ear stopped him instantly. There is another village with bright flowers and dark willows. This is. However, anger cannot be faked. Still have to wait for the opportunity. Let's go, 
it's time to eat. Exhaling a breath, Suzuki turned around and sighed under Naruto's anxious expression. Since you can't learn it, you can only cheat. Eh? Okay, okay, Sakura is gone. Naruto was stunned when he saw this, paused for half a second before nodding wildly and shouting. Originally, he was already prepared to stalk Suzuki after being rejected. I didn't expect Suzuki to be so loyal. Hi? Huh? Is the training over? Sakura was equally baffled when she heard Naruto shouting. What's the trick? It's over now? But of course Sakura wouldn't refuse if she could have dinner with Suzuki-kun earlier, and hurriedly chased after him. Have you given up? Suzuki is indeed a smart boy. That method is actually only suitable for Naruto. Simplify ninjutsu, especially advanced ninjutsu at the forbidden level. It's not something you can learn simply by observing the flow of chakra. That is only suitable for the caster's own chakra flow, and has no effect on others. Otherwise, the second Hokage Sama would not have only passed down one or two of his many simplified ninjutsu. In the Hokage's office, the third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at the three people on the crystal ball and muttered to himself. Well, it looks like what I expected. Then Hokage Sama, give Team 7 more D-level missions starting tomorrow. I want them to take part in this joint Chinon exam. The lazy Kakashi next to him had a solemn expression and solemnly pleaded to Sarutobi Hiruzen. Have you decided yet? Kakashi. Seeing Kakashi's rare seriousness, Sarutobi Hiruzen also had a solemn look on his face. Let newly graduated Genin take the exam, especially Jin Hiruki like Naruto. Isn't it a bit too hasty? Certainly. With Suzuki's strength, he is fully qualified to be promoted to Chinin. As for Naruto and Sakura, the best they can do this time is to help with the exam and increase their knowledge. Accumulate experience for the next exam. So, I'll leave it to Hokage Sama these days. Kakashi nodded without hesitation and gave the third generation a reassurance. I see, you are doing it because of Suzuki. Suzuki is a kid who is not lacking in wisdom and strength, so his talent cannot be buried. The impact of that incident did not make him go astray. He is a junior who can be trusted. So be it, Kakashi. As the Hokage, I feel extremely excited when I think that the seedlings that will inherit the will of fire have begun to sprout. I hope, old man, I can see them become Jounin and witness them shouldering the responsibility of Kanaha in the next era. After hearing this well-founded analysis, Sarutobi Hiruzen's old face smiled as happily as a chrysanthemum. Turning his eyes, he looked at Hoenjian bathing in the sunset with a smile on his lips. Ancient Hokage, this is the inheritance of bonds. A few days later. Your task today is to clean up the river garbage and help the client walk the dog. Well, follow me now to get the mission tools. Clean up the garbage in the river first. At the meeting point of Class 7, Kakashi, who had arrived late, made a lazy announcement. Two more D-level missions. Kakashi-sensei. We have completed several D-level missions in the past few days. Are there no more exciting and thrilling high-level missions? I've had enough of this boring mission. Hearing that it was another D-level mission, Naruto clenched his fists and exploded loudly in displeasure. Although the tasks during this period are fulfilling, such boring and low-level tasks are too annoying. Next time, next time I will help you get a C-level mission. Well, that's it. Kakashi waved his hand casually, gave Suzuki and Sakura a look and turned around to lead the way. Boring? What a hassle. In order to accumulate the number of tasks, he was also very tired during this period, right? Well. I don't have much time to savor the latest release of intimate violence. Let's go, Sakura. Ignoring Naruto's chatter, Suzuki greeted Sakura and followed him. Wait for me, Suzuki, Sakura. Upon seeing this, Naruto shouted loudly and quickly followed the footsteps of the three of them. Soon, Suzuki and the other three followed Kakashi to get the bamboo basket and arrived at the mission location. Well, this is the river. 
Clean up all the trash clogging the waterways. Be careful, the river here is quite fast. Even if you learn the art of treading water, you still have to be careful, don't accidentally get swept away. Kakashi looked at the turbulent river and shouted, then picked up the little red cat and read it leisurely. I see. This one is too easy for us. Suzuki-kun, let's start together. Sakura suddenly realized the invitation, gathered Chakra at her feet and stepped into the river water and stepped on it. Um. Suzuki nodded lightly in response, Chakra also emerged from his feet and stepped forward. Hateful. I will not lose to you two. Naruto looked at the two of them walking on flat ground on the river, regained his fighting spirit and shouted. He also practiced the skill of treading water in the country of waves. That's it, I'm here. As Chakra erupted under his feet, Naruto roared and rushed towards the river. Let the three of them, Suzuki, Sakura and Kakashi, look sideways at the same time. Next moment. Naruto, who had just taken a few steps forward, felt his feet empty before he could speak, and his face turned pale. Pfft. With a splash of water, Naruto fell into the river as expected. Help. Help! Caught off guard, Naruto choked on a mouthful of river water and shouted for help with a grimace. It was Suzuki who had quick eyesight and quick hands, and stretched out his hand to pull him out of the river. Prevent Naruto from being swept away by the current. I told you, the river here is very fast. If you cannot maintain a stable output of chakra on a fast and unstable river surface, it will naturally fall into the river. Naruto, it seems your training in treading water is not enough. Kakashi shook his head and spoke out in judgment, making Naruto, who had just been rescued, look embarrassed. Hey, even if I don't have to tread water, I can still complete the task well. The speed is no worse than Suzuki and Sakura. Look at me, the art of multiple shadow clones. In anger, Naruto gritted his teeth and formed another seal and shouted. Bang bang bang! Ten Naruto's appeared in an instant, looked at Suzuki and Sakura unwillingly, and then began to search for underwater garbage. Suzuki just laughed it off. If this boring task could be ended quickly, what would he have to complain about? Regardless of past and present lives, colleagues like Naruto who are hard workers are loved by everyone. Time flew by and it was an hour later. Under the influence of Naruto's shadow clone, Suzuki and the others quickly completed the garbage cleaning. At noon, I followed Kakashi to the home of the client of the dog walking mission. Naruto, are you sure you want to choose the biggest one? Looking at the vicious dog chosen by Naruto, Suzuki finally couldn't help but complain. Isn't this familiar scene followed by? Humph. Suzuki, you are one step late. This big dog is mine, you can just take charge of the two puppies. Although Naruto felt sorry for him, he was still stubborn and stubborn. He wouldn't let Suzuki do this kind of thing. Well, as long as you're happy. It's hard to persuade the damn ghost with good words, so Suzuki didn't say much when he saw this. Then his eyes darkened, thoughtfully. It has already reached this level, so the next step should be. Ah. Don't run around. Just as Suzuki's thoughts were racing, Naruto's howl suddenly sounded. Suzuki looked up and saw that Naruto was being pulled by the big dog that had just gone out and disappeared. Let's go. Suzuki sighed helplessly and called Sakura to start walking the dog leisurely. Well, Suzuki-kun. Sakura immediately nodded and followed, her face full of happiness. It's just in time for Naruto to leave so that he and Suzuki-kun can be alone in the world together. Don't want. That's a trap area over there, don't go in. I beg you, ah, don't. Just when Suzuki and Sakura slowly caught up with Naruto, they saw Naruto being frightened and being dragged ruthlessly into a minefield trap by the big dog. Next second. Bang, boom. Amidst the bursts of explosions, Naruto was pulled out by the big dog in disgrace. It's really troublesome. Naruto, you have to pay compensation for destroying the trap privately. 
Naruto just stood up with a grimace when Kakashi's fatal blow caused his expression to change drastically. Compensate? So beautiful. Suddenly, a shrill wail resounded through the sky. Ten minutes later. Really, you are just causing trouble for me. Suzuki helped Naruto and followed Kakashi and sighed helplessly. Sakura next to him also looked in agreement. Naruto actually turned the safest dog walking mission into a life or death situation. It's simply unimaginable. Chirp. Suddenly, a bright eagle call sounded above the three people. Let Suzuki's heart move. Well, that's it for today's mission. I will submit the task and you will disband. Kakashi glanced at the ninja hawk above him without leaving any trace, then found an excuse and disappeared. The Chinin exam which will change the pattern of Kanaha, is here. Looking at the ninja eagle leaving the horizon, Suzuki's eyes flashed and he suddenly understood. Suzuki-kun. I finally had a good rest today. Do you want us to go shopping and eat together? Seeing Kakashi leave, Sakura immediately hugged Suzuki's arm and acted sweetly. They are all very busy these days and have no time to move freely. No. Suzuki promised to treat me to dinner for a month, and I want to go with him. The half-dead Naruto jumped up instantly and said, not giving the two a chance to date at all. Naruto. This is a private date between Suzuki-kun and I don't come out and cause trouble. Sakura immediately turned her head and refused, not wanting Naruto to disturb her world of two. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Is this the genin of Kanaha? At this time, I am still immersed in the ridiculous love game. I don't know if it's confidence or ignorance. Naruto was about to retort when a joke suddenly sounded behind him. Sunagakur Ninja. It's best not to be too arrogant in other people's villages, or people will die. Looking at the person coming, Suzuki's eyes flashed and he spoke indifferently. Will arrogance kill people? Humph, then I want to see how you let me die. Seeing that Suzuki's attitude was even more arrogant than his, Kankuro's eyes were ferocious and he snorted coldly. He casually threw away Kanoamaru who accidentally bumped into him. With a slight movement of his finger, a chakra line that was almost invisible to the naked eye shot towards Suzuki at high speed. Idiot! The observant Suzuki snorted coldly, and the chakra burst under his feet instantly destroyed the chakra line. His eyes instantly turned scarlet and his right hand in his pocket completed the one-hand seal in an instant. At the same time, Naruto immediately caught his younger brother Kanoamaru and looked at Kankuro with an angry expression, ready to take action. Illusion, Narakujo no Jutsu The moment Kankuro looked at Suzuki, the Genjutsu was activated through the Sharingan. This illusion is a D-level illusion that allows people to see the fear deep in their hearts. Suddenly, Kankuro who had been so arrogant just now, shrank his pupils. It seemed as if he had seen something very terrifying, his whole body was shaking and he was breathing heavily. My weak legs are almost unsteady. Kankuro. Seeing that the situation was not going well, Tamari's beautiful eyes narrowed, and she raised her hand to pat his shoulder to interrupt the flow of chakra. His. Illusion? When did you seal it? When Kankuro came back to his senses, his expression changed drastically, and he immediately avoided Suzuki's eyes and took a deep breath. Just now, he actually fell into the opponent's illusion while looking at each other. It's simply terrifying. This made Naruto, who was about to teach him a lesson, look bored and looked at him with eyes full of contempt. We're here now, so don't hide anymore. Suzuki on the opposite side did not answer but turned to look at the tree next to him and said coldly. The scarlet double Megatama Sharinan reflects the pupils, which is full of aura. Suzuki-kun is so handsome. Seeing this look, Sakura immediately put her hands on her face and was filled with joy. Brother Suzuki is so handsome. Kanoamaru and the two followers next to him exclaimed almost at the same time, with stars shining in their eyes. Even Tamari on the other side was glowing with splendor with a slight blush rising on her cheeks. Is there someone? Where is there someone? 
Suzuki, what are you talking about again? Naruto next to him saw Suzuki making a show of himself, looking around and shouting blankly. Next moment. Kankuro, you are so embarrassing to the village. Under Naruto and Sakura's stunned expression, a line of sand quickly appeared beside Kankuro and formed. The boy with red hair and dark circles transformed into a gourd carrying a gourd, with an expression of indifference and scolding. I, Gara. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Seeing the person coming, Kankuro subconsciously trembled and apologized, thinking of the scary scene in the Genjutsu just now. Trash, do you want to continue to be embarrassed? Gara frowned and interrupted coldly, turning his head stiffly with an expressionless expression. Your name? I am very interested in you. Turning his eyes, Gara stared at Suzuki expressionlessly and asked. There was a trace of bloodlust and desire in Gujing Bubo's eyes. It's not polite. When asking someone's name, shouldn't you introduce yourself first? Seeing the blackened Gara, Suzuki raised the corners of his mouth and couldn't help but tease him. If you miss it now, you won't have the chance after Naruto escapes. Gara Sunagawa. Looking deeply at Suzuki, Gara pondered for a moment before taking the initiative to speak. Well, I know. However, I don't want to tell you my name yet. Naruto, Sakura, let's go. Under the shocked expressions of Kankuro and Tamari, Suzuki shrugged and smiled lazily. Turn around and leave without hesitation. This sudden change made Gara a little confused. Ah? Leaving now? He hasn't asked my name yet? Suzuki. Naruto, who looked confused, shouted carelessly, turning his head to look at Gara. That is to say, I haven't asked them what their purpose is in coming to Kanaha. Sakura also reacted and said seriously, looking at Gara and the three of them warily. You don't even know that it's about your own vital interests? Well, here's our pass. We came to Kanaha to take part in the joint chin and examination. Tamari saw Sakura's questioning and took out the pass, but her eyes fell on Suzuki's back. This handsome guy is a bit interesting. Chin and exam? Suzuki kun, wait for me. Sakura's heart tightened when she saw Tamari's gaze, and she immediately turned around and ran towards Suzuki. Well, my name is Izumaki Naruto. Painted faced ghost and the one who calls me Gara, right? I'll remember you. Naruto next to him immediately added, leading Kanoamaru and the three of them to catch up quickly. When Kankuro heard this, his face darkened and he gritted his teeth. Painted face ghost? This brat. Those sharing on. Suzuki. Uchiha Suzuki? Interesting prey. Looking at Suzuki's leaving back, Gara murmured to himself with a solemn expression as if he had seen something delicious. Kankuro, who was about to explode next to him, felt a chill in his heart, and he held his position and did not dare to move. Hokage's office. This is this year's chief student, Uchiha Suzuki. Nice kid. Looking at the confrontation scene in the crystal ball, Asuma blew out a smoke ring and praised them without hesitation. Being able to keep the majesty of Kanaha in front of Sunagakura is indeed worthy of the name of genius. That boy. Kakashi next to him looked at Gara's figure thoughtfully, but the curve of his mouth showed that he was very satisfied. Okay, let's start the recommendation meeting now. The third Hokage, Saratobi Hiruzen, had a solemn expression and dispersed the ninjutsu path, causing Kakashi and other elite Jounin to take two steps back at the same time. Cough cough. So, now begins the official Chinin exam recommendation. Kakashi, Asuma, Kurane. Formally speaking, Genin teams that have performed more than 8 D-level missions can participate in the Chuyunin assessment. However, according to Kanaha's practice, it is better to complete more than twice the number of tasks. Have you made a decision? Looking at Kakashi and the others, Saratobi Hiruzen said solemnly with a solemn expression. Although he already knew it, he still had to go through the necessary cut scenes. Kakashi took a step forward without hesitation. Isn't his hard work these days just for this moment? 
Lord Hokage. Team 7 led by Kakashi. Uchiha Suzuki, Uzumaki Naruto, Harano Sakura. The above three people. In the name of Kakashi Heitake, I recommend them to participate in this joint Chinin selection exam. Kakashi signed the seal of reconciliation with one hand, his expression solemn and solemn. Lord Hokage. Class 10, led by Asuma. Shikamaru Nara, Ino Yamanaka, Koji Akimichi. Three of the above. In my name, Asuma Sarutobi, I recommend them to take the Chinin examination. Asuma followed closely and said, with the same solemn look and solemn attitude. Lord Hokage. Class 8, led by Hong. Kiba Inyazuka, Hinata Hinata, Shino Abarame. The above three people. In my name, Kurane Ui, I recommend them to take part in the joint Chuyunin examination. After Kakashi and Asuma recommended the team, Ui Kurane was not far behind in recommending them. All of a sudden, the three newly promoted Genin teams took part in the Chuyunin exam together, which changed the expressions of everyone present. This is the first time in five consecutive years that a freshly graduated Genin has taken part in the Chuyunin examination. Or three teams appeared at once. Kanaha Streets. Humph. Kanoamaru, don't underestimate me. I'm actually pretty good. I can defeat guys like that just now. In order to ensure his status as the eldest brother, Naruto put on a show by holding his neck. But, brother Naruto didn't seem to react at all just now? Brother Suzuki reacted quickly and controlled that guy with just one look. Kanoamaru said with a doubtful look on his face, his serious face made Naruto feel extremely embarrassed for a moment. Kanoamaru, right. You guys are discerning, why don't you change your relationship with your elder brother? I happen to be short of a younger brother. Suzuki paused, turned his head and stared at Kanoamaru with a teasing smile. He is not joking about this, he is very serious. Kanoamaru's ninja talent can be said to be the first in the post nerasa era. He is a genius ninja comparable to Kakashi. With a little guidance, you can become a cage level or sunin level being. This kind of younger brother is the best confidant for Suzuki who aspires to become Hokage. And the roots are bright and the sprouts are red, no problem at all. I can rest assured that I can help take care of the children in the future. Well. I'm a little excited just thinking about it. Really? Brother Suzuki. Kanoamaru, who was already stunned by Suzuki's handsome rescue, instantly shouted in surprise with his eyes shining. The followers Mohuang and Udon next to them are also envious and eager. If you are willing, you can come together. Seeing the two little cubs next to him, Suzuki's bright light flashed and he invited them with a smile. Udon's talent aside, Mohuang is a super genius who independently awakened the wood release blood successor after the first generation. If you train him well, he will at least reach the peak of film level. Really? Brother Suzuki, I, Fengji Mohuang, am willing to be your little brother. The ignorant little girl's cute yellow eyes once again bloomed with starlight, and she nodded in agreement without hesitation. Such a handsome and talented genius brother. Which girl can refuse to accept it? I. No, you can't. Kanoamaru was about to speak when he was hurriedly interrupted by Naruto. Are you kidding? Kanoamaru is his little brother, how could he be taken away by others? It's this guy Suzuki. By the way, Suzuki, I suddenly thought that I have something important to discuss with you. Seeing the strange looks in Kanoamaru's and Sakura's eyes, Naruto quickly found an excuse to pull Suzuki and run away. It's too dangerous to stay here. Either the goddess wants to throw herself into Suzuki's arms, or the little brother is kidnapped. Woo woo woo. Leave, must leave this sad place. Naruto, you idiot. I also want to go shopping, eat and date with Suzuki-kun. Hateful. Sakura was stunned for half a second before she suddenly reacted and roared. This is an opportunity that was hard to come by. Dating? Could it be that you are brother Suzuki's girlfriend? The new little brother's cute little face froze, 
and he turned to look at Sakura's excited gossip. This is a good opportunity to get to know the cool and handsome guy. Sister-in-law, can you tell me about Brother Suzuki's heroic deeds? Yes, yes, you must have had super exciting and dangerous mission experience. I really want to hear it. Kanoamaru and Udon also reacted at the same time, looking at Sakura with eager faces and longing eyes. Girlfriend? Sister-in-law? The careless Sakura blushed immediately and looked at Sangziato with heavy breathing in agreement. This title is exactly what it is. Cough cough. Seeing how pitiful you are, I will tell you something. In a good mood, Sakura started to talk about the thrilling journey of the Land of Waves. The other side. Naruto, what exactly do you want to talk to me about? No, I'm afraid that Kanoamaru will abandon you, my big brother. Suzuki stopped two streets away, his eyes burning as if he wanted to see through Naruto's heart. Ah, uh, aha! Uh -huh. Are you kidding? How could I have that thought, ha ha ha? Naruto was scratched and rubbed his head to pretend to be deaf and dumb, his head quickly thinking of countermeasures. He really hasn't thought about this. Suddenly, Naruto saw the female Yu on the side and suddenly had an idea. He stretched his neck close to Suzuki's ear. His eyes were lewd. Hey hey hey. Suzuki, I haven't repaid you for my previous shadow clone training. Today is the day. Come with me, I will take you to see. Looking at Naruto's mean eyes and body movements, he then looked at the female soup next to him. Suzuki's face darkened, and a black line rose on his forehead. He is a bright wave, not a dark coquettish one. How is it possible to spy on women? So tasteless. Naruto's suggestion is detected and a sea level reward is triggered. Mission, if we are brothers, let's go peeping together, reward, Narazu seduction technique. Just as Suzuki was about to turn around and leave, he heard a system prompt in his ear. This made Suzuki stop and look strange. Naruto's seduction technique? What kind of weird reward is this? This is the first time. Don't be embarrassed. Seeing the change in Suzuki's expression, Naruto, who thought he had seen through everything, chuckled. Grabbing Suzuki, he walked towards the alley next to the female soup. Looking at the familiar movements, it is definitely not the first time. This wretched bitch is definitely the hot blooded Naruto? Uh, I probably know the source of the material for the art of seduction. Seeing Naruto's mean expression, Suzuki thought to himself, his eyes turned scarlet red. You are here, it would be a bit disrespectful not to watch. Well, it's all about system rewards. The next day. Chinin examination. Chinin exam. Looking at the application form Kakashi handed over, Naruto and Sakura shouted excitedly at the same time. Although I heard it yesterday, actually participating is another matter. Well. That's what it is. If you participate, sign the application form to agree. The time is five days later, go to room three of the ninja school before 3.01 p.m. to register for the test. Kakashi squinted his eyes and handed over the three applications, announcing as lazily as ever. Great. Kakashi-sensei, I like you so much. Naruto took the application and shouted excitedly, his eyes bursting with excitement. Suzuki-kun, do we want to participate together? Sakura subconsciously turned her head and asked, her beautiful eyes flashing with confidence and determination. Since Suzuki-kun said he likes strong girls, this chinin exam is an opportunity. She wants to prove to Suzuki that she is the strongest kunoichi of Kanaha's new generation. Ino and so on, just wait until she becomes a chuyunin and cry with envy. Certainly. Suzuki nodded without hesitation, this is an opportunity to upgrade system permissions. There is no way he would miss it and wait for next time. The system reward of C permission is too embarrassing. Suzuki couldn't help but tremble when he thought of the Narazu seduction technique that he had gained yesterday after losing his moral integrity. Outrageous, too outrageous. So, Suzuki, Naruto, Sakura. There are no tasks scheduled for the next few days. 
you will prepare for the exam by yourself. Remember not to be late. Kakashi looked at Suzuki with a strange expression, and told him to leave immediately. The Chinin exams are about to take place, and teams from various ninja villages gather in Kanaha. It is not easy for them as jonins, monitoring and preventing unexpected events are necessary. Five days later. Ninja school. Irika sensei is really. Why don't you do some strength test? I almost regarded him as a real enemy. In the school corridor, Naruto couldn't help but complain. Especially after knowing that Suzuki was not tested. Doesn't this show that you look down on him? That's it, that's it. We are all ninjas in our own right now. Sakura nodded in agreement, but her eyes were secretly looking at Suzuki. How could Suzuki-kun be such a weak being in Genjutsu? Arrive. Suzuki ignored the two people's complaints and paused, looking at the crowd in front of him. These days, he has not been idle at home. He has learned and mastered the two C-level fire escape techniques, Phoenix Immortal Fire Technique and Dragon Fire Technique. A lot of people. Looking at the crowd of candidates in front of him, Naruto's eyes widened and he shouted in surprise. Sakura next to her also nodded in agreement. Let's go. Suzuki glanced at the noisy crowd and took the lead through the crowd. Please let me in. As soon as they arrived at the front, the three of them saw the hot-blooded Xiaoli performing furiously without any enthusiasm at all. Next to him, the Chinese-style girl Tenten and the genius Niji that Suzuki longed for stood beside him. Boring. Glancing at the showman Kaiban, Suzuki sighed calmly and took two steps forward. Should I undo the illusion, or should you do it yourself? Suzuki watched the two transformed examiners joking and teasing each other, with a strange color flashing in his eyes. These two Kanaha Gate gods are really good at playing. They haven't seen enough of Kanaha Gate and come here to add drama to themselves. Yo! Not bad, he actually saw the illusion we cast. Gangzisha's eyes narrowed when he heard the sound, and he joked leisurely and meaningfully. But, so what if you just see it? I won't let you pass. Kamizuki Izumo laughed evilly, raised his leg and kicked Suzuki. But in the face of this attack, Suzuki remained unmoved. Because. Boom. I saw a green after image flashing quickly, raising his hand to block the examiner's attack. Xiaoli. Seeing this Tian Tian couldn't help but cry out helplessly, couldn't help but hold her forehead and sigh. In this way, the strategy of preparing to show weakness to the enemy failed. What a hassle. But Xiaoli turned a deaf ear to Tia Nation's words, but glanced at Suzuki with confidence. Turning his attention to Sakura next to him. I. Stop talking nonsense if your reaction is so slow. Naruto, Sakura, let's go. As soon as Xiaoli opened his mouth to show off, he was forcefully interrupted by Suzuki. What a joke, he doesn't have the hobby of letting people flirt with his wife in front of her face. What's more, Xiaoli is the one who breaks his personality. The last chief student. Do you just pretend to be a pig and eat the tiger? Ridiculous trick. Looking at Niji with feigned disdain, Suzuki walked into the classroom first. At the same time, the right hand seal in the trouser pocket violently broke the illusion. Classroom 301 turned into 201 in an instant, and the classroom also turned into a staircase corridor. Wait for me. Upon seeing this, Naruto and Sakura immediately followed, leaving everyone looking at each other. When did he form a seal to unlock the illusion? Gang Zisha was stunned for a moment, and then he came back to his senses and looked shocked. Is this the power of Uchiha? It is indeed a legendary clan. Kamizuki Izumo was also shocked, thinking of the fear of Genjutsu controlled by the Sharingan. What a cute newcomer. Niji, you seem to have been underestimated. Tenten looked at Suzuki's back and smiled amusingly, which made Niji next to him look cold. Interesting. Uchiha Suzuki? I hope his strength will not disappoint me. Niji sneered and asked Li Tian Tian to go to room 301. But Xiaoli was faster, 
turning into an afterimage and quickly chasing after him. That guy with arrogant eyes. Please wait for a moment. As soon as Suzuki and the other two submitted their applications and went downstairs, a hot shout came from behind them. Hearing this, Suzuki secretly lamented the trouble and looked behind him with a headache. Uchiha Suzuki, right. Do you want to have a showdown with me now? Xiaoli clenched his fists and looked at Suzuki, his eyes blazing with fire. Without. Xiaoli's suggestion is detected and a C-level reward is triggered. Mission, Showdown, Reward, Kanaha Cyclone Just as Suzuki was about to refuse, he heard a system prompt in his ear. This made Suzuki change his mind instantly. No matter how small the mosquito is, it is still meat and cannot be wasted. Suzuki, Suzuki's. Why Suzuki again? Thick eyebrow boy, are you here just to challenge Suzuki? I am also very powerful. Don't you want to challenge me? Seeing Suzuki's sudden silence, Naruto grabbed the topic and shouted dissatisfied. Not interested in. Xiaoli said very directly, making Naruto instantly furious. Damn it, look at how powerful I am. In anger, Chakra erupted from Naruto's feet and he quickly rushed towards Xiaoli with his fists clenched. But his speed was not as fast as Xiaoli's. He just flicked his finger sideways. Naruto was knocked out of position and fell to the ground. Xiaoli turned to look at Xiao Ying, his cheeks suddenly turned red with embarrassment. Miss Sakura, actually I did this because. This sudden change left Sakura and Naruto confused at the same time. But how could Suzuki accept this situation? Illusion, Fox's heart technique. Suzuki's eyes instantly turned scarlet red and the genjutsu in his trouser pocket was completed and activated instantly. Next moment. Xiaoli froze in place for an instant, and then returned to normal in an instant, spinning around the pillar. Let's go and ignore him. Looking at Xiaoli who was trapped in the illusion, Suzuki turned his eyes and said calmly. At the same time, the system rewards are also enlightening and comprehensive. The so-called Kanaha Cyclone is just an all-round spinning kick with a larger range. With enough chakra, it can barely be considered a good offensive and defensive ninjutsu. Sherinan? Suzuki-kun is so handsome. Sakura looked at the scarlet pair and murmured excitedly, her mindless admiration for Suzuki rising again. Sure enough, how could that thick-browed boy be the opponent of Sherinan Suzuki-kun? Hi. It's just the power of the Sherinan. Naruto felt sour again, looked at Xiaoli who was spinning in circles, and stepped to follow. Those three boys are Kakashi's elite subordinates. He is worthy of being my lifelong rival, and his disciple is equally outstanding. To actually defeat the disciple I worked so hard to train with just one illusion, this is the continuation of youth. With a whoosh, Metkai suddenly appeared and looked at Suzuki's back feeling inexplicably excited. He reached out and patted Xiaoli, disrupting the flow of chakra and breaking the illusion. K Teacher Kai Xiaoli looked at his mentor in front of him and instantly realized that he was ashamed and bowed his head in shame. As Teacher Kai's secret disciple, he was defeated by illusion after just one encounter. It's so embarrassing. You 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 Xiaoli, congratulations. You also find the opponent you want to chase your whole life. Seeing the shame on his beloved disciple's face, Metkai hurriedly hugged him and said with tears in his eyes. I completely misunderstood Xiaoli's motives. But you idiot. Next time this happens, just use the door to disrupt the flow of chakra to unlock the genjutsu. You don't know such a simple truth? You will be punished by running 500 times around the village. Yes, Teacher Kai. But I challenge Suzuki not because of his opponent, but because of Miss Sakura. Idiot, this reason makes me more youthful and passionate. In this case, then add a self-restraint to yourself. How about defeating Suzuki and then confessing to Sakura? Youth should be so passionate and passionate. Yes, Teacher Kai. In the deserted arena, the shouts of passionate masters and disciples came and went. 
Kakashi Sensei? Why are you here? Looking at Kakashi appearing in front of the examination room, Sakura asked in surprise. That's because this is an exam that only three people can take together. Although I'm sure you will attend, I still have to confirm it in person. At the same time, I also make sure that you all take the Chinin exam according to your own wishes. Looking at the three confident people, Kakashi explained with satisfaction in his eyes. It made Naruto and Sakura look happy. As for Suzuki, he heard an explanation that was different from the original show. I sighed slightly in my heart. The butterfly effect has begun to take shape. Suzuki, Naruto, Sakura. You three. It's the group I'm most proud of. Go in. Looking at the three of them, Kakashi narrowed his eyes and encouraged them again. This made the three of them, including Suzuki, feel warm and energetic. Let's go, Naruto, Sakura. After taking a deep look at Kakashi, Suzuki's eyes changed and he shouted confidently. Only he knows what situation he will face next. Therefore, he is more stressed than the three of them. Next moment. As the three of them filed in, they finally saw the sea of people in the examination room. Well, there are so many people. Looking at the room full of ninjas from each village, Sakura subconsciously exclaimed. Naruto next to him also had a similar expression, looking at the many genin who were inexplicably excited. Suzuki-kun. You are too slow, I have been waiting for you for a long time. Suddenly, Ino's coquettish voice sounded beside the three of them. Before Sakura could react, she saw Ino swooping down on Suzuki's back and starting to rub her ears and temples together. The soft touch of the tip of the little lotus instantly made Suzuki's heart flutter. Ino's cosmos has begun to grow. Jing Yezu, come down here quickly. Seeing this, Sakura couldn't bear it, and immediately shouted and pulled Ino down. She was taking the Chuyunin exam this time to attack Ino, her strongest love rival, and she didn't want Ino to attack her. A little bit. Suzuki-kun is mine. Ino was not moved at all, and even deliberately rubbed Suzuki's back twice to provoke him. This move instantly made Sakura furious. Okay, now is not the time to joke. Suzuki rolled his eyes and pretended to be calm, then stretched out his hand to push Ino away. He is not stupid, allowing himself to become a battlefield between two women. And this action also made Sakura secretly happy. Suzuki-kun really didn't like girls like Ino. It's really troublesome. I didn't expect that even you would come to take this exam. When the two women were tit for tat and fire was flying, Shikamaru's lazy tone sounded in Suzuki's ears. Looking up, he saw Shikamaru and Koji walking over. Hey hey hey! I didn't expect that all freshmen in our class would participate. It's really rare that everyone is reunited again. The last time we met was when we had dinner together. Inyazuka Kiba appears next, accompanied by Shai Hineda and Cold Shino. Ha ha ha! I won't lose to you this time. Kiba, Shikamaru, I must succeed in being promoted to Chinin. When Naruto saw his friends gathered together, he immediately boasted about himself, causing everyone to look at him with contempt. Promoted to Chuyunin? How can it be? Hey, I told you to speak lower down. While several people were discussing and reminiscing about old times, Kabuto the pharmacist showed up as promised and acted as a good guy. Who are you? He spoke so arrogantly. Looking at Yakushi Kabuto who was also wearing a Kanaha forehead protector, Ino crossed his arms and asked unhappily. I am Kabuto Yakushi. Under Suzuki's meaningful gaze, Kabuto Yakushi began to act like an enthusiastic senior. Soon, after getting acquainted for a while, he took out the ninja information card to attract everyone's attention. Let Yat, Naruto and others be eager to try. Suzuki, who knew the plot, had no interest in it. Instead, he turned his attention to other ninjas and began to search for the target. He actually has no interest in the information I collected. Uchiha Suzuki, are you confident or arrogant? Seeing that the most important target remained silent, 
Yakushi Kabuto's eyes flashed with a lack of interest. I found you, Uzumaki Uzumaki. Suzuki, who was looking around, suddenly paused and looked at the bright red hair in the crowd with twinkling eyes. This super nanny must not be left to Orikimura to waste. What's more, Xiang Phosphorus is a woman who can follow him throughout his life. It is also an absolute beauty that can deliver life. How could Suzuki bear to let her fall into darkness? Hey! Seeing Suzuki's hot gaze, the people in the crowd blushed and lowered their heads. That boy is so handsome. Why is he looking at me? Could it be? Oops, it's a heart-pounding feeling. Just by looking at each other, Xiang Ling couldn't forget Suzuki's handsome face. What? Remember, my name is Izumaki Naruto. I will not lose to you. Do you know? At this moment, Naruto couldn't help but burst out excitedly. It made everyone look at it, and the scene was instantly heard. You idiot! Don't be so annoying, idiot! Sakura Ino shouted loudly almost at the same time, angrily looking at Naruto who had a headache. Doesn't this guy know that this is very hateful? Coming! Seeing the sound ninja Suzuki coming quickly, his heart moved, and he formed a single-handed seal with his right hand under his trouser pocket. You brat, don't be too arrogant. Sound ninja Sak laughed ferociously, stepped over the crowd and rushed towards Naruto. At the same time, his companion toss aimed at Yakushi Kabuto. Naruto. Seeing the sound ninja coming, Sakura subconsciously shouted to warn Naruto. Naruto, with his back to Sak, couldn't react in time and turned his head blankly. At the critical moment. Roll. Just when Sak was only two meters away from Naruto, Suzuki suddenly broke out with a cold snort. The right hand in his trouser pocket suddenly waved out, and a thunder snake came like a thunder. The exploding thunder snake directly hit Sark's chest, paralyzing him and sending him flying. At the same time, Kabuto Yakushi also knocked Toss away. Naruto, be more careful next time you speak. Don't ask me to wipe your ass every time. Looking at Naruto who was belatedly realizing what he was doing, Suzuki smiled calmly and pretended to be coquettish. He was enjoying the feeling of hitting Naruto more and more now. Nani. When did he form the seal? This is the strength of Kanaha Genin. Amazing. Suzuki-kun is so handsome. That's great, Suzuki. At the same time, the genin of each village and Sakura Ino exclaimed again. The three Gara siblings, Kaiban, Odo Ninja, Kaso, and others looked at Suzuki with even more fear and curiosity. Just be quiet, you bastards. Just when Odonin was unwilling to attack again, a rough sound exploded accompanied by white smoke. I've kept you waiting for so long. I am your examiner, Marino Iaki. The first test for Chinin selection begins now. On the podium, the Kanaha examiner group headed by Marino Iaki made a shining appearance. Nanny? Pen, written test. Upon hearing the content of the first test, Naruto's eyes widened and he looked terrified. The worst thing about him is these things, how could it be like this? Hateful. There are a few very important rules for the first exam. Listen carefully to me. On the podium, Ibuxi ignored everyone's different expressions and began to announce the rules. Naruto, there must be a lot of panic now. Suzuki glanced at Naruto's trembling back with a joking look on his face, but his heart was slightly solemn. Passing the test does not mean you are qualified to become a Chuyunin. His goal is to pass the exam and be promoted to Chunin so he must show outstanding performance in every link to obtain high scores. This way you will be foolproof. So, after a few minutes, the first exam officially begins now. Answering time, one hour. Following Ibuxi's order, all the candidates lowered their heads to check the test papers that had just been handed out. Damn it, this is bad. How could that guy Naruto do a test question of this level? No, I should say even Suzuki-kun. Looking at the extremely difficult test questions, Sakura's head was as big as an ox's head and she was worried. 
she is the only genin among them who can complete a question of this level. In this way, she is likely to be eliminated. Sure enough, I don't know any of these questions. In this case, the Sherinan opens. After glancing at the question, Suzuki sighed secretly and his eyes instantly turned scarlet. The double Megatama Sherinan stared at a guy who was writing fast and started to engrave. That Uchiha brat, so fast. It took only a moment to see the true core of the exam, and he had already started to take action. At the edge of the examination room, one of the deputy examiners who was paying attention to the scene whispered in surprise. Let the colleague next to him subconsciously look at Suzuki. After all, he is an Uchiha genius. It's not surprising that he can react so quickly. I'm really looking forward to what he will do next. Being a Chuyunin is not just about talent and strength. Another deputy examiner murmured, turning his head to look elsewhere again. But intentionally or unintentionally, the corner of my eye kept focusing on Suzuki. While Suzuki was taking action, the other elite genin also saw through the core of the exam and took action on their own. Biakugan, heart turn, bug, ninja dog, puppet, syllable, eye of sand, mirror and other means have appeared one after another. Only some guys who still don't understand the situation are still scratching their heads. Such as. Damn it, damn it. How so? If Suzuki and Sakura are eliminated because of me, they will definitely be scolded. How can I raise my head in front of Sakura from now on? Especially, losing to that guy Suzuki. Naruto was sweating profusely as he looked at the blank test paper, and the pressure in his heart had reached the extreme. On pins and needles. Naruto. Seeing how nervous Naruto was, Hinata called out weakly. At the same time, Suzuki in the back seat also finished answering the questions. When he looked up, he saw Naruto pretending to reject Hinata. Afraid of being caught or framed and eliminated by Hinata. Here we go, Naruto. A smile appeared on Suzuki's lips, and he reached out to sign the test paper with the four words Suzumaki Naruto. Immediately, under the stunned expressions of all the examiners and candidates, he stood up calmly. He, what is he going to do? The deputy examiner who was always paying attention to Suzuki's face froze and was a little confused. Even if you are going to the toilet or doing something else, shouldn't you inform the examiner first? Suzuki-kun. Sakura, who also saw Suzuki's movements, was also confused and looked at Suzuki confused. Ah. Naruto looked at Suzuki who suddenly appeared in front of him, and was dumbfounded and at a loss. Why did this guy come here? Even Hinata next to her had a pretty face, looking at Suzuki with cute eyes. Idiot. Ignoring everyone's expressions, Suzuki spat at Naruto. He reached out and put the test paper in his hand on Naruto's desk, picked up Naruto's paper and turned around to leave. Huh? Ah. Naruto subconsciously looked down and saw that the test paper was filled with answers. And, the signature at the top is his name. Uzumaki Naruto. Still, can this still happen? Looking at the test paper, Naruto subconsciously exclaimed in surprise. At this moment, Suzuki was simply his angel. Stop, that Uchiha candidate. Just when Naruto was inexplicably excited, the voice of the examiner Marino Iaki suddenly exploded. This made everyone's eyes turn to Suzuki, it was not a big deal to watch the fun. Of course, except for Sakura Naruto and those close friends. What? Suzuki, who was stopped, was not polite and looked at Ibuki with a straight face and asked doubtfully. That blank look in his eyes, as if everything was normal. Kid, we should be the ones asking you what you are doing. For cheating so blatantly, do you think all of us examiners are blind? The deputy examiner who had paid attention to Suzuki before immediately shouted angrily, but he thought Suzuki was going to make some big move. Is this the result? What were you doing just now? Marino Ibuxi's eyes darkened, he looked at Suzuki and asked solemnly. Didn't he say he was cheating? Are you really blind? 
Suzuki gave an unceremonious reply with a roll of his eyes, making everyone's faces darken in fear. Cheating? Do you still know that you are cheating? Is there such blatant cheating? Humph, just admit it. Now I declare that you and your teammates are all disqualified from taking the exam. Seeing Suzuki's venomous words, Ibiki's face darkened and he declared directly. Both Sakura and Naruto turned pale and shocked at the same time. But just as the two of them were about to speak, they were frightened back by Suzuki's look. I said the examiner. You won't forget the rules you set yourself so quickly. Everyone has five chances to cheat, and they will be disqualified if they record five times. I've only used it once now, and you can only deduct two points from me at most. Why are I and my companions disqualified? I acted according to your rules, and there was no shameful cheating. I cheated openly. Suzuki said solemnly and confidently, making all the candidates' eyesight instantly shine. Yes, everyone has five chances to cheat. Instead of secretly competing with the examiner and wasting valuable cheating opportunities. It's better to be like Suzuki and just use one opportunity to decide the outcome openly and honestly. How could they not have thought of such an obvious loophole in the exam? Suzuki-kun is right. This is the rule you told the examiner. You are not sure now that he cheated five times. So, we didn't break the rules. Sakura was instantly overjoyed when she heard this, and immediately stood up and echoed loudly. Yes, yes, that's it. Examiner, you can't just keep your word. Naruto also shouted making Marino Haiki's mouth twitch. These three brats. Is this being used? Interesting, I didn't expect that as the head of the torture department, he would be tricked by the candidates. Use the rules I set? In a specific scenario, use specific rules to achieve your own goals. At the same time, is it guaranteed that all companions will be promoted? What a troublesome kid. Looking at the serious faces of Suzuki and the other three, Ibiki smiled bitterly with helpless expressions on his face. Originally, he was the one who assigned the questions to the candidates, but he didn't expect that the candidates would turn the tables on him. If he does not agree with his own rules, he is personally denying the authority of the examination. But if Suzuki's approach is approved, other candidates will follow suit. This intelligence gathering test has lost its meaning. It's really a dilemma. However, how could he be led by the little devil? You're lucky, sit down. Looking at Suzuki meaningfully, Ibiki nodded in approval of Suzuki's behavior under the excited expressions of all the candidates. Okay, long live Suzuki. Marvelous. Naruto and Sakura shouted excitedly at the same time, their worries finally coming to an end. Especially Naruto. Now he is very confident about passing the written examination. And Yubixi's move also made many candidates who didn't answer the questions look ecstatic. In this way, wouldn't they be able to? All right. Everyone be quiet, now I want to announce the tenth question of today's exam. Just when other candidates were eager to take the test, Yubixi returned to the podium and shouted with a grin. This made everyone's expressions change and they all calmed down and looked at Ibixi. First, I want you to make a choice. That is, before the tenth question is released, you can choose to take the test or not. Ibiki looked around with cold eyes, and finally landed on Suzuki and announced in a deep voice. Just now. How do you choose? Little devil. To take the test or not to take the test. Do you still need to think about this? Of course I will continue with the exam. Sakura immediately questioned and shouted, which was also the voice of all the candidates. Now that it's time, how can they give up? Because I'm going to announce a desperate rule. That is, candidates who fail the tenth question will be deprived of the qualification to take the Chinin exam for life. Ibiki turned to look at Sakura and smiled solemnly, but his answer surprised everyone. How come? How come there is such an outrageous rule? That is to say, why should we be deprived of our lifelong examination qualifications? In an instant, some candidates shouted dissatisfiedly, 
making the atmosphere tense. No, we can follow what that Kanaha brat did. There is no such thing as failing the test. At this moment, a wise man stood up and shouted. Let the nervousness of those around you disappear instantly. That's right, no matter what the tenth question is. As long as you follow Suzuki's method and break the game, you will be a stable group. Excuse me, now I have to add a rule. That is, any candidate who takes advantage of the cheating rules will be directly eliminated. Looking at the crowd of powerful people, Ibuxi raised the corner of his mouth and made another ruthless declaration. Suddenly, one stone stirred up thousands of waves. I protest. That's right, why can they do it but we can't? Is this showing favoritism to Kanaha ninjas? Yes, you Kanaha must be formulating beneficial rules for your own people. Suddenly, rumors spread again in the examination room, and people with the same hatred began to bombard the examiners. Once this rule changes, how can they still take the tenth question with peace of mind? Shut up, you trash! Facing the candidate's doubts, Yubuxi was not used to directly bursting into murderous rage and shouting. The atmosphere at the scene was instantly solemn. Partiality? It's my fault that you didn't think of that loophole immediately. Here, I am the rule. The rule announced before was to represent Kanaha, and it is still the same now. Let's get started, choose to continue or give up. Ibuxi looked at those clamoring candidates with a look of disdain, making everyone nervous again. Now comes the real big decision. Sorry Hirana, I give up. I give up too. Damn it, I don't want to spend the rest of my life. In less than three minutes, many candidates could not bear this rule and chose to abstain. The appearance of these people makes other candidates even more mentally tortured. Even Naruto couldn't help but be shaken at this moment. Even if he had Suzuki's test paper now, he might fail on question 10. Then it affects Suzuki and Sakura, and makes her unable to take the Chinin exam again. Snapped. Just when Naruto was hesitant, Suzuki behind him suddenly shot up. This made everyone's attention turn to Suzuki again. The so-called ninja. It is a dangerous profession that is precarious and always faces unknown risks. In this cruel world, ninjas will die every moment. No matter he is a genin, chinin, jounin, or a shadow of a village. So, looking forward and looking back is not my style at all. If my destiny is to become a genin for the rest of my life, even if I fail the tenth question, I will accept it. However, this is definitely not a reason for me to back down. I still have a dream that I must realize, and I will never fail here. Finally, my teacher once said. Ninjas are those who break the rules. If this exam rule is your rule as the examiner, then I can also break your rule. Anyway, I will not be denied my existence by your rules. Even if I have to be a useless genin for the rest of my life, I don't want to be an even more useless deserter. Under everyone's surprised eyes, Suzuki looked at IBI and said happily. Suzuki didn't just say this, he said it from the bottom of his heart. Knowing the plot, he knows better than anyone else the terrorist threats he will face in the future. Therefore, this is also his way of ninja. And Suzuki's words made many people cast strange and exciting looks at him. That is to say. Suzuki is right, we are men who dream of becoming Hokage. Why are you shrinking here? If you risk it all, the worst case scenario is that you will be a genin for the rest of your life. Naruto, who was already hesitant, immediately stood up and shouted, while looking at Suzuki with admiration and disbelief. How could he lose to this guy Suzuki? He stole the spotlight again, damn it. Suzuki-kun is so handsome, I support you. That's right. Sakura Ino immediately echoed sweetly, looking at Suzuki with starry eyes. If you fight hard, the worst possible outcome is that you will be a genin for the rest of your life. That's right, if I can't even pass this level, I'd better be a ninja. If my existence is a genin level, what's the difference between taking the test and not taking the test? I took the gamble, anyway, I don't want to regret it in the future. 
The other candidates were all enthusiastic young people who immediately strengthened their beliefs and made up their minds. Under the stern looks of all the examiners, the tense atmosphere created by Ibuxi collapsed instantly. Hey, it's this Uchiha brat again. It actually led everyone to strengthen their beliefs and change their attitudes in an instant. What a headache! Ibuki turned his eyes and stared at Suzuki and complained slightly, but the smile at the corner of his mouth showed that he was satisfied. This brat might actually be promoted to Chinin. No one quits anymore. Looking at the vigorous candidates, Ibuxi asked again. After seeing everyone nodding heavily, Ibuxi couldn't help but let out a soft breath. There is no point in continuing. Well, congratulations to you. All the candidates here are qualified. Next second. Under everyone's nervous and anxious gazes, Yi Bixi's expression changed and she announced loudly. Is it qualified? How come? Upon hearing this unexpected result, Sakura was stunned, with a hint of disbelief in her beautiful eyes. This result was completely different from what she expected. The other candidates all had similar expressions of surprise and confusion. Why? Why was it suddenly announced that all employees were qualified? What is going on? You haven't posted the tenth question yet, how come you passed the exam? In the crowd, Sunaga Kurtamari frowned slightly, patted the table and stood up to question. Yeah, what on earth is going on? Eno shouted immediately, confused and confused. Because there is no question 10. In other words, the choice just now was the tenth question. Yubuxi suddenly smiled heartily, surprising everyone again. The choice is the tenth question? What kind of weird test question is this? Is it weird? This is actually a choice that every ninja will face. As Uchiha just said, ninjas will face many uncertainties. When faced with a choice, should we choose to break through ourselves or be afraid of retreating? Should we continue to lead our partners to complete the mission, or should we live quietly and wait for the uncertain future or opportunity? Among them, you will definitely face ruthless choices between companions and tasks. Therefore, abandon your companions and those who are willing to fall. He will definitely not be a qualified Chuyunin. Under everyone's horrified gaze, Yubuxi took off her turban, revealing the hideous and terrifying scars, and explained in a deep voice. This live lecture instantly silenced the entire classroom. Even Suzuki, who knew the plot, felt heavy at this moment. Ninja bonds are not just words here. Bang, click. Just when Suzuki and everyone were in a trance, two sounds bursting through the air suddenly appeared and shattered the windows. With two whooshing sounds, a piece of black cloth was nailed to the wall by two kunao to block the blackboard and Ibuki. Ha ha. You can't be happy too early. Now the first exam is over, and there will be a second exam next. I am the examiner for your second exam. Mitarashi Anko. Let's go, follow me to the next game. Under the speechless expressions of Suzuki and everyone else, the female version of Naruto, Han Han Anko, appeared. This senior sister Madoha is quite promising. It's her who Tong Yan said. It's a pity that in Burrito, he was labeled as Fatty Obazan. Looking at those alluring curves, Suzuki couldn't help but secretly sigh that beauty grows old. Except for the yin-sealed Tsunade Sakura, no character can withstand the ruthlessness of time. Is this guy really a jonin? Looking at Naruto's angry Anko, Sakura couldn't help but have black lines on her head. Hey, I said Hungdu. Tomorrow is your home court. Seeing that the atmosphere was tense, Ibuxi sighed helplessly with a dark face. This guy doesn't pay much attention to the occasion. Ah ha ha. Sorry, sorry, I'm a little anxious. Hungdu, who was full of momentum, immediately collapsed after hearing this, touching his head and laughing awkwardly. Everyone at the scene was speechless again. Is this examiner really a Jounin of Kanaha? Cough cough. So see you tomorrow. Ask your teacher about the exam location, that's it. Anko turned around in embarrassment, waved her hand and shouted again. 
she didn't care at all that this action made her proud figure even more curvy. Let's go. Suzuki took a deep look at Anko and immediately stood up to greet Naruto and Sakura. Suzuki-kun, you were so handsome just now. Sakura heard the sound and quickly caught up with him, hugged Suzuki's arm and shouted sweetly. He even rubbed it up deliberately and gave Ino next to him a demonstrative look. Damn it, this guy Sakura actually. Unforgivable. Seeing this, Ino couldn't bear it, and immediately became furious and wanted to fight for favor. But as soon as she made a move, she was blocked by Shikamaru Koji. Although I understand your mood very well. But Ino, we should go find Asuma Sensei now and ask where the exam room is tomorrow. Shikamaru lowered his head and said with a troubled expression, making Koji immediately nodded in agreement. Shikamaru is right, Asuma Sensei still owes us a barbecue. He promised to treat me to dinner every time I passed an exam. Listening to Koji's addition, Ino's face froze and she immediately lost. When it comes to barbecue, Koji will never let her leave alone. Barbecue. Naruto, who was chasing Suzuki and Sakura, his eyes lit up when he heard this and he immediately quickened his pace. Wait for me, Sakura. In fact, I also figured out the mystery of the tenth question, but that guy Suzuki beat me to it. Idiot Naruto, how is that possible? Hey hey hey. Don't be so heartless, Sakura-chan. I know a reason for Kakashi Sensei's treat that he can't refuse. Ah? What's the reason? You can have this, Naruto. So that's it, Kakashi's student. No wonder they talk about breaking the rules. Uchiha says okay, I'm looking forward to your next performance. On the podium, Ibiki looked at the backs of Suzuki and the three of them with twinkling eyes. In his hand, he still held the test paper that Suzuki exchanged for Naruto. Evening. So, this is why you asked me to treat you. Seeing the burning eyes of Suzuki and the three of them, Kakashi touched his wallet and his heart skipped a beat. Forget about eating, he actually asked for a barbecue dinner. We can't get out without 5,000 tails. Of course. Asuma Sensei invited Shikamaru and the others to dinner after every exam. Kakashi Sensei, how can you lose to him? You don't want us to go out for dinner in the future and say that teacher, you are a stingy person. Seeing Kakashi's reluctance, Naruto immediately exploded with 200% of his brain cells yin and yang energy. With this chicken thief's expression, who dares to say that Naruto is a brainless fool? Suzuki also took advantage of the opportunity to show a look of disdain, and when Sakura saw this, she immediately fell in love with her husband. Well, okay, okay. But only this time. Seeing that he was disliked and despised by the three people, Kakashi's lips twitched and he had no choice but to respond. However, the corners of the mouth under the mask were slightly raised. Congratulations to you, Suzuki, Naruto, and Sakura. Suzuki on the opposite side also raised the corner of his mouth in sync. Because the mission is completed and the reward is obtained, 10,000 tails of money. That's right, when Naruto suggested cheating Kakashi before, he triggered the D-level suggestion mission. As long as Kakashi agrees to treat him, he can get a reward of 10,000 to 20,000 yuan. Suzuki couldn't refuse the free money, so he agreed so simply. The next day. Here. This is the second examination room for this Chinan exam. Kanaha Training Ground 44 Alias, Forest of Death In front of the eerie forest, Hungdo looked at the crowd of candidates and said with a cold look in his eyes. Suddenly, the dangerous expression and the poisonous insects and beasts that could be seen everywhere in the forest gave most of the candidates a chill. Is that Orakimaru? Ant Snake I advise you to be gentler to your father and me. In the crowd, Suzuki glanced at a certain long-haired rain ninja out of the corner of his eye and sighed. The first test is here. Hey, what a spooky and scary place. This, this place is the second examination room. I just saw a giant centipede. A centipede that big must be extremely poisonous. 
looking at the large and ferocious beasts that emerged one after another, many candidates suddenly felt chills running down their backs and their hair stood on end. This place must be very dangerous. Are you scared? Haha, <laughs> you will soon realize what hell is. Anko grinned with stern eyes, making the already cold atmosphere even more solemn. Soon you will realize what hell is. Hey is it that dangerous? Behind the crowd, Naruto stood next to Suzuki and made a funny noise. Because Suzuki wanted to observe Orochimaru, Naruto and Sakura followed Suzuki and stood behind the crowd. This time, it did not attract Anko's attention, nor did it trigger a secret confrontation between Orochimaru and Anko. Now, let me announce the content and rules of the second exam. The second game is called the Scroll Battle. The rule is. After a tedious explanation, Suzuki and the three of them each received a death exemption agreement. Is it even necessary to think about it? We are already here, how can we back down? Naruto looked at the disclaimer and sneered, signing his name without hesitation. You actually want to sign this? Is it so dangerous? Sakura subconsciously murmured in worry, but she saw that Naruto had already signed. Suzuki quickly signed his name, and Sakura gritted her teeth and signed to confirm. Then go get the scroll. Suzuki nodded to the two of them, glanced at Xiongling without leaving any trace, and then walked towards the isolation room. Now that you've decided to go all out, there's no need to hesitate. Naruto and Sakura looked at each other and immediately followed closely. Soon. After submitting the consent form, Suzuki and the other three received an Earth Scroll. At the same time, other teams also received scrolls one after another to take the exam, and almost all members participated. The three of them, Suzuki, were also led by a deputy examiner to entrance 12 of the Forest of Death. Half an hour later, time confirmed, exam begins. After arriving at the appointed time, the deputy examiner gave an order to open the door. A cough and a whoosh. Suzuki's eyes flashed, and he took the lead and rushed into the forest of death. Suzuki-kun, do you have any plans? Sakura asked nervously and expectantly, following Suzuki's footsteps. Does this need to be said? Of course we need to find the scroll first. Naruto shouted immediately, with an I am very smart expression on his face. No, let's go near the tower first. Suzuki said without even thinking about refusing, his eyes serious as never before. Grab the scroll? There is no point in grabbing the scroll if Orokimaru is there. Ah? What should I do with the scroll? After hearing Suzuki's arrangement, Naruto scratched his head and shouted in doubt. Idiot, no matter who gets the scroll, they will gather in the tower. We just sit back and wait and someone will naturally come to our door. Suzuki gave Naruto an explanation and jumped into the bushes nearby. Naruto and Sakura immediately stopped and followed after seeing this. Before that, we have to make a disguise. Seeing Naruto and Sakura's strange look, Suzuki took off his ninja bag and said calmly. Next moment. Under Naruto and Sakura's shocked gaze, Suzuki took out several blank scrolls of similar size from his ninja bag. This is. Seeing those scrolls without names, Sakura narrowed her beautiful eyes and asked in surprise. These scrolls are actually very similar to the book of Earth they took. Of course it's insurance. Originally, these scrolls were bought as spares, but I didn't expect that they would come in handy here. Suzuki pretended to explain. Naturally he would not say that he was prepared for it. In order to ensure promotion to Chinin, Suzuki will not waste any scroll. Later, under Naruto and Sakura's surprised expression, Suzuki took out his pen and ink, picked out three scrolls and disguised them all as the Book of Earth. That way we don't run the risk of losing the scroll. You can even use the scroll to instigate rebellion, lure enemies, or deceive. Under the surprised looks of the two, Suzuki handed two of the fake scrolls to each of them. I left two scrolls, one true and one false. Hey hey hey! Suzuki, you are really insidious. 
Naruto took the scroll and put it into his ninja bag with a cheeky smile, which increased their chances of winning. Suzuki-kun, you are so smart. In this way, no one will think that the scrolls on the three of us are fake. Sakura immediately complimented softly, making Naruto jealous. Let's go. After quickly packing up, Suzuki urged and left again. We have just entered the forest of death, so their disguise should be the safest. Naruto and Sakura followed up again, full of confidence. The three of them galloped all the way and soon broke into the forest of death two kilometers away. Be careful. Suddenly, the expression of Suzuki, who was always vigilant at the front, changed. Grabbing Sakura and ducking behind a nearby tree. At the same time, he kicked Naruto behind another tree. Next moment. Call. With a sharp howl, the terrifying wind pressure comparable to a Category 10 typhoon struck with devastating force. The super strong wind pressure cut off the big tree they were leaning against in just one encounter. Fortunately, the three of them had their backs at the foot of a big tree, so they were not taken away by the wave. Between the two big trees, the dense jungle was flattened. A white and flat land suddenly appeared, dividing Naruto and Suzuki on both sides. Come yet? Looking at the aftermath of the super strong wind escape, Suzuki's eyes narrowed and he thought to himself. He thought he would meet Orokimaru later when he changed the route, but he didn't expect it to happen so quickly. Enemy, enemy? It's so scary. Sakura, who was protected by Suzuki, felt Suzuki's nervousness and felt uneasy at the same time. How could there be such a terrifying enemy in the Chinin exam? It actually makes Suzuki nervous. This, this is the great breakthrough of wind escape? How could it be, how could it be so strong? At the same time, Naruto behind the tree looked at the wind escape traces with weak legs and trembled in surprise. This is his only offensive ninjutsu, and Naruto is naturally familiar with it. However, the range and intensity of this attack are too exaggerated. Naruto, take Sakura and leave here. He left it to me to deal with it. Although he was nervous and apprehensive in his heart, Suzuki still gritted his teeth and walked out. The dark pupils instantly turned into scarlet double Megatama Sharinan eyes, staring at the visitor firmly. Orokimaru came for him, Naruto and Sakura stayed behind to deliver food. It's better to just let them leave and start another big fight. Anyway, Orokimaru at this stage will never kill him. And he also needs Orokimaru's pressure to improve his strength and see himself clearly. Sacrifice yourself to protect your companions? Kanaha kid, you are really a special Uchiha. After hearing what Suzuki said, Orokimaru stared at the pair of Sharinan greedily and said hoarsely. It's this, it's this kind of ice. He was about to get the power of Uchiha. Take Sakura and leave. Naruto's pupils shrank when he heard Suzuki's urging, and his trembling and fearful mood was instantly replaced by unwillingness and shame. Here it is again. Why, why doesn't he have the courage to face strong enemies like Suzuki every time? Time and time again, I was treated as someone who needed protection. Isn't it a super powerful enemy? Suzuki isn't even afraid, so why should he run away? Suzuki, I won't run away. I will never give you this opportunity to shine. Naruto pretended to smile in a relaxed manner, took out his kunao and rushed forward. This idiot. Sakura, get out of here first. Suzuki's face changed slightly when he saw this, and he shouted, chakra erupted under his feet. Suzuki-kun, Naruto. Seeing the two of them facing the enemy and asking her to leave. Sakura did not hesitate to form a seal with her hands to prepare for assistance. How could she abandon Suzuki-kun and leave alone? Humph! A ridiculous bond. Looking at the three people speeding towards him, Orokimaru snorted and his dark pupils suddenly sharpened. In an instant, cold murderous aura that surpassed Zabuza dozens of times pressed against the three of them. Caught off guard, the three of them, including Suzuki, moved at the same time and froze in place. He looked at Orokimaru with trembling pupils, as if he was seeing hell. 
His body seemed to be oppressed by a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood, and he was unable to make any movement except for trembling and weakness. Even Suzuki with his Sharinan turned on is just the same. Boom! Naruto, who was at the forefront to face the murderous intent, quietly slipped the kunau in his hand without realizing it. He just looked ahead with dull eyes, as if he saw something super terrifying, and his face turned pale. Sakura, who was forming the last seal and preparing to activate the ninjutsu, had a similar expression at this time. She was so frightened that she collapsed to the ground and couldn't stop trembling. Her delicate body was covered in cold sweat. Hateful. Is this the murderous intent of Orokimaru? Although I was mentally prepared, I didn't expect it to be so abnormal. My mind is very clear, but my body is shaking uncontrollably. A shadow level powerhouse, so terrifying. Suzuki, who was also trembling, was secretly frightened, and actually had the idea of turning around and running away. But in just a moment, Suzuki forced him to suppress this instinctive thought. Escape? Where else could he escape? Traveling through Suzuki, while enjoying great luck, you are also destined to face constant challenges throughout your life. Seeking life in the gap between life and death. He has already realized something, hasn't he? After a second thought, Suzuki's eyes sharpened and his body gradually stopped shaking. The deterrent of murderous intent lies in the fear of the soul, as long as this psychological fear is overcome. The oppression will naturally be reduced to a minimum. Sure enough, deep down in my heart I still yearn for a thrilling and dangerous life. Otherwise, I wouldn't set my target as Hokage. Then, the silent killing technique. Feeling that his body was slightly under control, Suzuki's eyes narrowed and he formed a seal with one hand to activate his chakra. Next moment. Under Orokimaru's unexpected gaze, Suzuki's body suddenly erupted with a visible chakra flow. The purple-blue chakra flow was like a bright light in the dark night, instantly illuminating Naruto and Sakura in the darkness. Naruto, Sakura, I will never let you die here. Suzuki, who had regained control of his body, stared at Orokimaru with his scarlet double Megatama and said fiercely. Ant Snake, you scared the child. This is... Garigakura's silent killing technique. GGG. It's really an unexpected technique, I'm really looking forward to your performance more and more. Orokimaru's eyes narrowed and Suzuki couldn't help but lick his tongue when he saw the explosion. With this level of chakra and the double Megatama Sharinan, he is probably at the level of a Jounin. Compared to Uchiha Itaki who turned on the kaleidoscope at the age of 13, he is a bit inferior, but he can still be regarded as a genius ninja. The Great Whirlwind of Kanaha Suzuki, who had turned on the buff, didn't want to waste time. He turned into an afterimage and appeared next to Orokimaru as soon as his feet moved. A powerful kick full of chakra kicked Orokimaru hard on the back. So fast. Orokimaru's eyes bulged out, and he flew backwards like a rag doll. With a bang, his body bent like a shrimp and hit the tree and hit the ground. Thunder escape thunder snake. Seeing this, Suzuki was neither surprised nor happy. He snorted coldly and quickly completed the seal with one hand. With a hiss, he appeared next to Orokimaru again at extremely high speed. The thunder snake in his hand roared out with lightning speed, turning into a thunder rope and quickly binding Orokimaru tightly. The ferocious snake head shining with lightning bit hard on Orokimaru's shoulder, and a violent electric arc exploded instantly. What? Orokimaru screamed again blew out a stream of white smoke from his mouth and fell to the ground. Dead, dead. Such a terrifying guy was defeated like this. Naruto, who had just regained consciousness, and Sakura's pupils shrank, looked at the corpse that smelled of burning and screamed in disbelief. This, this is too magical. No, it's just starting now. Suzuki swiped back to the two of them and said solemnly, surprising them again. Quack quack. How do you know I'm not dead? Uchiha says okay, I really like you more and more. Before Naruto and Sakura could ask questions, Orokimaru's body suddenly smiled evilly. 
then, under the expression of Naruto and Sakura's scalp numbing. A hand suddenly stretched out from the corpse's mouth, followed by two arms and half of the body. Just like a snake shedding its skin, Orochimaru reappeared from the mouth of the corpse very smoothly. Except for the sticky saliva, he was completely unscathed. Only this time, the appearance was very different from before. Underneath the long black hair is a white, beardless, and evil face. The iconic long snake eyes on the slender purple eye shadow exude wildness and greed that make people shudder. The peerless snake ant, Orochimaru, officially makes her debut. W what kind of monster is this? Snake Demon Seeing the drastically changed Orochimaru, Naruto, and Sakura shrank and screamed. Finally revealed his true face. You know that the murderous enemy will not be easily defeated. You are not a genin of a Megakur. Who are you? Looking at the real Orochimaru, Suzuki snorted and asked in a pretentious manner. Jijija. With good observation skills, he is worthy of being the last genius of the Uchiha clan. I really appreciate you more and more. So, do you want to become my disciple? Suzuki. Follow me and you will get more power. Powerful enough to kill that man. By the way, my name is Orokimaru. A trace of desire flashed in Orokimaru's eyes and he said, Suzuki like this can already be used as a container. As long as he completes that plan, he can be reincarnated directly after returning. Detection of Orokimaru's malicious suggestion triggers 10x C-level reward. Mission, refuse to defect, reward. Orakai style substitution technique. Thanks for choosing fanfiction uploads. We hope you enjoyed the journey. Share your favorite stories and fanfiction ideas in the comments. Subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Spread the word to fellow anime lovers. Thanks for being part of our community. See you next time.